PKA 613 with our guest slush puppy Taylor. This episode of PKA brought to you by Blue Chew, Death by Gummy Bears, Wonky Weeds, and of course Lock and Load, the finest cum pills in the world. Code PKA or Jizz over on Derek's site. Link below. Incredible slush. Thing. Thanks for staying up so late to hang out with us. Oh, no, it's early here. No, I am. Yeah. I knew I was going to 50 50 shot and I went in the wrong direction. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> All right. Shit is uh, we're going to restart it. We're going to restart <laughs> no, this. No, we're not, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna, people can't know. Yeah. I don't know time zones, man. It's yeah, really but, uh, we don't want anyone. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know it. So he's 14 hours ahead, right? Uh, Yes. Yeah. I think so. So you just I, I, just change AM to, you know, change it to, to the other one and yeah. uh, add two hours. It's, it's really easy. Well, I got it now. Uh, yeah, I, I usually do like uh oh, for the Kings of America. Flash puppy tells us what time it is. <laughs> yeah. oh, I wasn't I wasn't listening. I didn't know we're, I, yeah. I'm a little stoned. We we're just talking about these wonderful wonky <gasps> weed vapes. I'm sorry, just, slush. I, just... <laughs> I, I think uh, I think like West Coast. I usually minus four hours, and then and then uh, you guys are a, a day behind. No, sorry, I plus four hours, and then you guys are a day behind. Are you guys I, the ones who bring in the I'm New Year Coast. first or no? Yeah, they are. Nah, nah, that's uh some. Fucking Polynesian island, I think. No tour, maybe. Or, but you're yeah. way ahead of us. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're what in the back line. There? We're like looking up ahead. But the, but the funny there? thing is, I feel like our it's only really the New Year when we say it is. Oh it's yeah, true. Yeah. If New York was like, there? actually, fuck it, we're going back a day. Like, yeah, a lot of people would be like, okay, goddamn, I. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, me. goddamn. Yeah, what would they do? That's what the. They, all right, yeah. Do you remember when they went to? Do you remember? Are you, so when I think when they went to the Gregorian calendar, like there was just some pope ah, who was like, even was the I don't remember calendar. that, Kyle. Well, all right, so uh, <laughs> I believe what they were fixing was the leap day, um, the uh -huh. the leap year scenario, and uh, they just like moved the date for three days. They just like they're like, all right, it, it was June the third. Now it's June the sixth, the fourth, and the fifth, and the other day or whatever. It's however, that math happened. works didn't happen. And uh, and there's a conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. That, hey, they took three days and y'all didn't notice, you know, like, like uh -huh. no one knew. What if all of the Dark Ages were made up and Charlemagne was a figment of, uh, was just a made up thing? Like, like, like that whole 300 year, they uh, think a 300 year period was just made up of history. What, what, what 300 years do they think was made up? Oh man, it was a YouTube conspiracy theory video. I wasn't taking notes. Best guess, it won't matter. It was the Dark Ages. It was like right yeah. smack in the middle of the dark, during they, the time of Charlemagne like in particular, because that they're, they're like, here's what Charlemagne supposedly did. And I'm not a huge history buff as far as Charlemagne's concerned. So mm, I didn't I know, know he's important. Stuff. They laid it out and it was like, didn't those people only live like 30, 40 years? How'd he do all that? And he probably did it all that, did all that. Or maybe he was like, they just exaggerated, but their position was he wasn't even real. None of it even <laughs> happened. It was it's pretty interesting stuff. Who's, I love who those. stands to gain. Wasn't Charlemagne like around the year what, a thousand or so? Like who would stand to gain to, to make him up? Um, again, if we knew anything about him, maybe we can answer this. <laughs> Light just a conspiracy just theory. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, Charlemagne is a radio DJ, I think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you. I know everyone's wondering, Woody. Mm. How did the procedure go? How's the recovery? Oh Was it a nightmare? Easier, harder than you thought? God. Shitty. Super fucking shitty. So. For people that don't know, I had this little, uh, I think it's on this side, mm -hmm. like little spot that wasn't healing. One night I slept in these glasses and I woke up with the small cut on the side of my nose. So I thought, oh, you know, whatever. It, it'll just heal. I must have slept on my glasses. Funny, whatever. Two weeks goes by. Three weeks goes by. It's not getting better. I go to a dermatologist and they're like, maybe it's cancer. And I was like, all right, well, that fucking sucks, but... I probably should just do nothing about it and ignore this. So that's what I did. And, uh, you know, I put like Vaseline on it and stuff and it was looking better. So I was like, yeah, probably not cancer. Right. What does that dermatologist know about skin cancer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with my gut. Some grifter. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and like I said, dermatologist. <laughs> by like putting Vaseline on it and stuff, it looked like it was healing. But sure enough, like four or five months goes by. And even though it's, maybe marginally a little better i'm like it doesn't take five months for something yeah. less severe than a zit to heal but it kept fuck? reopening on you right it, it would reopen like, sometimes yeah oftentimes 
by wearing glasses. You know, that it sat mm-hmm. right on the where the pad is. Okay, so I go to a dermatologist a month or two ago, and uh, they're like, let's biopsy this thing right here. Now it's confirmed. So I set up something called Mohs surgery. I think it's spelled M O H S. And um, it's better than it's, it's supposed to be better than other alternatives because they can right there at the surgery center test it. So they like scrape it off, test it. Aha. Now we know where the margins are. Scrape it off a second time, biopsy that. And once they get their clean margins and they're happy, they can stop. Whereas if I went to a different surgeon, maybe a plastic surgeon, They'd be kind of guessing, you know, like maybe take a little extra margin just Mm -hmm. to be sure they got it all. Whereas these guys can take the minimal amount and make sure they got it all because um, because they can test it right there on site. Yeah. So Zach has this picture. Okay, whatever. Um, All right. So they do the surgery and the hole in my fucking nose is 12 times larger than I thought it would be. Oh, I'm like the fuck compared to a like, dime. Yeah. Uh roughly the size of a dime. Holy shit. That was the that whole was and this is the hole they carved or just the total area that like skin was irritated. This is the hole they carved. Holy yeah, shit. this the area the skin that. was irritated would be smaller than At a the end of eraser. a pool cue. <laughs> yeah, and then the area they removed was massive. And then they sewed it up. Now these guys are like supposed to be like better than plastic surgeon mm-hmm. specializing on getting like this kind of nose skin and cheek skin to heal. And um, the fucking shit show that exists under this bandage, like I'm feeling permanently disfigured by this, that when I wrote you on Tuesday, how did I phrase it? I forget I how I phrased it. I don't look I well like, or something. Yeah. Something what'd like you that. say? I don't look well, or I don't feel well, or it doesn't look good. Or it was, so, it, it did. <laughs> I imagined you felt like shit and there's a lot of swelling. I know what I looked like the day after and it, it looked like I'd been in a car accident. I, I mm-hmm. So my forehead is swollen Cro-Magnon style. My <laughs> eyes are swollen shut to where I can't see out them. I have kind of an Asian thing going on where like, like my eye lash. You, you do look smart. Up again. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, my iPhone, like, you know, it has facial recognition. Is like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need your password, dick shit. I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I just feel terrible. I look terrible. And um, the scar across the bridge of my nose, I'm like, I, the fuck? Like, I'm not sure this is going to heal right. Is it a N- circle? Like a, no. a circle looking? or So they uh, sewed it up. But when you sew up a circle, like if you sew up a football, then you can get a nice perfect stitch. Mm-hmm. When you sew up a circle, you get kind of like ridges, like it doesn't fit right. And oh. I feel like that's what they did. They sewed up a circle. So now it's like a little bumpy because circles don't close. Yeah. And um, uh, so I'm feeling awful. And my wife, my wife is the most supportive person in the world. She's not saying, Woody, it'll heal fine. No, oh. it's cool. She says, Woody... We will take you to the best plastic surgeon to get that repaired. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. Now look, look, she's, look this I, is on Jackie. Don't worry is, about it. This is, this is a real traumatic thing. So I, I don't even want to make very light of this, but um, if you do think there's a, an issue, I, I, I'll tell you. Like now is the time to go before it has healed up, mm-hmm. um, and maybe get. I wouldn't call it a second opinion, but maybe an opinion. So by, I'm a step like, ahead a, of you there. Great. So yeah, yeah. So um, actually, I haven't talked about it on the show. I maybe I shouldn't, but Jackie is scheduled to get plastic surgery next month. She just she turned fifty. What the fuck? She yeah. wanted it. She wanted That's to look. Fine. Who cares? She wanted My to dad's been thinking about doing his neck. I'm not gonna steal your thunder, but nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> she looked in the mirror. You know, want to like what she sees a little more than she does. So mm-hmm. that's what's up. What's she having done? Okay. Well, if you count the uh, it, it's for her face. I forget the names of it. They're not words that I remember, but like eyes and smile, you know, it would yeah. roughly. So, um, so anyway, she has a relationship with this plastic surgeon, someone she's had a few consults with, but uh, not under the knife yet. And um, she sends him my pictures and she's like, what do you think? And he's like, actually, that looks good to me. That looks like it's healing properly. And uh, you know, if it, if, if things take a turn for the worse, we'll bring them in. 
But so that's what the plastic surgeon said. That's encouraging. Right. It made me feel a little better. Um, yeah. I thought about like bringing pictures. I've been taking daily progress pictures and I will show you guys, but I was like, I don't know if yeah. I want to give the PK audience <laughs> another attack vector on me. One time, like eight <laughs> years ago, I I grew like a, a pretty decent beard. And yeah, oh, I great. love the beard. Cover, the beard. Right. I, I drew a pretty I decent beard. Back. And then as I shaved it off, I did like lamb chops, this, that, a Hitler stash. And then is it the beard was totally gone. <laughs> I used an eyedropper and did like a fake tear, like, you know, like yeah. the world mm. lost a great beard. That picture has been used against me 1.5 million times. So far. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, maybe I don't upload my worst day again. Yeah. Maybe, I, maybe we'll learn. But if you guys want to see the the open wound or anything, I would show it to you. But sure. um, uh, my goodness. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what's. Oh, oh, I've got my not today cancer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fighter into the cancer virus. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you know what? Right. Well, you know what? Can you please start wearing a bandana? Oh yeah. <laughs> like around your a forehead. Purple one. <laughs> Pretend yeah. I've lost all my hair. You have to. You have to. <laughs> Shave off your eyebrows as well. Just running yes, into a yes, clinic really and like it. ringing the bell before they can kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> stealing cancer valor. <laughs> so, so we'll see. I feel a little better about it today than I did Tuesday. By the way, thank you guys for gracefully covering the show and, no and you know being happy to do it for me. I oh, we had a great it. time. I think we, we were like an hour and ten minutes. I, I, oh, I, was did like, you? I, I guess we got to stop now. But <laughs> constant <laughs> professionals. Yeah, well, a good time. I, yeah, I really wanted to to call in sick, and I appreciate you being cool about it. So of course, yeah. anytime. You know, it's it's what would have been crazy is if it, it was like. We were sitting here, me, Taylor, and Slush Puppy, and Zach, and we we're like, "Where's Woody?" And then we got a message from him that said, "Hey guys, <laughs> I'm not gonna make it tonight." That's what Wings does. <laughs> you had like a pre pre existing illness that you notified like a week ago, but nobody thought a thing. No, I'm glad you're uh, you're feeling better, and uh, I'm gl I'm glad you got that second opinion, and it's mm -hmm. all good. Yeah, I I'll tell you, like like my shit looked awful, like 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 for so. What did you have done, Carl? Uh, I, I don't want to go into the whole thing because the audience has heard this story so many times, but I had cancer right on my eyelid where oh. the eyelashes are. It was like a oh. mole. And um, they first, they removed the mole. Very painful. They have to cut it off, obviously, with limited mm. anesthetic. And then um, <clears throat> they didn't think it was cancer. They're, they're like, oh, these are never cancer. It's cancer. So then I got to go back and it's not good enough that they just removed the mole. Now they have to take a pizza pie slice out of my, uh, a pizza pie slice out of my eyelid. And then oh, fuck. rejoin my eyelid back together, right? But there's not enough slack in your eyelid, you know. Yeah. It's just big enough to cover an eyeball the way it is. You'll have one eye that's just like this. So, they had, time, to, like, half they, had to, <laughs> so they had to come over here and make a real big cut from here to my eyelid. I didn't and, know that. And get slack, you know, like like extra rope fuck. to like stretch my eyelid across. It needed that extra skin from somewhere, so it had to come from right here because it's similar skin. And they did a pretty good job. I mean, there's a scar, but like, I don't know, I had a plastic yeah. surgeon and I was like, I'm a Neosporin guy. <laughs> like I always have been. <laughs> um, um, but I, you know, it, it healed pretty well, I guess. I, so, uh, it was the most painful thing I've ever done. I've had broken, yeah. I broke my ankle. Like I, when it broke, I heard it break. It went pop. It was so loud. I thought I had a compound fracture and was terrified to look down. That pales in comparison to what they did to my fucking eye in that <laughs> in that room. My eye shit is fucked though. Like mm -hmm. anything near your eyes. So I've had people be like, "Go and get LASIK surgery." It's like I would rather be fucking fully blind oh, that's than so have someone. That's nothing to that. I'd rather be fully blind than have someone shoot lasers into nah. my fucking eyes. Yeah, Dude, like, LASIK LASIK are hit and miss. I've broken every arm and leg at this point, and some of them didn't really hurt at all. My um, when I got my surgery, the the what the thing I'm dealing with is a scar across the bridge of my nose mm. and that's the thing that's like fucking with me i'm like you know when you like crinkle your nose and stuff is it gonna do like come back in a weird sort of crooked um, i've got a scar right here there? I, uh -huh. I have a scar like you're talking about but it that skin healed right it's from getting punched yeah. in the nose real fucking hard yeah i've, I've got it. one right across the bridge of my nose <laughs> as well <laughs> did you deserve it you slush oh, I... <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> never, yeah. i've never been oh i've only ever been punched once when i didn't deserve it <laughs> what, every what other time they... i definitely deserved why it. did they think you deserved it uh Me or him? i didn't oh, i didn't even know it. i didn't oh. even uh i didn't even know it was coming i just got king hit by someone randomly they just oh. uh yeah they just sucker punch right. me 
One yeah. thing that did go right about the surgery. So I go there, right? And Jackie drove me. Not you don't have to have a driver for this surgery. Um, it, it consider it on on the level of like a root canal or cavity mm -hmm. or something. And uh, but it, Jackie wanted to drive me, and I was cool with it. Cool. So we get there, and I'm doing all this drug seeking behavior. I'm like, man, <laughs> am I ever nervous? <laughs> you, got any, you got anything for anxiety around here? Anyone? I get twitchy when I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was a little nervous, but like I maybe played up. And Jackie's being my wingman. She's like, hey, hey I'm here to drive him. You should all know he's not driving home. I got this. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they did give me something, two pills to let dissolve under my tongue. And uh, oh. what do you know what um, it was? It maybe I, starts with an A. Um, they gave me the same shit. That's that's all I had for the first surgery. Was uh -huh. I, I think it's it's I, I want to say Xanax, but it's something in that yeah, band. Adam, it, Adam 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 Adam. Yeah, Z I think Zach yeah. is right. I think it was Adivan. Okay, they gave me two grams or two whatever, two pills of did it. nothing. Yeah. Oh, it did for me. See, but uh, but I smoked so much fucking Delta Eight and stuff. Actually, at the time mm -hmm. I was sober, right? Because I, I, yeah, oh no, I don't know why. It just I, that didn't Xanax, work for you. I, I was like, whatever it was. It's like it a slow over. release Valium. I think they that's what that's what they Valium. called it, Valium. That's what it yeah. was. I knew yeah. it was like one of those like I don't know drugs you hear about all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. it did nothing for me. I like, had Ativan, and and like three minutes in, I'm like, I think it's doing something. <laughs> you know, like one of those deals. I, but, I have a like, prescription for that stuff, and a little... if, if you if you take enough of it, I swear to God, it's like a truth serum. Like I I've I remember standing there like one night while I was drinking, and I'd taken like a heap because well I'm well I used to be a drug addict because it feels but... good with alcohol, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it goes great with alcohol. And I I remember turning to this chick, and I was just like. You you look like your your mother drank a lot while she was pregnant with you. Yeah, oh, it was so bad. Here, here you are, like you're mixing pills get, and booze in high dosages, yeah. very judgmental. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> very judgmental. <laughs> so on the look at this loser. Surgery, <laughs> on the second yeah. surgery, they gave me um what was it? Whatever they gave me for for um uh, anesthetic, and I honestly don't remember at this point. Did they give me an IV? I was fucked up though afterwards, yeah. and uh, and I, I was in the <laughs> and I'm I'm driving home. I am driving home, and I did drive home. My car is outside, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm calling the Uber right now. I'm on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> like, He's on the way. It's a it's a. I got I, I paid for the super. <laughs> like good good. I'm like I'm driving myself home, uh, <laughs> but but I was fucked up, and I got real chatty. I remember like talking about myself more than I want. I sh I probably would have if I was sober. I was like. I, I I've been doing this thing for a couple months. And nobody knows it. I've been taking steroids. I'm I'm so fucking strong right now, and I'm like telling three nurses this. I'm like I could crush a can of beans with my hands. Like, I'm a child now. I'm, I've literally become an eight year old who's like the strongest he's ever been, and he wants to. I'm like not. I'm not trying to impress these women. I'm just like. I could crush a can of beans now. It's real cool. My friend Derek, he's like an internet my muscle head. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and also, me and my friend Derek, we like to work out. And <laughs> you're just it was exactly like, like a that. child, like hyperventilating. You're so excited to share with an adult who's glanced at you. It was exactly like that. I was having the. It, I wasn't trying to like pump myself up. I wasn't trying to get laid. I was just like telling them about what I was interested in at the moment because I was so <laughs> fucked up on whatever they'd given me, and it felt good. If that's what. I don't know, name a drug feels like you could get into that drug. It's like you live in a wonderland yeah. of happiness and childlike wonder now. Yeah, like, like that's impossible to feel. You know how a kid, something. with a kid, right. you can just go, ho, ho, peekaboo, and it like makes yep. their hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the yeah. whole hour, that one peekaboo has them like, oh, that, that's, that's, that's what it's like. When, when, you, when you take it, you just have like no schedule. It's like, it's like, oh, I have to take the bins out. Oh, like I've, I've, I've got trash to take out. Eh, someone else will sort it out. And then usually you'd be like, oh, I better do it. But then when you're on Advan, you're like, eh, who gives a fuck? So yeah, I don't like, want to live on know? anesthetic. How did yeah. you get prescribed it? Like, it sounds pretty uh, intense. I, my doctor just gives me anything. He's weird. <laughs> he just, it's a good doctor, I just, I just say, can I, doctor, should, can I try this? What's his name again? <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> good good feels. Yeah, you usually get it for usually get it for anxiety, but uh, it's it's you'll get it if you like if you say like I have trouble flying and stuff like that. They'll give it to people that Ooh. have like issues like with, um, with like panic attacks on planes and stuff like that. But my doctor just gave it like gave me gave it to me and then just gave me 
he just basically gives it to me unlimitedly. I don't, I don't take it much anymore, but it's like if I am freaking out about something, I'll be like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take one, just relax. Or if I, mm, you know, I just feel like having a having a good day. Meanwhile, your actual problem is like you routinely forget to put the landing gear down. You can't remember the <laughs> checklist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just drugs you. It makes you I work. Would, I would really like yeah. to take a drug like that before doing something that would actually make me nervous. Like it's one, it's one thing to be like, oh, I'm stressed out about bad things in my life. I need this to like ease this anxiety. Mm. You're not actually you're not gonna enjoy that drug then. But what if you had to go uh, to a pistol shooting competition, you know, like the Olympic style where you have to do it one handed and these guys are shooting little little tiny dots mm -hmm. yeah. and you're so nervous that it's making your hand shake. But you take that Ativan or whatever the fuck and you're just like, win or lose, well, that, I'm gonna it, give my best. Yeah. And like, like, steady as a rock. Win or lose, I'm still fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe oh, you're different. It's, uh, you it's don't want to shoot and right? take like, like, Ativan. What are, like, what, what, I know my wife, blockers they made that. her leave the room for the actual procedure, right? So she's with me while they're biopsying. She's with me while they're warming up or whatever. But when they're cutting my face, they had her leave the room. I have no recollection of her coming and going any of the times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe not firearms. Statue. Well, okay. Like, like on one, um, I know I've heard beta blockers. I don't, I don't even know what those are or like, or, or like what one would be. But I've heard that those are uh, like a performance enhancer as far as nerves go. And by nerves, I mean like my handshake when I'm like um, on edge. I get such an adrenaline. When you're the last guy in search and destroy. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Like, 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 like that thing can trigger that, that kind of adrenaline dump for me. <laughs> my, in Tarkov, like, 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 not, like, let's say that like it matters if I live and die. If I'm playing by myself, I don't care. But like, let's say all my friend's shit is on the ground. They're dead. Most of the enemy shits on the ground. They're most of them are dead, and it's me and one guy, and I gotta mm. kill him. And my whole team is watching, and his whole team is watching because we're all on Discord together in different Discords. I'm sure mm. there's pressure on. I don't want to. If I win, like four guys cheer and four other mm. guys cry. It's a big deal. <laughs> you know and how I bet it. My hands are your just anxiety. Trembling. I bet if you actually did that, instead of it making you like now I can focus on the task at hand, you'd be like I don't care. Like I don't care if I win or lose. Who gives a fuck about no, this loot? I, I like I'm gonna so. go. I'm not doing this. I don't. I, think I, so. I, 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 I think beta blockers in particular. I've heard that. I've heard this about Olympic athletes, um, uh, specifically with like archery and stuff. The things where you get you can't tremble. You know, you can be oh. trembling and fucking throw a baseball. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. that much. Or swing a bat or run in mm -hmm. football. Well, it might help to have that crazy adrenaline pushing you. Like if you're running back, Swimming. but if you're in a precision sport, like something where you've got to like. If you've ever looked through a long range scope and seen your heartbeat make the crosshair go jiggle, 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 like you can't be trembling if your heartbeat's already making the crosshair move. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can't move at all. And, well, that's what uh, this that is would for. Be a huge yeah, yeah. It's yeah. predominantly used for like fixing abnormal heart rhythms in people. Have, did you hear that? I'm oh, sorry, I was changing the topic. Is it a good time? I got nothing yeah, on being Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Call of Duty is going to have an escape from Tarkov mode. I just saw the yeah. nice guy uh, video title and thumbnail. I didn't watch the video yet. It's Do called DMZ, I think. Uh huh. What do you know? Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like a. I think it's like a free free to play like Tarkov style. But I, I don't know much about it. I, I know that uh, apparently I heard that they have like a a massive like Q and A thing for it, like more than the more than the rest of the game. Like they're putting a lot of effort into it. So I don't know if it's like. If it's going to be like a small thing, I think it's going to be fairly massive. But I, I saw this that, I don't know much about it. Of the gunsmith, and it looks like Call of Duty is trying to implement a Tarkov level gunsmith. Kyle? I've heard that. So here's my question. So Call of Duty's releasing in in a, in a month or whatever. It's going to come with multiplayer, where I can go play search and story domination, uh, whatever. It's going to come with a story, right? It's going to come with uh, a battle royale mode. And it's going to come with a Tarkov mode? We're talking about four modes in one game? Zach says yes. And the Tarkov one is free to play. For the same I might play this game. Like, not, I'll uh, definitely play it. It's not like futuristic. It's No, it's like, no we're yeah. Modern Warfare 2, essentially. Nice. Like, like like from a, you know, it's it's, it's that kind of weaponry. Nothing that's going to blow your mind. Uh, Call yeah, I'll Duty is, if you guys all want to play. I'm definitely going to play on PC. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm kind of hyped about it. I was already hyped about the Battle Royale because I enjoy that. As much as I like Tarkov... My Tarkov friends, we all get so grimy when we play that, that like 
we're not even having fun anymore. We're just there to make sure they're <laughs> oh, yeah. not having fun after a while. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it becomes a spiteful thing. But in COD, yeah. and especially in Battle, Battle Royale, it's kind of a fun, joyous thing where we we get some wins and we fucking stake it to the wall. Like that, write that one down as a win. You rarely get that in Tarkov. It's like, all right, we got out. Let's mm-hmm. go back in again. We didn't like, there's no moment of triumph, but in Battle, always Battle more Royale, to do. Fuck, we won one. All right, that's one for the night. And if we get three for the night, then we're killing it, right? You know, we mm-hmm. probably play 10. Now, tell me 12. if you're okay with this playing on PC. If I finally decide to use that COD as the way to learn how to do WASD and click shooting. Yeah. And you, you're going to deal with my ass on your team for oh, a while? Oh, I'll carry you. I'll carry you anywhere and everywhere you want to go. I'm going to bring... be so heavy. Uh, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to be the biggest <laughs> burden like, you, you can pack it, pack it in. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> pack it in. There's... We're going to the top. <laughs> I saw a dog backpack where the dog like gets in and he like pops out oh, the yeah. top like this. You put, put him in a baby Bjorn. Dude, I'm just going to be on the You're going to be on the front. Yeah. Feeding UAVs to the other Absolutely. team. <laughs> um, wasn't there a scene? I don't know if you guys have seen the new Thor movie. I know I know Taylor hasn't, but there's a part mm-hmm. where like, it, it's a comedy movie. It's, it's not a Marvel movie at this point. It's like slapstick. They're making fun of themselves. And Thor's talking about how he was like raised as a baby. And he's literally in a baby Bjorn on like a Viking chick's chest leaping into battle and as she's killing stuff he's swinging his toy hammer like imagining that he's the one killing all these people and it's uh i, I don't know like strap you right in there go into br i don't care yeah um Just i give him a that, pistol Bobbity's gonna play life. with us Bobbity's Bobbity will be here in my like little sphere of of influence down here in the southeast <laughs> very soon and so I'll have like a lag free killer to to play whatever game we yeah, want to play. Yeah, good. He's solid. He could probably carry all of us. Oh, oh see, I'm in Bobby's backpack. I'm just saying, hop in the Bjorn. And, and, well, I'm in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, Let's see how, how many people Bobby can I've carry. I've seen Bobby play. <laughs> He's like a totem one pole of by them. the time we're done. Is he better than Socrates? Is he better than like? Oh, it's it's hard to scale that stuff. But you know, he's on that same level of like. He's one of guys those who are like guys. in. Like like in their early twenties, who still have that uh, twitchy stuff, but are like I don't know, dedicated grown ass men who like are just real good at something I, they've been doing for a decade. I Larry the Strong is very good at most games, and when he won we won Bovity, it was. Uh, it was <laughs> I'm trying to respectfully describe how lopsided it was. Larry's Bovity a tactician. Like, Bovity clicks on fucking heads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bovity's nasty. So different game styles. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those were like speedy motherfuckers that like jump around all over the place. I don't know how they do that. Like yeah. My brain just doesn't work on that level. I it's I like cool. watching it, but when I try to emulate that gameplay, it's not where I find it. Playing 3D cop. Yeah, it, 40 cop. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm excited anyway, for the I, game, and not only that, Woody. I don't know if you know this. Fucking Microsoft, the evil empire that they are. In like three to four years. They're phasing COD completely away from PlayStation. PlayStation has lost Call of Duty. It's done deal. Because, because like, I'm That's probably funny. wrong about this, like, order of who owns what. But, like, Microsoft bought, like, Bethesda and, and Blizzard, and, and that owns Activision, and that owns no, COD. I, Activ- right? Activision owns Blizzard, I think. Okay, there, well, there like, Microsoft owns uh, it all, though. So they it, know. it doesn't yeah. matter anymore. Okay. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Because PlayStation is a big deal. Now Wings not has anymore. to come play no. on the on the fucking uh, uh, Xbox to, 360. No, uh, Wings Xbox is going to go back to Fallout 4 or something like that. Dude, <laughs> I, I wanna, uh, so Slush and Woody, when you guys were console guys, Woody and or okay. Kyle and I talked about this on PKN. You guys were always Xbox, like from the yeah. original, right? Not PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Right. I have and, both, but I mainly played Xbox. I had both as well, but same. The, I bought a PlayStation so I could use my Xbox controller to shit on people because they are worse. Yeah, it mm-hmm. was the controller, though, that really pulled you there, right? The controller difference between the Xbox and the PS, uh, the PlayStation? It was that pulled me, but I'm not sure the controller was better as much as it was. That's the one I was used to and good at. I'll I t- think it's definitely. I, think it I don't know what, I don't know what made me. I just played Xbox, so I just played that because we played COD on it. So that was... I don't know what made me make the decision. I I think I just thought of Xbox as the cool one because of marketing, maybe because my mm-hmm. previous console was a PlayStation Two. I didn't have, but my uh, my cousin had had like an Xbox. I don't even know what they call them anymore. The first one, and because uh, say Xbox One, that's a whole different fucking yeah. thing. <laughs> he had an Xbox, and uh, and I played Halo, and uh, but I remember like when I was fucking selling cars wanting an xbox so bad because they had gears and they had cod that first mm-hmm. xbox and it was like oh my god they've got 
Gears of War looks so cool. They had that all around me are familiar faces. Yeah. And Marcus Phoenix is walking around through the rubble. Like, that commercial got shit? me so amped I, up. I was hyped. I, and and <laughs> I was like, well, time to put in 14 more hours today. <laughs> and I ain't got, yeah, I can, of course I can afford an Xbox. When would I play that? When would I play that? <laughs> I'm like, you haven't even put your bed together yet. Get back to work. <laughs> There's no time to play fucking games. So like when I finally started like buying game consoles and I had time, for some reason, I got the Xbox first and uh, in- instead of the PlayStation. It's I always better. saw it as like the uh, the Xbox was like the multiplayer one. So like you play COD and Gears on that. And then PlayStation was like where you go and play your single player games. What like, it seemed yeah, like. Oh, like God of play- War. PlayStation like yeah. like. It always upset me, PlayStation. Like even going to friends' houses who had PlayStation, because it'd be like, I know how to play Call of Duty, but they give me a PlayStation controller, and I look like an absolute idiot. I can't get anything done. <laughs> and genuinely, like, you know the Xbox original controller, how it was all big and bulky and heavy and corded? Xbox 360 comes out, they adapt. They make it better. They add the kind of the stiples on it, the, the, the more mm-hmm. staggered, comfortable layout. PlayStation, like they're adding all these benefits, all these graphics to their consoles all the time, and it's the same bullshit controller through all of it. Like, how many people still would same, have preferred yeah. a regular size a controller for an adult's hands? Like, well, that, it's like that doesn't in, that we like, were talking that doesn't like, end in the middle of your palm. Yeah, because I get in sweaty like, when I game and I need tactile. In like two thousand, <laughs> they're just like PlayStation Two comes out and they're like, all right, we got that controller thing sorted. Let's just put that yeah. in the bin. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's done. That's done. Oh, we improved graphic. Did. What else can be done? Oh, uh, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, to be nothing fair, at I've, all for the next twenty years. <laughs> I, I, I've been playing. I tried to play Fallout Four on the PlayStation Four, and I looked like a buffoon. Mm. I I would I, I would st- I would stand in a room with an enemy, and I'm like, uh, 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 like I can't. Fucking oh, don't move! <laughs> like, like I can't get the cross. I'm like that with the controller now because it's been like ten years since I played on a controller. Like I haven't played on an Xbox since before I met my wife. So it's like, I've I, if I play a shooter on a on a controller, I look like a child trying to walk again. I'm like, better on the 360 time. though, or on the Xbox controller yeah. though, because I have one of those I wired into uh, maybe play Borderlands or I don't know. There was some game we yeah. played a while back where it was like, no, you need the controller. Oh, Elden Ring. I bought it for Elden Ring. That's what it actually was. Oh, yeah. I always use it for, uh, like, fighting games like that. But, yeah, not not for shooters. But even then, every time I go back, like, I played Elden Ring, and, like, the first boss... Everyone in chat, everyone in my chat's just mocking me because I'm just getting fucking destroyed because I haven't played, like, a Dark Souls game in, like, five years. And they're just mocking me. I was like... Can't, I don't know how to fucking use this shit. <laughs> like, fuck did you. you actually get through Elden Ring or did you stop? I did, yeah. yeah. You it, beat uh, Elden Ring. Me, yeah, it took me about three days. Yeah. Hmm. I'm told wow. it's super hard. Like, yeah. By people uh, who are some, good at games. There's some bo- if, if you make like a broken build, you can smash it. Um, but mm. there is some bosses that are really hard. Like Melania is fucking difficult. Is she hard, Melania? Yeah. Well, she has this mechanic that, like, when you do damage to her, she becomes more aggressive. And so, Mm -hmm. like, if you go in there, like, my build was that I had this bleed thing. So I'd slash her, and then she'd start taking bleed damage. But because it's, like, ticking on her, it counts as, like, damage as sort of increasing her aggression. And so, like, the second she comes near me, I, like, touch her, and then she just goes fucking ballistic and just ass rapes me instantly. And I'm like, what the fuck? fuck is this boss and ever and then finally like after after dying about 10 times chat's like yeah you need to sort of take off the bleed stuff and then i finally beat her and i'm like oh thanks guys yeah <laughs> dude i got so into let me solo her you're familiar with the legend right uh no, no? <sighs> there is a millennia specialist and i talked about her like a month ago so some people have heard this this guy just sits there in a queue. I guess you can call in help and get help with her. His name is Let Me uh, Solo yeah. Her. And he shows up naked with a pot on his head and two katanas. No armor, no nothing. Just two katanas awesome. and a fucking pot on his head. And he's like, stand out of the way. I'm going to fuck this bitch up. And he will <laughs> not take any damage the whole time and just like work her perfectly. There's videos out there. He performs a public service. Yeah, look at him. Dude, you can buy oh, like legend. You can buy 3D statues of this guy. <laughs> There's like 3D <laughs> printed art, little figurines. There's all sorts of fan art for let me solo her. And I, I guess if you like he's just a specialist on this chick and he he fucks her up naked with two katanas and a pot on his head. 
was it a game slush that like you finished the final boss and then you're like i can't wait to keep exploring the world or were you like i am done uh it's i did everything before i went to the final boss so i'm like one of those people that i'm like i see a side quest i have to do it so but by the time i got to the final boss i i had done fucking everything like my character was just obscenely over leveled like i, I pretty much three hit the final boss so <laughs> That, yeah, I, it was I like got it and point. started playing it and it's like I'm not enough of a gamer like it was prohibitively difficult for someone of my skills on the sticks like I just getting ass blasted like thinking like I can take that guy on the horse in the beginning and he just yeah. uh, massacres yeah. you like it, it very quickly friends, I was like, like you know on, I'm gonna be way more frustrated than satisfied because I'm just like oh yeah it's not worth 30 deaths per guy like for me and One that, of my friends on stream so tried to kill that guy on the horse at like level one for like 12 hours he's just like this game is fucking shit <laughs> he's like, losing it. it's like just go around her motherfucker and he's like never dude i was i was like i was I trying like, like i was never. trying bullshit cheese the way you can in like skyrim yeah. and fallout where it's like i just walked to the edge of where you can't go like and then, like i tried yeah. that i'm like i'll get on the rock He's on a horse. He can't get on the rock. It's like, no, he's not only getting on that rock. He's faster than you on the rock. They'll push you <laughs> yeah. off the rock. Like your guy like has like a stress meter. Like it, it was too much. It was too much, too difficult. But my brother even said, he was like, I heard your take about the uh, Elden Ring game. Very lame. <laughs> like, you, could, you could easily do fine and beat it. And I was like, no, like I would be, I would be aggravated by it. I want to play, even when I'm playing games like Magic the Gathering on my laptop, like the games I enjoy the most aren't like oh, a 40 minute, 40 minutes is a hugely long game, a 40 minute game back and forth. And I finally win. Like that's satisfying. Yes. But the ones I like are like, I'm playing against someone who it's turn four. He's got nothing on the field and I can just tee off. It's like batting practice. <laughs> that's what's fun. The same way with COD. Was it the most fun when you were like beat you beat someone two hundred to one hundred ninety seven, or was it when everyone yeah. got Harriers oh. and everyone was thirty five and two? Just I don't gets know. Old. I can, like I like do the that former. every game. If you do that every game, it gets boring. I because I always yeah. say that about like when playing Tarkov, people are like, "Oh, we should get access to like this shit." And it's like, but then you won't care about it. Like mm -hmm. you need to you need to feel a crushing loss to have uh, an <laughs> unimaginable high. So you yeah. do. That's why that game is so good because it just fucking raw dogs you up the ass so hard. When you win, <laughs> it's like yes, like this is amazing. Getting Tarkov is like a legitimate thing that people just. Do people still blame Nikita for everything? I love that part yeah. of the culture. Oh yeah, <laughs> Nikita is the owner and lead like tech guy of the. Is it what the fuck is Battle, State. Battle State? Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, People act like he personally shot them every time oh, they yeah. die. <laughs> yeah, when, uh, I have like this thing in, in like my chat, like 20 when 20. people, when something fucks up in the game, like everyone's just like yells. They're like, Nakita! And it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, but they freak out about it, yeah. Do you remember how horrible people were to like shore wars back in the day? Like yes. community manager for Call of Duty was the worst job in America in 2010, <laughs> 2011, because no one had any conception of what his job was, but his job was literally beat toy to keep, <laughs> to keep pressure <laughs> off of the company. And so uh -huh. he just go out there and be like, we're excited for a new feature, I guess. And everybody's <laughs> like, fuck you! Fix this! Like, just, just so <laughs> like, Dude, and he'd often get this really non-constructive frustration. Like, your game is broken. Fix it. <laughs> well, the, yeah. it, it, how? What's wrong? Tell me what, you, well, tell me what your frustration is. Yeah. That's like the, the entire internet, though. Like, because they're just like, yeah. we're pushing this new update. And then it's, uh, we're, we're going to be doing this. And then and then you'll just see, like, under it's just like, what about the cheaters, faggot? They're like, we appreciate your concern. Like, Shore yeah. Wars and JD 2020 would pass the mantle of like love and hate every year. Like <laughs> people would just be so excited about the game in October. Then it drops and they all start hating them. And then they're so glad to be like, here, JD 2020, you take it this year. And, and Shore Wars <laughs> yeah. gets a chance to rest. <laughs> That's really what it was. Because on off years, it was like, who's Shore Wars? Who, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, that guy I hated three months ago. Like, <laughs> no, that's old hat until nine months from now. <laughs> and then who's the name of the guy that was actually in charge of Black Ops? David something? He was oh. the lead architect. You might be right. I don't know. 
Uh, sure anyway, yeah, this guy was actually in charge of it. Vondahar. Yeah, yeah, David Vondahar. And uh, he started doing that job directly, which is brave. And Nikita does something like that, too. He's kind of the main guy. Yeah, yeah he, he I seems agree. to hide it, though. Every time I talk to him, he's like, he's sort of like, I I hate Reddit and like I don't want to read it and it's like I understand that because like mm-hmm. I don't want to fucking read it like I've, I've posted on Reddit before and it's just like oh sick I've got ninety DMs telling me to kill myself. This is awesome. <laughs> 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 like, I don't I don't, I don't care for this. <laughs> Do you ever get that where you're like you read something you get and you're like I am not nearly famous enough for this level of threat. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah. Where it's yeah. like you're using like yeah. a hydrogen bomb on a convenience store <laughs> level guy here. <laughs> what are I, you doing? I have, How I are you one. this mad? I have one I posted on Reddit and it got like twenty thousand upvotes or something like that. And then this dude just sends me a DM and it says, I agree with your opinion, but you're a raging faggot. That's it. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> I was making like PKA that? live last week. Now I told this story that I thought was kind of a hit about me trying ketamine and the experience and the organization mm-hmm. that I went through and stuff. And it was cool. Right. And it just happened to be that the top rated comment was like, Woody fucking overpaid. He took it wrong. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing or talking about type four. And I'm like, I don't even know what type four means. <laughs> this is the highest rated comment on Painkiller already. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> type four fun. <laughs> Rough. <Yeah. laughs> like, you know what? Yeah. That is funny how those threads start where it'll be like, hey, drug addict here. Uh, and then like, <laughs> they'll like, go into the information like, oh, he's wrong about meth. And, and, like, yeah, <laughs> meth so guy. I hired experts to watch me take ketamine over like FaceTime. And they're like, Woody did it wrong. And I'm like, apparently I was supposed to snort it according to YouTube comments. I, Wait, you don't, I don't have know. to, but you can. Snort it. All right, all right, I'm listening. Tell me more. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you would have loved it. Like, I don't What's want- What's really fun? Take ketamine and then watch Rick and Morty. That shit's fun as fuck. I watched no, Woody's doing it to one. expand his mind. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's yeah, what Rick and, Rick and Morty's Morty. for. I did it yesterday. <laughs> Did you? Did you ketamine yesterday or Rick and Morty? The ketamine. I, I was just having a moment. I was trying to figure some shit out. I know. <laughs> fucking did you, did disfigured. What did you write down? What did you write down in your little K journal? Uh, a lot of stuff actually was about my relationship with Jackie. You know about oh, like well, what fills her bucket. Uh, some of it was like like over not the use top that phrase. sexual. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you read the rest of it. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, anyway, just like how to be a better husband, stuff like that. And this is you know, kind of where I landed on. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. Kyle, what fills your bucket? What flicks your bean? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like a uh, I like a I like when it's not too humid. And uh, the sun's going down, and you can still kind of see around. It's, it's kind of dim out, and the, there's a breeze blowing. That's just the best for me. I just like to chill outside, watch the sunset, and uh, and judge my neighbors from afar. You know, <laughs> I've got a I got a minor conflict with a neighbor right now. They they, they don't no. want my dog to shit like in their woods, and it's like, but they're woods, and they're like, yeah, but there are woods, and it's like, this means I'm gonna have to do, like walk the dog every time it takes a shit instead of just like letting him go out there and shit in those woods now and it, and i haven't i was like oh yeah no problem but in my head <laughs> in my head i'm thinking like how far do we take this <laughs> oh, just, just talk to him the way you talk to those nurses and be like i'm stronger than i've ever been i could <laughs> i could smash a can of beans if i felt like it. they'd be like hey stop talking to the fucking neighbor about his dog he can shit wherever he wants like he's, he's an insane now, person I, i'll tell you what i'm gonna do and it's nothing i'm just gonna like get the dog like a zip, a zip line or whatever and he can shit in, in the yard and he won't have to go in their, their fancy woods I had this idea that I went down this this like idea trail of like getting a surveyor and finding out exactly where the lines were and then spitefully doing the things I can do on my mm-hmm. side of their woods. But I was just like, where does that lead us? Like, you, you got that lead us? of dog shit fucking delivered. Just put it like right like, on the like, boundary. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just going to say, yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. And I just won't. And then like that, that late lady who lives behind me will be like at, an ally and not an enemy and that's what i'm gonna do good so but i want to be spiteful make i was like I, I like googled like how to get back at annoying neighbors and <laughs> that, that was a great read I'm, I, <laughs> like you can sign them up for uh 
for, for all of these mail things. And there's like one website that like links them all where you can like mass spam them down. And then there was another thing. Um, oh, 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 you don't oh. want to fuck with people's mail. That's like federal stuff. No, 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 no. You don't no, like no, do no. anything you're not supposed to do. You like sign no. someone up for like a mailing list of like, right. like, like now I'm they're getting jelly enthusiast. magazines. Right. Yeah, Jelly Absolutely. Enthusiast Magazine every month. Mm-hmm. Oh, Boys and Berries in, is it? Well, <laughs> Lee needs My to know. favorite tip on annoy put bird seed on their car. That has got to be the best. But you have to go there to do that, though. You want to be yeah. hands off. Here's another mm. thing that they said you could do. Buy like, find out what what their uh their their uh t- no, excuse me. If you've got their number, then you can write the number on a uh, a bunch of key fobs. Get like 200 keys that don't do anything and scatter them about the world. And now people will find those keys and it'll say return to Kevin. Fucking here's the number. And so like three years from now, somebody finds that key in a drawer. (laughs) (laughs) Kevin there. No. (laughs) But he never has been. He never has to stop. (laughs) Because he doesn't. I mean that's a lot of work for not a lot of pay. Off. No, it's not. You just buy a few yeah. keys and you you know you scatter them about the world. No, but um, then, but I'm just yeah. not going to do anything. I, I see your point. Like I maybe I wouldn't want somebody's dog shit in my woods. I guess so I'll just be a good neighbor. But it's part of me is like, like, is it like a big piece of land? That no, it's it's like it, there's like a big there's like a strip of woods that separate our homes, mm-hmm. and the dogs oh. like go in there a little bit. Like like they like they don't. I think they feel vulnerable when they take a shit. So if mm. they can like get in the bushes there where they're kind of hidden and take a shit, they're like, that's what they want to do. Yeah. And uh, and so now they're having to take these scary shits in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, know, you know, this, they're like yeah. hun- hun- hunkered down, they're like looking around, yeah. they're looking at you because they want you to watch their back. They're like, you got me, mm-hmm. boss. <laughs> I'm shitting over here. Watch my back. That's, that's wait, one of my wait favorite. Wait shitting and then just take off running. And then that's why they look they at you, by the way. I don't, maybe yeah, everyone yeah. knows that, but but they're, mm-hmm. they're like, you got my back. Good, good. I'm vulnerable. I'm shitting, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Wait look, till they're staring I'll, at you and they just they just take off and then just yeah. see if they follow you. You ever had a dog follow you to the bathroom? I like to imagine that's why they're like, bro, you about to shit? Yeah. All right, I got you. Let me in. Come on. Yeah. I'll, I'll watch your back. <laughs> I can tell you're I can, vulnerable. I can, I can tell when my wife is in the bathroom because without even knocking on the door, because the dog just sits outside the door and guards. Yeah, yeah. really. Just, my dogs yeah, yeah. do that with my wife sometimes. Got your back. But I think it's it's not so much guarding as it is like they want a, more attention from her. It's that. Yeah. It's that. I, I think to truly test that one, you got to pop a squat in the yard. You know, like, like see if the, see yeah. what the dog does. You start shitting in your yard, and see how they your won't dog defend reacts. you from the cops when they get there to arrest. Well, you they'll do their best. Yeah. Uh, well, they get shot. They dogs just are great. shoot little Fozzie and Teddy. I saw, I saw some guy, like, probably a fucking Canuck, because he walks outside and there's a moose in his yard that he doesn't see right away because it's morning. He's bleary eyed with some coffee and he's got like a little <laughs> yappy fucking dog. And the dog goes for the moose and the moose goes for the man. And somehow everybody makes it away unscathed. <laughs> but the dog had such balls. It was just like, oh, 1200 pound moose, come at me. And he's just, he's just like, ah! <laughs> like running at the moose the guy's like get the fuck in here fonzie it's good we gotta go <laughs> i love those ones where you see like a cat like fighting a black bear or something like yeah. that it's like fucking, mm-hmm. imagine the, the black bears on an animal have, that, that's, that's just because black bears don't know cats that's what that's yeah. about that's so funny oh, is it? it has to be because if the if, if black birds or if black bears coexisted with cats in wilderness they'd be like oh oh yeah another one of those huh mm. god i love cat and they wouldn't be like, hey. yeah. but they're like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? I, God, you slapped me in the nose. You must meet business. I think they're hey, like yeah. black, those videos. black bears in the woods are like outranked by like mountain lions, right? Like they'll they'll be wary of mountain lion. What are you imagining? Stuff? Some sort of like coming together of the Disney animals where they all vote no, no, for like they're uh, like they're like because you know how mountain uh, lions are like territorial, like super territorial, like. I, in guess, those areas, like, black bears I avoid mountain like a, lion territory. Do they? I think so. Because like mountain Maybe lions, they think are it's like, like a big. baby mountain lion yeah. or something. I don't know anything They're about like, that, that, but um, I really I, I can watch those videos for like an hour and a half, two hours at a time on YouTube. They're just trail cam videos, and oh, you just yeah. you watch like a bear walk by and then some squirrels fucking like fuck in the background while like a chipmunk <laughs> jerks it up watching, and then like, some deer <laughs> walk by and like the. The, the the coyote you you see the coyote comes by every day to like 
shit next to that tree <laughs> it's like a spot <laughs> uh, i really like those videos oh you mentioned rick and, rick and morty earlier I, I watched season um season six episode one last night and thought it was pretty good like i laughed out loud a couple of times oh did they there's a new one yeah yeah the new season's begun there's two episodes of I it i've seen all the last one. Oh, yeah, i haven't well, watched it yet yeah i'll have to watch that I, I liked it i liked it a lot i i, I haven't I watched remember. it since last time i did ketamine <laughs> <laughs> What, uh, uh, tell, what was tell your me about your experience with ketamine? ketamine yeah, I, I I was like a a, a slug. Like uh, I we, we we so we laid out all these mattresses on the floor at my friend's house, and we're like, all right, let's just do a retarded amount of ketamine and watch Rick and Morty. So we we all snorted massive lines of ketamine, and then we're sitting on these like these mattresses in front of the TV, and I, I like I have. I was pretty drunk at the time, so I have like <laughs> patchy memory. But I remember at one time just like just sitting there with like my friend, and we're just like poking each other in the face and shit, and they're just giggling like schoolgirls. We're just like, and and I'm like like t- pretending to put my finger in his mouth, and he's like going, <laughs> like pretending to bite me and stuff. And we're just oh no, we're, we were we were, reti- we were retarded slugs. What, was it like <laughs> like was it a little getting a little bit gay? Like, like yeah, like, ketamine didn't make me gay. No, because, no, no, like, no, like no, MDMA. Okay. No, we were just like we were just like tickling each other, just being like kids. <laughs> what what like, they? That's interesting. Right, right, about okay, ketamine that, is that okay. it makes you it makes you act like what you want the most in the world. <laughs> oh, it wasn't gay. A we were just like, tickling each other and you know fun. No, 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 not a gay. Yeah, way. That's just what like, I'm we just looking at like, the data. Tickling each other's knobs, but it was just like it was just dumb shit. Yeah, if you had taken a little more though. Oh, you never know. How much? How much? How much ketamine does it take to turn you gay? One of my friends How much was talking did you about doing a trip. The other <laughs> yeah, day. You already know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, my, my friend was talking about doing a trip the other day, and he's, he's like, "Yeah, we could, we could do this drug or that drug, and a lot of people want to do DMT." And, uh, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Well, we could do MDMA or whatever, but we really need to bring chicks." Are you going to that. a rave? He's like, "We really need to all like bring our girls if we do that, because." Man, homie, if any of y'all start getting gay with me, like I'm not gonna be <laughs> one of those weird dudes that like kills you or anything, but like. I'm going to like make fun of you for a long time, you know? <laughs> what does He's he think MDMA does? R- write this person's you, like, name. Huggy kissy, that? right? Like, 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 doesn't it? Doesn't it? I, I've, I've never done it. I've only done it at like, but before I went to concerts in college. Did it make and, you like, like huggy was... kissy and like, would you want to like put your hand around your bra? No, I said like, it, like I, I did it and like I went to like a Skrillex show in like 2010 and cool. I was that I was one of those lunatics. He was cool at the time. And- <laughs> I'm not disputing that. I have I have done MDMA and I was, at a Skrillex show. I was show. up at the, uh, there we go, <laughs> brothers. And uh, and I was over to the right, one of those guys who's not in the thick, like doing the normal person like dancing. I was like in my own world vibing. Like okay. dancing in ways I never had. I had a blast. So and dehydrated. Nothing gay then at all. No, no. We just danced, yeah. had a great time, and then mm. then went back. This uh, may, maybe maybe my friend has like a whole gay thing, and he's he's that, that's his way of being like, well, let's not do that. That makes people gay. Trust me. See, that's what I was, I was like. Oh wow! Oh, you're like, dude, last time I got shots? blown out. Yeah. Like, oh, you're gonna do tequila? I, I, Don't I remember, kiss me, bro. I remember one time. Oh, well, it's actually when we went to the Skrillex concert. We uh, so we we got to this festival. It was called Breath of Life, and it's like a uh, anti-cancer like awareness concert thing. And so I rock up there with I've got a I got a pack of cigarettes and a fuckload of MDMA. And it's 9 a.m. in the morning and it goes from like 9 a.m. till midnight at night. Mm. So me and my friend get there and we're like, okay, let's have a couple of beers. And my friend's like, no, let's just take two pingers instantly. So we take two pills of MDMA straight away, like at 9 a.m. in the fucking morning. And so we're fucked. And I'm I'm so (laughs) while you're you're on MDMA, you're smoking a lot of cigarettes if you're a smoker or you're chewing a lot Mm. of chewing gum. And so I go through this pack of cigarettes and then I remember just spending the whole rest of the day trying to find fucking cigarettes at this like <laughs> anti-cancer festival <laughs> and it was fucking impossible. It was so fucking hard to find a cigarette. But uh, at one stage, so we, we took so many, my friends like standing there next to this, this bar thing and they just start throwing up fucking blue foam. <laughs> and we're just, what? He's just freaking the fuck out and just throwing throwing up fucking blue foam everywhere and we're like okay he's definitely gonna die <laughs> he, 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 turned out, he turned out okay and then so we we end up like taking all of our mdma and we're like oh, yeah, let's let's uh let's just hang out so it's like 
midday. And uh, we go we go and watch Fatboy Slim. And I'm standing there in the crowd at Fatboy Slim. And I look down at my feet and just perched under my feet is just another massive bag of pills, like 10 of them. And I was like, the holy grail. Let's take more pills. <laughs> so random just... drugs? Wait, where you found random drugs yeah. on the ground? Yeah. And you took so... those random drugs. Fuck yeah, dude. Did you How know did what you it was? That those weren't like, I don't know, downers or, or, or something. Just take one and find out. But did you take one and find out or did you take a whole bunch? Yeah. No, it was MDMA. I, oh, well, wow. I took a whole bunch after I took one and then I was like, that's MDMA. And then I oh, took a whole bunch. <laughs> it's four <laughs> pills. I yeah, love when that smart. happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah I, I used to have the uh, the opinion that if uh, someone would be like, hey, do you want this? And I'd be like, uh, what is it? Oh, actually, don't worry. And then I'll just take it. <laughs> we'll just find out. I called well, that, it the drug test. That is a little different than taking floor pills, though. Like, like yeah. at, least, the, at least when someone offers you something, they're kind of co-signing that that pill. Uh, it was like, hey, in, you want one of these? Yeah. It was in a it was in a baggie. So. They, they were, they were, it was in a baggie. They were pressed pills. Oh, they thank God. Like, they look like pingers. I was like, eh, fuck it. Okay. It worked. I, I didn't die. pills myself. <laughs> I didn't die. I'm so scary. I didn't die. Dude, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like that my even if it was the purest MDMA on the planet, like the thought of taking a pill not knowing on the ground of a festival, I would immediately be like, like if I took one and somebody was like, can you believe I found yeah. these on the ground? I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, like, like I, I'd be like going to the <laughs> hospital, like having a panic attack. Like it's a festival if you're though. Like, there's fun pills all like, over the place. Yeah, so but what if they so someone already. had tested some drugs and be like, oh look, poison. Ha, get rid of that poison. And they, <laughs> and they throw it on the ground. Yeah, but look, like, drugs are on the ground. That means someone has discarded them or some cl the clumsiest person in the world yeah, they just lost doesn't them. drop their drugs. <laughs> like, yeah, they do. It happened. It, it happened. I've never dropped. How, drugs how, how in do you my know life. they're on drugs? Like, do anything. That's true. Is that your only time ever taking floor or floors generous ground drugs? Ground drugs. Gra uh, yeah, that's the only time. Oh, well, I mean, except for picking mushrooms in the forest, but that's the that's, that's the only okay. time I've ever picked up so, like a. I'm okay with that. A class A narcotic off the See, ground. Nature like, put those okay, there. Not yeah, mystery person. When you when you go in the woods and you like are picking those. Is it like, oh, you need to find one patch and there's a bunch of them? Or is it like a tiny little uh, one there and it's like, oh, we need we need to find eight more cow pies to get enough? Like, I have no idea. I, uh, I, I just, uh, I usually, my friend uh, tells me which ones they are because I suck at it. But uh, from what I understand, it's just like you, you go to an area that has like the right environment. So he's always like, oh, they're growing down here at the moment. You go down there and then they'll just be sort of spread out everywhere. And he'll just like walk around and be like, that's one, that's one, that's one. And then just pick them up. And he does something. He, the ones down here, you, you hold them. And then the, like when they're snapped off, the ring turns like blue on the, oh. uh, and they, uh, he calls them blue meanies. So, but I, yeah, I, I'm like, you do that. You know more about it. Oh, I wanted to kill myself by eating something. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yep, I've got this. So you just wait beside him for him to, procure the drugs for you hey, we'll just go have a beer watch. i'm just not into mushrooms at all it's it's never been a good yeah. time really it's never been a good time okay. um but the last time i did mushrooms i had i like like afterwards i had this like i don't know i just felt shitty i couldn't go i was lying in bed like man i'm bummed out and i'm like what am i bummed out about i don't know just bummed out that sucks <laughs> and i woke up the next morning and i was like Phew, i'm glad i don't feel like that anymore that was yeah. awful, and it, and, and like the 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 juice wasn't worth the squeeze, or however you want to put it, because I don't know, yeah. maybe a little giggly, but afterwards I was I, I just felt like shit, I just felt like terrible, like all, like depressed, like like I fell into a, a a a meaningless depression that wasn't wasn't about anything in particular, right? For no cause, no reason, just yeah, I just had that like heavy, empty sort of like feeling in my chest and like restlessness, where like. How can I sleep when I feel this bad? Like, uh, oh, no. and I'm like, why? <laughs> so what's your yeah. favorite? LSD? LSD is your good one. Oh, LSD is the best drug I've ever done for but sure. But you've only done it once or twice, right? Yeah, just once, just once. once. See, that's um, the thing. It's such a small sample size. I suppose, but I don't. In my experience, various drugs have always felt the same, no matter how many times I've done them. Yeah. Like, like, like Mm -hmm. I think I tried cocaine twice, and both times it felt the same, and both times I didn't like it. And I was like, "This is just." First of all, this is this doesn't seem like a hard drug because 
it feels like I just slammed three Red Bulls. I'm a little giddy, but like mm. Jesus Christ, that shit's expensive and gross, and you're putting it in your nose. And who the there's always it laxative like in there. Like like it has a you can taste the fucking laxative. It's the it's fucking gross because it, they it, it, cut it to make more yeah, money. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and and I'm sure somebody out there is like a weed kind of like, yeah, you gotta get the pure shit. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> um, that seems like is. a gross. Well, drug. Uh, most of the cocaine these days though is not pure. Because I would never do that make, again. You can't make like proper cocaine anymore because the they they used ether to make it originally, and that was like how you make proper cocaine, and it's almost impossible to get that in Southern America now. They have like laws yeah. against it, so. Yeah. Pretty much all of the cocaine that you get is not proper cocaine. So it's, I was like, well, it's I probably care. better. I, 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 so I, I'm rewatching Breaking Bad right now, okay. and they sell meth in that show, that blue meth. And all the like key things about making it are not true. That like methamphetamine or whatever, apparently Methyl- not, or methylamine. Methyl- Methylamine's yeah. not that hard to get. And uh, methylamine is not that hard to make. You know, you can use like really common things like I'm making it up, but like aluminum and phosphate or something makes methylamine. And any chemist can do this. The whole plot device of them like breaking into warehouses and stopping trains and shit like that was just for TV. Also, the purity, you know, human is 99.1% pure and Jesse could make like 90% pure and the other people are making 70. All that is bullshit too. Meth is apparently typically stepped on, you know, like even if it was 99.1% pure, no one would want that. They would Mm. instantly, the dealers would start just mixing in rock candy or something to to make Mm. more money. In um, not not rock candy. I just said that because it looked like meth. Yeah, I I feel it. Yeah, yeah. you cut it with something because it. I would imagine that using pure meth you'd you'd want like such a tiny amount that some if you'd been using it cut your whole life and then you went to like something pure you'd just kill yourself maybe but the dealers yeah, just maybe. make more money like i think barksdale in um the wire was like hey the lower the quality the more they buy and <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's up yeah they kept changing the uh the name of the drug but it was the same shit over and over he's like yeah that's grape eight <laughs> right there that's that new shit it's fire <laughs> kill <it, laughs> the kill ninja <laughs> and, 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 but it's the same shit they were selling last hey, year. All about marketing, meth marketing. Yeah, yeah. It, it was always a good thing if it killed somebody, that, because then, then everybody'd be like, "Hey, can I get the stuff that killed that guy? Y'all got that?" <laughs> Jesus. What, <fuck? laughs> what, uh, off drug talk. Where do we stand on the Little Mermaid controversy? It is filling my news feed everywhere. Everyone's talking about. This. Um. Well, Maybe like I'm I don't know. I don't think right the Little Mermaid is like a anything. real hero. Maybe it's one of those things. Is this the hill we die on? Maybe it's when they when they start trying to take like Davy Crockett or Daniel Boone and making them no we'll we'll, we'll give them up they already took the founding fathers, um, yeah, I just don't care that the Little okay. Mermaid is uh is black. What I I wish they'd found a better looking human being like like that. Does that hmm. chick have eyebrows or or is that a thing to, to her for <laughs> her the, eyes are her eyes are so far apart. She her, actually Zach? looks like a fish. Like, hmm. did they try to make her look like a fish? Is that why she looks like that? I don't care that she's black. I just think she's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> the one ugly no, I, on my and television. I, 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 I'm, I'm j- I've only seen the one picture though. Like, see, okay, I can see she has eyebrows because I have a monitor. But like, every time I've seen this on my phone, are they? Doesn't seem like she has eyebrows. I don't know. Who is she it? Still is she has red hair. hair. Um, I, I don't know. Haley Kyle's- something. Or, or something like that, yeah. Pally. I, I don't know. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm having difficulty caring at all about that. I just don't really? care. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just don't care. About what, what That's Halle Berry. Oh, it's Halle that Berry. Not ha- no, no, no. It's like oh, Haley, why? It's a na- this, the name's Berry. similar. Oh. So and and Halle Berry is black. Uh. So people conflate them. Yeah. It's it's the names are close. The first time I, I read it, my mind like made Halle Berry happen, and I was like, I, cool. But she's old, right? She's from I, Ursula. I, I, my problem isn't with the the fact that she's black. It's the fact that they keep making all their movies into these fucking shitty live action shit. It's like come up with a new idea. Like you know what I want? Here's, here's a little this casting for you. Shit. Yeah, all right, so the idea. bad guy, <laughs> the bad guy in Little Mermaid is Ursula, and mm-hmm. uh, that was a fat. Um, I guess you'd say a white woman, octopus, a, a, octopus woman. Uh, originally, I think this time they should have like a like a like a like a Karen. I think Ursula should be like <laughs> oh, a white. Yeah. He should be like a white Karen. And, uh, and, well, and what did and, Ursula do? I don't remember. I didn't really watch she, that movie. What she, what was the so she, she gave legs. she gave the Little Mermaid the legs um, to to get back at her father and and start the whole uh, conflict between them. Uh, she yeah she, she takes a voice. 
So she oh yeah, she took her voice. For the yeah, legs. Yeah. Um, yeah. She exchanged. Yeah. It's a fair deal. Legs for a voice. I, that is yeah. pretty fair. I, I didn't love it when and I saw a pussy, a human for... pussy. She had that like <laughs> yeah. fishy cloaca before that. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to come off as racist. Yeah. I feel bad, but something about Little Mermaid is like iconically kind of white with the long red hair. Yeah, it is. I, it's a fictional ginger character, girls like... everywhere cried. I guess now, and I bet that's not a fake thing. I bet your daughter loved the Little Mermaid girl. There's right? not brave. a lot of ginger representation. <laughs> not I, I, uh, there are some roles that I feel like. I don't know. The, the look does matter. Like it, it, I saw this thing. I guess the conservatives are saying that uh, they're going to do a Martin Luther King movie and uh, <laughs> cast Mel Gibson in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> you know Dude, it would not surprise me if they did. Right? <laughs> it just, but, if it just full on Tropic Thunder, that shit. Just black. Like, <laughs> no, 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 that's what I want to say. <laughs> but it's so like, no, no, funny. this has to be a black actor to play. Can Danny Glover play Mel Gibson as, Talcum X. as a white person? <laughs> Talcum X. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle. I got wrapped up. What'd you say? No, it... <laughs> Not... I just it's don't a... care that the little mermaid I, I guess I you guess what care. I care about is that the little mermaid isn't a ginger. But then I looked and that's a black ginger. Her hair's yeah, red. Her hair's her... red. Yeah, yeah. Um throw some freckles on that black chick and I'm co-signing this whole movie. We're not really <laughs> the target audience, also. I am. I love the little mermaid. You don't love to sing the songs all day, every day, and buy the merchandise. I, I was I had a the little big mermaid jungle book bag. guy. Of course we're not. But, <laughs> I was all but, about jungle book. I don't know. I just don't care, I guess. But I do see the point that, like, I guess gingers aren't represented that much. And it's this is t stealing one of their little things away. But shit, go back and watch the cartoon, man. You don't want to watch this live action shit anyway. It was going to be shitty where it, 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 black chick, white chick, it didn't matter. It was going to be a shitty movie. Yeah. If How about they had this? cast about a this woman month? to play Gandalf, I feel like Taylor would be like, that, no, she's not supposed to I would to be, be furious because that is not aligned with the lore. So, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is, how is this but, different? Yeah, I mean, the difference to me is literally just like Lord of the Rings lore I like and care about. This lore I don't. That's the only like. I guess I just don't, don't care about, about yeah, the Little Mermaid. I, I don't care about the Little Mermaid. Mm. Okay. I, I mean, I mean, you know, like if you, if, if you find some reason to I, I i guess i could jump on board but i'm just not motivated right now show me some more videos of those little girls crying the ginger girls because i saw that the other day on reddit and i was like <laughs> fuck that's sad is that real <laughs> and you know it's not some parent was like all right girls here's what we're gonna do how sad are you that they got a ninja playing the little mermaid it's the worst thing ever right <laughs> and they get the kids all fired up and then they like play the trailer and then they they like maybe they slap the kids around you know how some of the parents are <laughs> And they get the kids all teary eyed, and and then they like cut to the kid from the commercial to the kid, and they're all crying over there. But it looks sad. And Dude, I that felt bad for them. That trend of like adults filming their kids to like transitively make a point they want yeah. to be able to make on social media is annoying. It's like, do you remember that meme where it'd be like, in like 2016 after Trump won, like you'd see people being like, I just spoke to my seven year old about Donald Trump being the president, and she asked me, "This is tremendously disrespectful." I can't believe what are we going to do about this mother? Who's going to sustain us? Who's going to make us safe? He's a racist. He's a, uh, a, an out and out bigot. My God, I'm aghast at the prospect. Like, and, and then, and then everyone in the comments would be like, you're lying. Children don't care. It's like, and then people would be like, I told my son about this. And he said, when he grows up, he wants to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it's like, that seems real. Like, I believe that one. <laughs> like, can you imagine that being like five and like your your adult parent comes over and like tells you something so they can film a reaction? Like, what do you think oh. about this happening? And then you're like, oh, well, I'm reading the facial expressions of my parent. I guess I'll give a response that's in cue with what I anticipate they want. Like, I just don't care. I, I, I just, just don't care. I, I don't understand why people have such an issue with it. It's like if you don't like it, just don't see the fucking movie. Who gives a shit? Like if I now if I'm I really Twitter and it's like Kanye West is releasing a new album, which is, oh it's here we go. Kanye West tells Gap he's terminating their partnership on my Twitter right now. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm not gonna read that. I'm not gonna go to Kanye West's mm -hmm. website. I'm not gonna like, but I'm not gonna be like. Fuck you, Kanye West. How dare you leave Gap or some shit like that? <laughs> there's so the there's fuck. so much like bait to try and get you upset nowadays on all yeah. social media where it's like, hey, this is a story. Does it upset you? And it's like, not really. Look like, at all you guys like, haven't spent the last four days doom scrolling. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, <laughs> um, no, I'm watching weird. I'm watching videos from Eric Bugenhagen and I'm learning the correct <laughs> mindset. 
That's <laughs> that's what I do. Eric Bugenhagen, great fitness channel. Check him out. Oh yeah, I think. Oh yeah, you're allowed Boogs. to lift more than ten yeah. pounds. He's great. But I was <laughs> watching. Uh, I was watching something from a January <laughs> from the January sixth hearing, and it was um, mm. what's his fucking is it Ted Cruz? Yeah, Ted Cruz was questioning some FBI representative, and his question that he kept. You know, sometimes they'll keep repeating the question over and over because the person is clearly being like crazy evasive a evasive yeah and they'll get to that point where they're like it's a simple question <laughs> and then they'll, they'll, they're, 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 they're pointing out this person clearly wants to re- is refusing for a reason can everybody see it like pay attention here yeah, being sneaky. and his question was um were there any fbi agents on the ground inciting or cooperating with the violence on january 6th and she's like, I, I can't discuss those matters and well, no, well, well, really? well, let's let's pull up a little photo. And this is on the FBI's wanted page. You see this gentleman right here whispering in that person's ear. Well, here he is on your page. Uh, and uh, notice right after he whispers in this person's ear, this person begins attacking the fence. He whispers and attack, whispers and attack. Well, here he is on your wanted page. Then the next day, whoop, he's gone. He's off the page. This man's name is jimmy johnson whatever his fucking name is Mm. do you know jimmy johnson we're aware of an individual by that name um yes is (laughs) is he working with you well we couldn't really discuss anything like that and it's not really pertinent at this at this time to talk about uh, fbi employees who may or may not be involved in blah 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 (laughs) that guy was there working for the fbi and like ted cruz would you like like him or not somehow like had somebody get to the bottom of this and, and this this lady's like I can't tell you who that man with the hat on is or if he works for me or if we had anything to do with inciting violence on January 6th. That's all I'm saying. Nothing to do with that and can't talk about it. Absolutely cannot talk about it. And it was like, what the fuck am I watching here? Why no, is this on a YouTube short and not on the <laughs> Why is this a YouTube short? <laughs> I'm eating these things like the one before this was a guy kicking a bottle cap. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck. I wonder if there's more to it if the long version would uh, would be more insightful. No, or... I got the whole thing. What I'm saying is like it's just, it's being underplayed. If that's a real thing, like I'm just saying, it's dangerous to get YouTube shorts as your news feed. Like maybe there's more to the oh, story, you're... or maybe it accurately represented. Well, it. I won't get to the bottom of it. So hmm. um, you know, I just care I'm, more I'm about that than the, the Little bottom. Mermaid being um, an eyebrowless black woman who's who probably We've kills it. I bet she, she has eyebrows. I, I I bet she fucking kills it. I bet she's great at singing. I bet it'll it'll like they'll fucking. I bet it'll do well. Like, I like, haven't like, been uh, reading any I don't news. Care, though. I, I've been don't fucking care. I, I've actually I've been I took up gang stalking, bought a red Ooh. car, mm. been, been just harassing target. You know, it's good to have it. hobbies. Oh, I made a candle Where's your target. Uh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me. you're all that you're you're bad mouth on the FBI here. I got a new employer, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they're hiring me to gang stalk the enemies of the state. Oh, I made my way, first we, candle. We had today, to... Taylor. <laughs> I was I was channeling you. I, I yeah, I I. Trying to get the what is fo like fragrance oil or something, yeah. and you, you have to get the percentage right. My candle was way too small. I, I took the glass jar I intended to fill up, I filled it with wax, and then I melted it. Turns out welted ma- melted wax takes half the space that yeah. fluffy. Yeah, so that, I fucked that up. Made that same mistake. And uh, my wick, I think, sucks because it is the tiniest little flame. It, it's 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 not burning enough. It could smell yeah. more. You need but. to buy. I made a couple back in the day where mm. I got these wood wicks off of mm-hmm. Amazon, and I just used like a little super glue to get it like sticking straight up. And then when you get the mat, the wax melted and everything, I fucked up that that pour the first time too because you're like, wow, it looks so perfect, and you walk away for five minutes and you come back and it's just like a cratered moon surface of garbage, and you're like, god damn it. And so what you do, okay. yeah, but mine was worse then. <laughs> so you you almost like wait to pour until it's like borderline almost resolidifying like it's mm-hmm. like starting to get a little thicker just to the point where it'll still make that nice top or that's what the uh that's what the the candle community led me down when i, when I got into what was it like five years ago no, I, I got into making candles for a while in like 2018 slush puppy yeah. i was it was i love candles and it adds a lot to to your life your quality of life i think it, it's yes. just a nice Does smell it? in there and Dude, you know I'm you gotta you don't don't be basic now. with your sense a great one what do you got Something there? What that is, is, that, is that apple? 
It sucks. It's tutti frutti. I'm just what working my fuck? way through it. Oh, overly <laughs> sweet. You don't, you, don't want overly, you don't want an overly sweet candle. What you want is try and find some, Not like, me. it's called mahogany teak wood. Mm. That's teak. the oil scent flavor you want. It smells mm. so good. I'm and like a yeah. butternut butterscotch kind of guy like that's where my sweet i like spot. uh i honestly like like something like vanilla or mm-hmm. uh or, or something stuff. like that. So, something that like as long as if it's you walk sweet. the house after being out all day you're like ah it's nice in here but it doesn't become that gross like putrid smell if you have like i don't know pine like really strong pine all day like i feel like i get gross grossed out by that yeah all we have like christmas time that's the best thing about having a real tree i want to talk about old dogs now and it like like your house can smell like old dog and you, you oh, want to yeah. believe it doesn't oh no people with our hygiene and sense of cleanliness would never have a, a house that smells like your 250 pounds worth of dog that, that, that like it yeah bro so you burn some candles and it is an effective counter do you take your dogs to get mm-hmm. them groomed or you, they don't really require Sometimes. a lot of that huh not a lot but the you know their toenails in particular we like to have someone else do it yeah, so like um, I've been struggling to find a groomer for this fucking ret- re- retarded dog I've got. Uh, <laughs> like, like literally, like people are like, "We're not taking new clients," and it's like, "What the fuck?" It, That's discrimination. Maybe if y'all out there are out there looking for uh, like a side hustle, become a goddamn dog groomer it's, because it's actually, you should. Exactly they're too. turning money away. They don't You're have like, an you hour. can't turn down my retarded dog just because he has Down syndrome. <laughs> And and don't get me wrong, like like it's not like I go you go through an interview process and they're like we don't want your money. They're like no new clients. They're like, like you can't even get started. So uh, I, I, it's like a week or two before I can get anything done to him. But uh, he needs to be fucking groomed. I I start. I don't have any pictures of it, but I got out the trimmers the other night because his paw pads. You know they they mm. the, the fur was growing over his pads and he couldn't get any traction. He's slipping around everywhere on hardwood. <laughs> so I, I shaved his paw pads out really well. And then his tail looked pathetic. It was all stringy and stuff. And I was like, let me trim that up too. <laughs> and by the time I got done, <laughs> I had fucked his shit up. <laughs> I, got well. I got his whole like <laughs> butt area really good, like his thigh area, like whatever you call that. And like, like there's all sorts of Grinch fingers like hanging down. To, I got all that like, and I made it look like he has an ass. <laughs> like I just got two cheeks like moving. You gave him some definition. <laughs> yeah, I gave him some definition. Got but cake. I fucked his tail up. I made it look like I. I I'll take a picture at some point, but but it's bad. Did you it's take like way too much off? I took, I almost shaved his tail. I almost shaved his tail. It's a husky. I, uh, I was like, I'm gonna, husky. I'm gonna try and get the, uh, I, I'm gonna try and get the the knotted fur off. And so I start like trying to go at it. Oh, and yeah, so I'm like, I get like one of the spaces on the clippers, and I'm like trying to push it through his fur. But his fur is so thick, it won't actually cut. So I'm like, okay, how the fuck am I gonna do this? So I get to the point where I'm like, I've just got the clippers and there's no guard on it and so it's like it's ready to number zero and then i'm just sort of going at him like i'm chopping a like a topiary like i'm trying to make one of those like fucking mm-hmm. dog shaped like bushes and and then <laughs> i fucked up and he ends up like his tail looks like a fucking rat's tail and like he's he's just like got these patches on him that are like super fucking <laughs> short so i have to bring the whole motherfucker like really short but he's still got like this huge beard and so it just looks like his body just looked like he was naked and then he just had like a bike helmet on it was just like a fucking massive furry head and then just no fur on him and he just looked fucked for like months it was <laughs> fucked. Poor yeah dog. i would not want to groom my own dog i i mean my yeah. dogs they don't shed because they're like mixed with poodle so i have to take them every couple months to get them groomed when they get yeah too long and like that. it is a world of difference like that we we like started taking them to this like nice place when we first got them and they did a great job they would even do that thing where they're like do you want like their little head like made like a little ball yeah and, and it's like ab- absolutely i do that's adorable you and should so get them do like that. a lion and then we uh, at one point like they, we couldn't get them in there and so we had to take them to like petco or PetSmart, one of those places and i just not knowing was like it's probably about the same it's way cheaper but it was maybe about the same they like 
I, maybe it was this person's last day <laughs> because, because my dogs came out and I remember standing there like you wait at the desk and they go, we'll go get Fozzie and Teddy. And I saw him come out and I was like, whoa, <laughs> they just looked so ratty, so terrible. They had like some layer. It's like, OK, well, Teddy's left side's visibly shorter than his right. Like there's a patch missing from like one ear and not the other. Oh, they like no. left one patch on top of Fozzie's head where he's got just a fountain coming out it, they did a horrible job so i don't take them there anymore i, I yeah, take that's what happened to us we, we took him to like a uh a cheap place and it, and it reminded me of like those scenes from like jarhead and shit where they're shaving all the marines heads like <laughs> I, I just put him in there and then he just got just goes shit <laughs> fucked up by a staff sergeant and then he's just like comes out and he's just like Fuck! <laughs> just like <laughs> oh, you poor motherfucker <laughs> what like is your shit. major malfunction yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> like Tampa. I felt so sorry for him. He looked fucked up. <laughs> yeah, they, those yeah, dog groomers. Find, who knows what they're I was looking on, like, uh, one of those apps, Thumbtack or something, and uh, I found a dog groomer. I was like, oh, perfect. Like, 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 I don't care what it costs, 100, 200. I don't even know what it costs. And uh, and I, what I want is someone who will come to me with, like, one of those dog vans from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And so, like, that's what I've selected. Those and aren't I, real. They are real. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog, but the, the van's are real. The mobile pet grooming yeah. uh, thing. And uh, and it turns no out, idea. I, like, look into the description of this girl's thing because she's, like, $100 cheaper than everybody else. I'm like, wow. And you can work today. And uh, she uses your tub. <laughs> she comes <laughs> in your house and throws your dog in your tub and gives yeah. him a good scrub down. This guy's like, great. Is- he said he uses the power of fire. Like <laughs> the fastest groomer in the West. <laughs> so I didn't go with her. I didn't go with her. I'm glad you're taking such good care of that special little guy. Oh my mm. god! I guess I'm gonna have to get him a fucking surgery. This piece of shit. I, I last night he started. Call- how, how did you come into? How did, for um, the leg? How did you come into leg. contact? How, how did you own? The, how do you own this fucking retarded? I, like, I wanted a dog. I want to show dog. a picture of the dog. They take the same bus. I want. <laughs> Zach, can you find a picture of the dog? I wanted here? the dog, a dog, and I'd been looking at the, lots of dogs online. And I kept seeing this little fucker uh, in the local shelter. Um, and I don't know. I went in there, and there he was. And he was, like, friendly. And he's got a happy little face. And uh, he was way bigger than I thought he was going to be when I got there. Like but... a moon face, you might say. Yeah. And yeah, was he like way a... stronger than you thought he would be? <laughs> he had this, uh, <laughs> uh, this he had a massive cock. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, uh, and so I, when I got him home, I noticed that uh, one of his back legs has been broken before. <laughs> <He's> totally... <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he's still out since then. He, he has was Down syndrome for sure. Uh, his, he can't he, possibly he, can dogs anymore. have Down syndrome? No, yes, it's a real no, thing. That's what it. they look I, like. It, he's filled he out like since it. then. I've been feeding him. He's gained weight. Looks better. Um, he doesn't look retarded <laughs> yeah, anymore. You gotta, you gotta fill out the outer sides of his head to make that look normal. <laughs> yeah, they do. His neck filled out. Like, like he was just yeah. looking like shit. Um, but, but his back leg has been broken in the past and there's like hardware that they, you know, screws and like bars or plates or whatever, and you can feel them. Um, but in one spot, it's like showing through the skin. And I don't mean like, ah, I can kind of see through the skin. I mean like that's metal. Tink, tink, tink. Like (laughs) the skin is like open there. Have you put a magnet on it? Do you know? Of course not. That would be horrific. What if it feels bad? Uh, for it, the might dog? Be, it might be mag- it might be magnetic anyway, because it's like probably titanium, steel. but it I might be stainless steel because titanium, some yeah. vets use stainless steel because it's cheaper in their dogs. Yeah. Uh, so they don't care if it weighs, you know, a few ounces here and there. It's a dog. Uh but but I suppose he's not gone through a metal detector, is he? But he's <laughs> been limping a little bit, and like it seems like he can't get very comfortable sometimes. Like he'll get up multiple times and kind of spin around and sit down, and uh, he's always moving around. So I, I think I'm gonna get him a fucking leg surgery. I bet they're gonna rape my ass with this <laughs> with this oh leg God. surgery. I bet it's oh, I don't even want to speculate. It's gonna be expensive. You know what you should name this dog? The uh, YouTube money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I I for the longest time I've been refusing to like actually give him a name. Like like they they said his name was Rocky, but like sometimes I call him Toby and I do that whole thing from roots to go, yo name is Toby. <laughs> and because uh, he, 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 you know, he's hard to respond to any name. And I think I've been calling him uh, Eskimo Joe from uh, from another racist movie, uh, Django, um, <laughs> where you know the the, the one. Just having a blast with that guy over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so so just 
just not wanting to actually give him a name. Come here, boy. We're going to watch Django, but only up to the part where he gets away. <laughs> <laughs> he looks the part. I, I, I don't know. I kind of. Oh, you lost your audio. Oh, we Kyle. lost you. Now we're not going to know what his dog situation is. <laughs> Maddie's racist well, dog. No, <laughs> <laughs> racist. Uh, yeah, he's taking that's, a that, that dog off. definitely has something going on, though. Why is it? Why is I said that? Right? <laughs> Kyle it doesn't is. want to admit he's Wo- retarded. Woody and I <laughs> instantly saw it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Instantly. I showed it to my wife. Instantly she saw it. Everyone oh, yeah. Knows. So the dog has Down syndrome. If not, a fetal alcohol. I don't, I don't know if dogs can. Yeah. Drink drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe like it's, you know, like people feed their dogs like beer sometimes. They're like, yeah. That's, can you hear maybe me? They just, yes. Yeah. He's not retarded. <laughs> he is he's, he's so retarded. He started coughing. Yeah, yeah. He Bonafide started coughing last night. Donkey uh, brains. And he, he coughed for like a solid minute. This pop, pop, and I was like, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't. That would solve so many problems. <laughs> don't die. And I was already yeah. thinking, like, if you died, I'd immediately go buy that really cool puppy I found. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, me and him would be real good friends, and he doesn't have metal in his leg. You're just like, yeah, I've just always kept sticks of xylitol gum around the house. That's just the way <laughs> I've always been. <laughs> oh no, he got into the chocolate. Uh, if you didn't know that xylitol, xylitol will kill dogs. Tiny amounts of it will kill large. So dogs. will uh, yeah, radiator fluid. Jesus, Christ. radiator fluid. <laughs> but well, I'm not gonna kill you guys... the dog. <laughs> the taste I hate this we, we don't need to get dog killing recipes or anything. <laughs> I imagine. No, no, you acid. don't even know. <laughs> Dude, the thing about it is smell it. The thing about it, Kyle, it's easy because they trust you. The <laughs> 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 renowned I, we, dog. We had a, our, our cat cost us a bunch of money the other day because we we were just sitting there Jesus. and my wife's like. Look at the look at the cat, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" I turn to the cat, and it's just drooling, like, fucking profusely out of its mouth. I'm like, "The cat, that cat's meant to drool." I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with this cat? Like, it wasn't like it wasn't like a oh, like a little. It was like strings of like the mm-hmm. entire front of the cat was like soaking wet. And I'm like, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" And she, she's a little bit older; she's like ten or eleven years old. And so I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, what is wrong with this fucking cat now? Because, like, she's done some stupid shit before. Like, she mm. she knocked a glass off the table once and then just, like, jumped off the table at the same time and landed on it and just, like, sliced her leg almost, like, fuck it, like the muscle, like, Jesus. playing half. Because, like, this girl's, like, fucking two grand to fix. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, sick. Thanks oh, for that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, for your cat. And, and, and then she's, she, yeah, she's, like, drooling. And of course, my wife, loves this cat like this is her mm-hmm. this is her first cat and she what's it fucking, look like it's a ginger cat it's uh it's, oh, it's, it's a really fine good... yeah it, it, yeah i know well actually it's a female <laughs> ginger which are actually quite rare but yeah she but my wife loves this cat like she's it's 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 her best friend and so of course she goes into a fucking meltdown because the cat's drooling so it must be dying and so she's freaking the fuck out and i'm like all right we'll take it to the vet and i'm like so I'm I'm streaming. My wife's like losing her fucking mind, and which we so we end up taking this cat to the vet, and then we get there, and there's the vet's just like, oh, there's nothing wrong with her. She probably has something caught in her throat. That'll be two hundred bucks, thanks. It's just like Jesus, oh, no. fuck. So, so Dude, I like I took, uh. took a day off work, two hundred bucks. Take the cat there because it's fucking drooling, and then it's just fine. We take it home, and it's just fucking fine. Yeah, that's I think I'm so gonna... much of what you have to do with vet. Like I remember yeah. when. I was in college. My brother was in high school. He had like, like younger high school. He had like a sandwich, a peanut butter sandwich with like cooked weed in it that he like, like made a firecracker with or something like where you put it in the oven with the weed on it. And this, this literally happened twice. And uh, he just left a weed sandwich under his bed. And this is a long time ago. And we were just sitting around in the living room, me and my mom, my brothers, a couple people. And Tobo, our little Bichon Frise, comes out. And he's acting normal at first. But then, like, Topo. after a bit, he's, like, st- like, stumbling. He's having trouble, like, moving correctly. And then it gets to the point where he's just, like, almost comatose on there. Like, tongue out, eyes red as the devil's dick. And for, <laughs> for maybe an hour... My youngest brother was like, I don't know what's up with him. I don't know what's wrong with him. And then finally we got him to admit he's like, I'm sorry. There was a whole weed sandwich under my bed. 
and we're like, how much did what he the fuck eat? Is he's a like, weed sandwich. It was the, like, I, 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 I've never done this, but I guess you can put weed in like something with fat in it, like peanut butter, and then like high school kids would like put it in the, the oven, oven or microwave it or something, and like yeah. it, it, it made it active enough to get you high. I don't, it, I never did that. It seems disgusting, but he was like, seems like yeah, he ate weed. it. And we're like, how no, much? No, did no, no, it gets you crazy, crazy high. Uh, it well, it got totally uh. fucked up, and he, uh. This was the second time he had done this, and so he came clean more quickly. The first time he had accidentally drugged the dog with with a firecracker sitting out, he like took him to the vet and then had to pay for it for the the vet to go like, "Is he high?" And he's like, "Yes." And he's like, "Then you take the dog home. Like, there's nothing we can do here. That'll be seven hundred dollars. <laughs> like, like that level of shit." But yeah, weed fucks up dogs just like it fucks up people, but way worse. I feel I felt so bad for little the cute little Tobo that whole evening. Both of those evenings, because it's like for a he's dog probably having the best time of his life, though. He's probably no. just sitting there in his head and just like listening <laughs> I, to like Bob Marley inside his brain. Just like, I hope oh, so. I think, he's, he I think he was he's probably like the dream. horrified. <laughs> just like <laughs> I've never experienced altered reality in any way. Like I, I felt yeah. so horrible for him. I, I knew this one there, kid in, in high school. Zone. I didn't know this about him until later. But like he would like try and get his dog drunk sometime. Oh, like he, and I remember once like up. we were at his house for a thing. It was probably like either like early college and like everyone was at his house. We we're all sitting around drinking and everything. And he was like wasted and like laughing, like, watch this. I'm going to give beer to Stevie or whatever. And like you like even among like drunk, wasted people, like unanimous response. Like, what <laughs> no. is wrong with you? Like, don't do that. You're going to dog. Hurt him. We're gonna dog. Make... It was like a lab, like a like a, a normal lab looking dog. Beer. I don't, I, I don't know. Probably something like that. Yeah, like a bit. Have one. It's not good for him. You shouldn't like that. Dude, it could he killed a raccoon last summer. The, the dog can have a beer. All right. Come on. <laughs> He's a fucking killer. <laughs> a big boy. This is the same guy that like after the party at his house once, because his family had a ton of money, like he took us out to breakfast in his car. And he was the guy that like he had all the garbage and we were all underage for all the glass bottles. And we were driving on that road. And like he just threw a trash bag full of glass bottles outside of his Nissan while driving into the other lane. And everyone was like, what? And everyone's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, I, I actually, well, I was, <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, this, this guy, That's uh, the most abhorrent. It's, 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 it's despicable. It's despicable it's behavior. He, a whole yeah, bag truly, of like liquor bottles. Very shitty. Like, like, uh, like beer bottles, stuff that cracks. It's glass. Like, yeah, like, yeah it was fucked up. He did a lot uh, of stuff I, like that, that where in his mind day. it was like, this shows I'm like a badass rebel. But to everyone yeah. around him, it was like, dude, you're unbelievably like just needlessly cruel. Like, what yeah. is wrong with you doing Pretty this well. kind of thing? Like, do you not think about I, like the people's days you're ruined? Like, like, fuck you. I had that happen the other day. I was driving to the like to the uh, what do you guys? We call it the tip in uh, Australia. Uh, the dump. What do they like, do there? The dump. Okay. Where you do where you dump like trash and shit. So I'm driving there and I've got my truck and I've got all this rubbish piled up on the back of it and uh it's all in uh it's all in like garbage bags and of course there's like millions of beer bottles in there because I'm a uh, I'm a fucking drunk. But the <laughs> uh I'm driving and there's this you know, woman and she's like she's well uh, yeah, but it was it was too much recycling because I forgot to take out the bins anyway. You don't recycle. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're, so we're driving. I'm driving along, and I've, there's one like bag on there, and I'm like, "That's looking a little precarious." And there's this woman, and she's just fucking up my ass in this like fucking tiny little Nissan Micra, and she's following along, and I, I'm watching, and she's she's only like she's like ten meters behind me, and I'm like, "Can you just like fucking relax? Because if anything falls off this, it's gonna fuck you up." Mm -hmm. So, of course, a trash bag falls off and it hits the road and it just fucking explodes and she just runs it over because she's a fucking moron. And <laughs> so I, I pull up and I stop and she gets out of the car and she's like, oh, I, I thought one of those was going to fall off. And I'm like, why the fuck were you driving so close to me then? And she's All like, right. I have a couple questions. Idiot. <laughs> so in America, um, if you're taking your own garbage to a dump, it usually means either you had like you're a poor person or you live in a rural area. So, so you do, do you not have garbage men there or no, we have, no, we have garbage men. It's just that like in Australia, you only have like, call them refuse boys, like specific sized bins that you can put stuff in. So every week you, you can only get that, like that bin collected. So if there's more than what you have can fit into those bins, then 
you basically You're have not allowed it. allowed a second and, bin? Well, no. So you can only produce a certain amount of rubbish. But I have, Jesus. like, so uh, I... There's a rubbish a lot of it? Was a, yeah, yeah. By weight it's, or it's, mass? Well, it's as much as volume. you can fit into these bins. And volume. they'll they'll so, so they'll collect these the volume of rubbish every week, and that's mm. as much as you can get taken away by them. That's a government um, thing? Uh, yeah, it's run by, like, the local government. So but they have, like... We have private entities the, most of the time here. Yeah, yeah. So you can't just put, like, absolutely everything you have out on Anything the Anything the in there. They, they don't they even won't. check. Yeah. We, we, is that how they do in America? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Throw a car yeah. battery in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't get, like, if, I, if you have something yeah. enormous, like, you can be like, oh, my washer and my dryer, I'm replacing them. And you can just be like, you know, oh, I, need a, I need a large trash pickup, and then they'll come get your... Your shit. Oh, you gotta you gotta pay a little know. price for it because it's uh, uh, anything usually. that'll go in there. They'll fucking grab it with that fucking yeah. robot arm. I like to watch oh, them because yeah. I, I yeah so much stuff. Uh, like 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 I broke down all that gym equipment and I just had beams like heavy metal bars like all, like sticking out at every angle like the fucking Iron Throne and they took <laughs> that shit and dumped it. It's gone. Uh, wait, Car I, batteries, I, vats, I usually of, go to the dump. vats of oil, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on oil, heat it up before they come. Um, yeah. Not auto oil, See, I, but, I go to the um, dump because I, I I usually go to the dump because I'm doing like renovations. So I'll have like like a bunch of like lumber and stuff like that, and I'll put it on the back and then go and take it because they won't take it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I end up with extra trash on the back of there, and it's just like I'll take it to the dump. But they, anyway, this woman, she's fucking like she runs over this bag, she gets out of the fucking car, and uh, I'm like I I wearing like shorts and a t-shirt and i'm driving this shitty truck all right so this mm-hmm. woman immediately judges me because i'm covered in tattoos and she's like she's like oh i thought that was gonna come off and i'm like why are you driving so fucking close to my car then she's like oh i just got new tires i i, I hope they aren't like fucked and i'm like it's not gonna fuck your tires all right and she's uh she i go i'll give you my number uh to her husband i go i'll give you my number in case there's something wrong with your car you can call me and i'll fix it and he's like He's, he's like, okay. And then this woman just goes like this quip. She's like, I'll probably just give a fake number anyway. And I'm like, well, now I'm going to give you a fake number because you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give her a fake number and just drive off. Well, like, fuck now. you, mom. Like, just fucking judge me. Like, if you think that I'm truck. duplicitous, I'll show yeah. you. <laughs> have you ever been yeah, to, exactly. uh, have you ever been like a scrapyard where there's like cars and like, like, like for yeah. people would bring scrap metal to sell? Sure. I've been to one now. I've wandered around a lot of those because I would go there looking for stuff to use in videos, um, usually cars, but sometimes I'd be back there and I'd be like, holy shit, there's just that big metal bar there is just scrap. Can I buy it $10 a pound like everything else? That big, yeah, give it to me. Fuck yeah. For, oh, it's $3. All right. Like, like, I don't know, anything that looked cool. Like I, It was like junkyard wars, kind of, like, like these big piles. And they usually separate it by like type of metal so like stuff like washing machines and appliances would kind of be together and um i don't know I, and mm. i also like wandering around uh junkyards as a kid like whenever we were going to fix up a car or something we, there would be a trip to the junkyard and my dad might be looking for a transmission for a corvette or something but i'd be going through all of the cars in the in, and i mean a huge junkyard don't think like behind a building somewhere think an ocean of cars that goes on for acres out in a field somewhere when all the doors are unlocked there'd be blood in them sometimes from the car accident that that had gotten them there um but there'd yeah. often be change or like whatever the person had left oh. in their car and to like an eight or nine year old kid it's like fucking jackpot i'm averaging 80 cents a car <laughs> <I've> got, <laughs> i'm pulling fuses out because i know we use them sometimes and I'm dad like, oh. i found seven dollars and nine teeth <laughs> Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, I would I would wander around and take anything and everything. I found a gun one time in, in one of the cars. Let's see. Um, I, I did not Free take gun. the gun. I told them that there was a gun out there. Um, that didn't seem like something you'd want to take, especially as a child. But uh, but no, that was always really fun to wander around junkyards kind of and scrapyards. I don't remember. A black gun. I was like 10. Okay. It's like a handgun. Yeah. Did you guys ever you mentioned like in walking around the junkyards? I remember like when I would have to go to funerals as a kid, like really enjoying walking around and trying to find the oldest person. What? Like seeing is that not normal? Who's no. next? Oh, well, no. I would like to walk around and I, I and by oldest I mean like I would try and find one where it was like from the where they were born in like the eighteen hundreds or the seventeen hundreds oh. or whatever. And it would just I thought that was so neat. I think be that's like, cool too. I, I similarly 
I have an interest in when they don't live full lives. Like, yeah. ooh, born in 1863, died in 1893. What happened? Mm -hmm. It's interesting. And it's sad, too. But I, I enjoyed walking around. I, I would still walk around a graveyard just looking around, looking at people's dates and stuff. It, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I saw a really sad one the other day. Uh, these uh, these went, This woman who had a twin, uh, her twin sister died at like three hours old, and she lived to be 93, and they're buried like side by side like 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 and and wow. on the same like same gravestone it's like ellie may fucking 1883 to uh, 11 p.m to two yeah yeah like, <laughs> one, like one, one day to the next and the other but one lived a day and one lived i don't know 90 years or something like that Whew. she probably she siphoned the potential life out of her would you like yeah. to have a twin like like if you could have like made that happen would you have wanted a twin i would definitely not i, I have that's like, uh, you have a twin? Ident identical yeah. or yeah, fraternal. identical. Yeah, you, there's yeah, another one of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's gotta suck, right? Like, like let me, let me, yeah. let me, let me throw some of the things that I would just imagine would be rough, because like everything, because <laughs> I had siblings um, growing up, and and I understood that you know we, we're we're sharing parents' time, we're sharing like resources, like like. My Christmas is smaller because she's here, and and, mm -hmm. like, and like, but I'm happy that yeah. everybody's getting gifts, you know. But that, but that is a thing. But if you've got a twin, I, oh, at yeah. least I was the man child, right, and the oldest. Like I had my place, but but as yeah. a twin, it's like no matter what you do, you have another guy who's a hundred percent equal to you in every way, and to even suggest oh, otherwise yeah. is sacrilege, right? Like you might oh, know it, yeah. you might be like, ah, I'm so much better with finances than he is. Or you might be like, oh, he's got it yeah. together with this relationship. He can't. No, no. Like, like you might have a thing like that in the back of your head, but your parents had to treat you identically yeah. because you are. And so that, there's no way you well, got as much sort of, love they as sort I of got. Do it, like they, they don't <laughs> really, they don't really treat us like evenly because like they, so they know that we have like we have different expectations and and uh, different goals and shit like that. I'm done so when you're say, seven. Uh, I'm done when you're fucking seven. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the, when you're, and when it's you're birthday yeah. party time, yeah. right? Who the fuck yeah, has yeah. to share a birthday party? You do. Oh, we all. You we have all to get share like a birthday the party. The same shit. The same. <laughs> the same shit every year it was. Yeah. It's that we sort of got like we grow up and you get personalities when you're in high school and shit like that, and then you start liking different things. It's, was it's, there ever a a feeling of like? you wanted to distance yourself from your twin a bit to like establish more individuality or you kind of just naturally uh, did your own things. I think once we sort of grew up, like when we were like, when we sort of moved out of home and stuff like that, we were like we were pretty different. Like we're not, we, we do have very, we do have fairly similar interests. Like we're both into gaming and stuff like that. It's uh, but even when we we're growing up, we had, did you ever take advantage like, of having a duplicate of yourself with work oh, relationships, yeah. anything like that? Any like, like uh, I'm not, I'm not stuff? suggesting, I'm not suggesting anything illegal, but if you, uh, if, if you, uh, if, if you like, say you're a twin and you'd look exactly the same and you lost your license, then what you could do is just get a copy of your twins license. <laughs> and, then you just drive. and so you would never lose your license. Um, yeah. which is, which is a, it's, it's a, it's a definitely a legal idea and I wouldn't, let me ask you this. Let me ask times. you this. Cause, cause <laughs> here's what I, I would get my twin, I, me and my twin would flip a coin and one of us would have to fake their death and the other would reap all the benefits of that. As oh. far as like taxes, um, inheritance, um, insurance, like, like anything that we could do to like, but 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 he we would fake his death and and we would double we would live one life but really well like like we'd both work like, Not like a bad like, idea yeah 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 we'd live we'd one like life really but life. really well yeah. <laughs> right. we double team like shit a, right a, a it's like it's like yeah. Jerry and George where they're like maybe together yeah. we can do the work of one man like, <laughs> <laughs> like you could yeah, though yeah. like like all these guys like if you find one of those guys who's an influencer who who's like telling you to hustle or whatever they're like ah, you gotta get yeah. up at four a.m. and take a cold shower. Not if you got a fucking partner. Not if you got a partner. Nope. You can wake up at 11 a.m. and go back to bed because Kyle number two's working today. Like, like you're all good. Yeah, then you're probably going to argue over who's doing the most work and shit. Is it? Oh, we Wait, my brother contract. and I used We'd to iron just, it out. We just fought. We just We'd fought arm wrestle for it. <laughs> Did you guys physically suck each other off constantly? Oh, we used to. We used to beat <laughs> the shit out of each other. We we fought so much. But it's very, like, what's people, the point? People... See, see that I don't understand. Dude, that people no are always like uh with, no your, with your brothers it's like uh it's like oh yeah i um 
I, I used to fly with my brothers or something like that. And then you imagine it's just like a, <laughs> no, we used to, we used to like get down. Like we would, we would be, we'd let like fucking shoe shining each other's faces. Like just fucking left, right, uh, uh, left, right. What was the record? <laughs> like, like how was it like 50, 50 on who won? Pretty those, even. Or... Yeah. Was pretty no even. Shit. Yeah. yeah. That's, it was, that's why I'm well, evenly like, matched. Well, I said, I started doing boxing when I, when I was in high school and uh, he didn't do boxing. Oh. And I, so okay. I got a few over him from that. But also, he was he fought really dirty, so like it was like it was fine, yeah, yeah. But it was yeah. pretty, it was pretty even, yeah. We yeah, we definitely definitely hurt each other a few times, but it's. Are uh, you uh, are you taller than your twin? Uh, no, we're about the same. We're pretty much exactly the same size. He uh, he might be a little bit taller, like a, a centimeter or something. But what does he look like I, now? Does he have like my haircut and a clean uh, shaven face? Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a lot more clean cut. Than I am. Uh, I'll, I'll find a picture. Shouldn't share a license uh, anymore, huh? No, no, mm-hmm. definitely not. No, nah, because I, I have like I'm covered in tattoos and I got a big beard and stuff. And he's yeah. he doesn't he doesn't have tattoos, so it's like we we do look a lot different now. But it's uh yeah, it's we're still pretty similar. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't the, even. Uh, it even seems like thing. like I'm so selfish. Like like I'm imagining it would be a, it would have been difficult to grow up in in Taylor's situation with two brothers. Like like like. It was fun. Uh, I liked that. Oh man, I don't get a new like rifle this year because little Joe uh, has has never had one. It's his turn to get a. Oh, Kyle, you can get a, you can get one of those things that hold that holds the bullets for for your gun. Oh, oh no, <laughs> like, like like it was just me, right? So like, what? But you had friends though growing up. You had pals all the time, which I didn't. I had my cousin over mm-hmm. occasionally, and then you know like whatever friends from like the real world. But you like had like. A couple guys all yeah. the time throughout childhood. Heaven, like, Heaven Brothers around. makes it a lot more fun. Like my, yeah. like, oh, like yeah. me and my younger yeah. brother, the middle brother. Like we're yeah. only like a that's year him on and the left half there. apart. So yeah, that's him on the left. He's got like a shorter okay. beard. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. looks similar to so, you. <laughs> yeah, just, just, yeah. Dude, I, I asked, I asked the height <laughs> thing because I remember, like, yeah. in grade school, there were these twins, and they like they. They like were on our soccer team. They didn't even actually go to our school, but they were fully identical face, everything. But one of them was like two full inches taller than the other. Oh. And I remember thinking at the time, like that sucks for the shorter twin. Like, yeah, exactly the same, but yeah. shorter. I, I should have called him really? mini me. I bet, they, <laughs> even, I, I bet they evened out later. I don't know. Yeah, Did one just hit puberty a little quicker? Like we know. only played like it was like kindergarten and first grade soccer, and then they were never in my life again. I only mm. saw them for like a. Year that's ago. like that's similar to my situation though. Like I, my brother is just a, a tiny bit shorter, uh, taller than me. Sorry, my my twin brother, but my older brother and my dad are like a good two inches taller than me. I'm actually the shortest male in my family, and I'm six two. So I'm like, I over most people, I'm like, I tower over most people, mm-hmm. and then like mm-hmm. in my family, I'm like, I'm a fucking midget. So it's like, <laughs> I mean, depressing. better to be the shortest in six two than like the shortest in you know, five two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every once in a while, you see a guy in public who's like five two, and it's like, damn, like yeah. this this guy's usually, grinding. Usually like a South American. Like like a lot of those guys are really short. I, I've seen yeah, like, they are like, like I don't I don't know like Guatemalans or something like yeah. that. Like like I, th- those guys are like uh, I saw a picture of a guy with Henry Cejudo because I was on the MMA subreddit and and Cejudo towered over this young man. What? <laughs> and the dude had like old face like like he was an older guy like he was like a an old man who was I don't know fucking five foot flat or something and yeah, then, I don't know, he looks South American to me. Yeah. My, yeah. my wife's tattoo I'm artist. So... He's he's like re- he's really short. He'd be like four nine or something like that. Like he is like below my chest level. He's not like he's not like a, the classic like he's a dwarf. Like he's he's a normally proportioned like looking human being, but he's like dwarf size. Tall. Isn't it interesting and that it's it's crazy? Isn't it interesting that I think only like isn't it like only fifteen percent of men are six six feet or or taller, right? But all of us yeah. here are. We're a pretty tall country, also. Like, like I'm looking yeah. at this. He's from Boli- a different fucking so, country. What I'm saying is, like, like all of us. Australia here are, is as well, though. Yeah. 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 Like Bolivia is apparently the shortest. The average male height in Bolivia five Bolivia. four. Average female height in Bolivia four foot ten and a half. So, very short. What's the tallest? I think we figured that out. It's like fucking Norway, Scandinavia, or something. Or something. Scan- Iceland, yeah. Norway, one Northern European somewhere. Yeah. I don't want to look it up, but it's one of those. Dude, I saw I saw this video from um one of those one of those countries. 
uh, one of the one of the former Viking countries, and uh, they were ha- there was this protest, and there was a lot of like Syrians and and uh, refugees from the Middle East there, and they're 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 yelling at like a guy there. They're, they're like they're like. We're going to outbreed you. You have one baby, two babies. I have eight sons. I have eight <laughs> sons. We are the new, like, fucking Sweden. We're the new Sweden, you pussy. What the hell is going on? Yeah. <laughs> is this like a UFC fight? Like, like talk <laughs> in the beginning? I've got ten kids. Like, <laughs> okay, Walter Frey. Yeah. It's like, all right, yeah, they're up, screaming buddy. this in the street. Oh. The internet's a great place. Everybody's always screaming in the street. I've never once screamed in the street. <laughs> Yeah, I can't say I ever have either. I don't Not think I once. I like watching people stream in the street. Like, uh, we used, to, we used to live across the road from this like shitty little like the what are they what are they called in America like housing projects or whatever the fuck they are. They're like yeah. shitty shitty little fucking houses where crackheads live. And we mm-hmm. we we lived across the road from one, and fuck, it was entertaining. Like you see a couple walking up the street and they're arguing about like who smoked their last of their meth and <laughs> and they'd they'd be screaming at each other at like 1 a.m and then they'd stop and they start walking up the street and then you yell something at them and then they think it was the person behind them yelling at them and then they start <laughs> again and it's fucking hilarious it was like this endless entertainment i love that shit <laughs> so just antagonizing methodics oh hell yeah it's yeah fuck, i love that <laughs> from the safety of your balcony or your your home i would hope they they're uh, quick yeah, they yeah, can be quick time. uh yeah, one one of them still. We had a couch like on our. We had this like stoop at the front of our house where we'd just like sit outside and uh, in the sun and and smoke weed and watch traffic go by. And uh, and, and one of them stole our couch, so we had to go and get it back. But uh, yeah, they were they were kind, they were kind of entertaining. We we did have a few times that we'd come home and there'd be one asleep on the couch outside of our house, and we'd have to kick him out. But yeah, was, how'd you how'd yeah. you get your couch back? Was it abandoned, or do you have to seize it back? No, from- oh, oh, I just went up there and uh, I was it, 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 it was like. 10 houses and i was just knocked on every door and i'm like got a couch got a couch got a, got a couch <laughs> eventually this guy opened the door and he's looking shady i'm like did you steal our couch and he's like Bruh. and i'm like give us our couch back and he's like oh okay because like, <laughs> that's how stealing works there like a, like it's, 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 it's like swipe or no swiping rules you call them on it it's <laughs> uh, it, was, it was like it was me and my housemate my housemate's like really tall and like i'm really tall and he's just like this little tweak of meth head it's like what's he gonna do like like he's but, not he's gonna we're taking the couch how like, did you stop the rain from going on the couch i had like a cover like sort of thing like it was it was like a stoop but it had like a, a veranda sort of thing that went over it so yeah sounds okay. classy so it was under a roof yeah. you had a couch under a roof yeah 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 but it was like on our front doorstep or something. okay yeah. how old were you during this uh like 23 oh okay i, yeah. I was it's picturing like a nine-year-old, and I'm like, God damn! Like, you know, no, 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 <laughs> this is, no. We, we, this is like a where, when we moved out of home, like we lived in a house with like five dudes, and oh, okay. we all just with stoners and played Xbox. So we just had like all these setups around the house where it'd be like, yeah, we let's smoke weed out on the front porch tonight. Let's smoke weed in the backyard <laughs> tonight. So we just have fucking couches everywhere. <laughs> it's like you don't you want know. to have to smoke and then go inside and sit down. You, you want no, 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 no. Well, well, I mean, yeah, you can, you can just if you want to smoke in the garage. There's fucking there's couches in there, you know. It's just a change of scenery. Tell Sometimes me you the want story to smoke in a different area. First tattoo. How, how did you get to it? Like, what made you decide to go down there? Were you drinking? Were you? What was your first tattoo? Uh, how did you choose uh, the design? When I, when I met my wife, we, she had a few tattoos, and mm-hmm. I'd always wanted one. I just sort of, uh. I, I think I just sort of wouldn't commit to it. I was like, oh, I want one, but I'm like, I, I don't know what to commit to and stuff like that. And right. I met my wife and she had a, she had a few already. And she's like, just pick something. Like it doesn't, it, it's not a huge issue. I mean, mm-hmm. if you don't like it, you can just tattoo over it later or get laser. It's like, it's not as permanent as most people think. And then uh, I was like, oh, I want to get something like meaningful. And, and my entire life is like, video games uh, mm-hmm. being a streamer and stuff like that i wasn't a streamer at the time but my entire life was video games i was like i'm gonna get a video game tattoo what's my favorite video game and of all time and then i thought of conquest bad fur day so i ended up getting a <laughs> conquest bad fur day tattoo so i have <laughs> conquest the squirrel smoking a cigar on the back of my leg and i was i didn't know where to get it my wife's like get it on your leg and then if you don't like it you can just not wear shorts or something like that and i'm like yeah sweet and then i got one and then i was like Okay, I'm addicted to that. So then I just <laughs> went and got hundreds. <laughs> so now I just have fuckloads. Nobody ever stops at one. I feel like 
There's there's yeah, way more people rare. with like five plus tattoos than there are with one tattoo. Yeah, yeah. I, and and there's a lot of people like I I have like two sleeves, so I have like both of my both of my arms uh, tattooed. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people and they're like, oh, why aren't you worried about like if you have to work at a job? And I'm like, look, I'm I'm like 35. I I'm comfortable. If I go into a workplace and I'm like, I want to work here, and they're like, we don't like people with tattoos working here. It's like. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'll cover them up. I'm going to be like, fuck <laughs> you. I don't want to work at a place that's like that. So, yeah. like, suck, suck my dick. I'm going to find another job elsewhere, you know? it's uh, That yeah, stuff is, like, quickly, tattoos and beards quickly have become okay in professional settings. Like, as as recently yeah. as, like, 12 years ago, it was yeah. like, no. Well, now, I wonder if the beard thing is cyclical. Like it, I bet it is. They're they're kind yeah. of in fashion right now. Beards, like a, a lot of guys wore yeah. rock beards. Well, like my we'll dad had a beard that. in the eighties and stuff, and then he shaved it like in the nineties and two thousands, and now it's back. Mm -hmm. no, I'll he, never he like. I like, need the uh, I need the the jawline help with the yeah. with the fatness. It's definitely very clutch for that. There's no faster way to look like you gained a hundred pounds than to clean shave. Oh, yeah. It's facial contouring for guys. A beard can be like it just it, it improves your the shape of your face for sure. What? My, my face is fucked. I can't wrinkle my beard. forehead right now. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dad had a similar thing happen to you when he where he had like a uh, had like cancer on his face, and uh -huh. so he had it on his nose because he's worked outside all his life, and uh, so he had it removed. And then they were like, oh, "We should check the rest of your face," and so he shaved his beard, and then he had like cancer underneath his beard as well Ooh. and so Ooh. they removed that and they they got it all and he's 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 fine but they're like you shouldn't you should monitor this like if you have any weirdly colored moles and stuff so he can't grow he can't grow a beard back because he's like oh i want to monitor this stuff so now mm -hmm. he doesn't have a beard and so uh, like he had a massive beard like mine and mm -hmm. now he doesn't have one so i'm like yeah you're a bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah, worried about your health huh yeah yeah yeah. every time i start like to like any i've never let my beard get like nearly as long as yours but like i'll there have been times where i've been like oh, i want to let it like grow out and it'll just get like a little longer and i'll be like no in the mirror like no this is now making me look fatter again gotta go back like mm. you can't do your beard's on much. point tonight i would say that this, not that you asked but this is your sweet spot and it's perfect nice and not yeah, i like long, it nice it's and not clipped it's not so neat yeah Mm -hmm. yeah, it's power. just it's so it's so great to be able to fake just a little better shape with it because <laughs> I, I also have like the like it's genetic for sure because when i am fully shaved and i'm in the best shape of my life i still have a little double chin i still mm. i still got one my dad has a little like no, not like the double chin's kind of dramatic but you can see like the second like fat ridge my yeah, younger yeah. brother has that and he's in tremendous shape like never been fat in his life and so i, I just need it I desperately and I have a round face anyway with a big old poofy cheeks, yeah, so it doesn't do me any favors. Puffy cheeks and a round face, so it yeah. Just... I I was I was that little kid. I had the you know squeeziest yeah. little cheeks. I'm sure you did too. You you got very pinchable cheeks, slush. Oh hell yeah, yeah. No, but I I used to be, I used to be <laughs> fairly skinny. You, like, get your cheek pinched. Uh, it's just, uh, it's I mean, as I far as uh, like, unpunchable cheeks, it's, movies, oh. uh, nobody ever pinched my fucking cheeks. That's some weird shit. Um, oh really? I'm trying to remember. I had one aunt that I think kissed me on the lips one time when I was like ten. And I was uh, like, ah, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <weird>. <laughs> like, where did that? Where did that come from? I don't know where. Uh, no, I'm just talking about like, it was just like a peck on the. You know, it was like ah, it was like I'm too old for that shit. I'm like ten. Get out of here with that. Um, <laughs> who's that? Who's that motherfucker? The football player that kisses his son. On oh, the other, Tom, Tom, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. <laughs> the greatest of all time. Look, if that's what it takes to achieve, <laughs> line <laughs> the kid, line out. those little boys up. All right. <laughs> Look, hey, look, maybe this is I'll how talk about this so often. I'll fucking hide it. It freaks me the fuck out. I also, I really, I, I don't like it either. It's bizarre. Yeah, it's really? really? the greatest quarterback bizarre. of all time. I don't give a shit. Hey, I don't care if he, he loves it. the fucking You know planet. what I saw the other day, and I didn't <laughs> judge it a bit. I saw fuck this that. guy who had, like, um, his brother has Down syndrome, and uh, he, had, I want to say that he had gotten his brother's face tattooed to his arm, and, like, one of those really intricate tattoos, mm -hmm. and he's showing his, his brother... Hey buddy, I got you on my arm, and he's like touching it, and he's just like blown away by it, and like he kissed his brother, and I was like, all right, well that's okay, that's mm -hmm. okay. Why is it okay if one of them's retarded, but it's not okay if one of them's a child? You kiss your dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, I mean, I don't make out or anything. What, but what the, who the fuck is that? Is that, that can't be, that's probably not real. At least close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> is that Tom Brady's dad, or is this a Photoshop? This is Photoshop, right? No, it it's probably Photoshop. real. The is owner of the not, Patriots did not kiss the. No, owner. there's no way he's kissing the owner of the Patriots. That's worst I was place harassment. God damn it! I fought him so hard. Hey, is the, is the owner of the buddy. Patriots is the one who got caught on camera at the massage parlor, parlor fucking the whores. Remember that? Mm-hmm. No. Who, who? Yeah. Who on the Patriots doing that? The owner. Oh, I I did not know that. Bob, Bob that? Kraft, right? Isn't that his name? Maybe. I think Kyle's right on all this. Yeah. I, I know he's like crazy wealthy, but like. Is he the craft? Is he like the mac and cheese guy? Or am I like crazy to even make that connection? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably not from the mac and cheese. Like, I don't dynasty. fucking know. Like, like, when Zach you, when says you, it when is. He says he owns craft mac and bada cheese. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. That's what <laughs> he is the mac. And, it ain't. I wish that one day. He's they the mac daddy. With that, with that whore, he'd just been like, it ain't easy being cheesy. And he just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the fucking mic. <laughs> like, yeah, I like them Puerto Rican hoes. It ain't easy being cheesy, though. <laughs> just drop that mic. That would have been. But instead, he would, like, sued anybody that had a problem and, like, suppressed it real well. And I guess that cost a lot more money than, than being cool about it. I but, wonder yeah. what's going to happen to Matt Gates. I'm really torn on his whole Who's thing. Who's he? Okay, so He's Matt Gates is guy. a... Republican House of Representative dude from the Panhandle area, I think. I'm 80% sure about that. And um, he hired girls to fuck him. Now, okay. the challenge is he went and hired a bunch of college kids. They're 19 years old. No problem, right? Nice. A 17-year-old slipped in. Shit. Yeah. So he he hired this 17-year-old to, you know, to party to fuck him and his friend and they did and um so far this is actually all legal right you know you say hired a girl to come fuck you i say gave my girlfriend some extra money while we were fucking or like, like you know you say tomato i say tomorrow there is a, can, can i jump in i don't want to fuck up your story but there is yeah. a weird distinction because sometimes chicks would say yeah i can come over could you give me gas money right and, and it's like man at what point do I give you the twenty dollars before or after we have sex? <laughs> <laughs> like, which one's I'll less on the, I'll leave it on the bedside I didn't table. Pay her for sex. I'll, I just gave her nine hundred dollars towards tuition. You know, yeah. you say tomato, I say you tomato. You pay him to leave. Right? So, so anyway, um, the seventeen-year-old slips in there. Well, you can have a seventeen-year-old girlfriend at thirty-eight. She's above the age of consent in that state. Yeah. The thing is, he flew her to I think the Caribbean. Oh. But def- and that man. makes it traffic like sex trafficking a minor. Mm-hmm. And um he's pretty dead to rights. Like they have the Venmo transactions and shit. Like, like this happened. Um, I don't think she's denying it. You know, she's like, Yeah, this is what's up. Um she, morally, she, she I'm a little to it though, torn. obviously. Like she was she was like, well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that. But did she yeah. tell him? She was 18 or she faked she that she was 19. So all her friends uh, were 19. Okay. She was at college. You might yeah. believe she was at nine. You don't pick up 17 year olds in college typically, mm-hmm. but, um, but she slipped in there with the 19 year olds and he didn't check IDs or anything. And, um, you know, look, he was 38. He probably, <sighs> I don't love it, but the only reason it's illegal is because she flew to the, Caribbean, I think that part is probably right. I think uh, state lines would have gotten him in trouble, actually. If he were moving, uh, I I know there's a law about that. Um, I I believe it has some racial history to it, too. It was something Mm -hmm. about preventing interracial couples from moving across state lines. There was something about that, how the Man Act, I think it's called, initially originated. But I think that alone, if he's paying to move her across state lines for the purposes of sex and if there's money involved like like he's in violation of that if that's still like a thing matt gates is one of my least favorite politicians he, he belongs to what i call the performative branch of the republicans where all they do is talk oh, okay. about culture war and stuff like that um but uh, if i try to be unbiased it's like shit she did lie about her age yeah i don't care even the 17 year old thing would have been okay had she not crossed state lines so it feels like a technicality you know like it's hard to defend this dude who's cl- it, taking advantage of a woman who's too young but but he's not though if you take it one step at a time like you, okay prostitution i'm okay with that like, like, like if you're paying a 19 year old person what he should have done what he's guilty the most guilty of 
is not IDing because I I feel yeah. like you really if 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 these girls are 19, you're 19? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 19? What about you? Yeah. So none of you are 18. Can I can I, can I see everybody's okay. IDs just so we're all comfortable? This is me, by the way. Just so you know I'm not a crazy guy. That's me. <laughs> Yeah, this is me, old Maddie Gates. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you're Lauren. All right, Lauren. Oh, a Scorpio. Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you had fun with it, not made it weird. That's what yeah. I do. <laughs> ah, 2005, a good year. You're a politician. You, you sure probably need to do that shit. If you're like, yeah. that's part of your job. It's not fucking women, up like that. You know, yeah. if you're going to be meeting young women who like, like, I can't tell the difference necessarily between 20, 21 and like 17 and 360 days. Like, Jesus Christ. So yeah. show me your fucking ID. So it seems like they're through. having those Coke parties that one guy talked about. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that when they're like, that one guy's like, everybody's doing Coke Madison and going Crawford crazy. And then yeah. they're yeah. like, lies. Here's picture upon picture of you doing Coke and being crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think you're proving what you think here. <laughs> it's, like, it's like even the wheelchair guy's getting in on it. You think everybody else, like, like come on. Yeah, but I, yeah. I guess I'm, I don't have an issue with the prostitution part because it seemed like adults made with a transaction. Everybody's I don't love the 17-year-old part. I don't like I that at all, but that's on her. Percent. That's like 90% on her and 10% on him. Like he definitely should have ID'd like every reasonable adult male in any position should do. Um, but 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 she especially like especially if it's a prostitute. But he was well, flying too close not, to not this if she's time. a not if she's a prostitute. I mean, she's not she's clearly not a prostitute. She just wants some money for college. And so she that's like it's not like a it's not like a professional thing. Not a prostitute. It's like I'm with it's you. like it's like she's, but she's just doing it because she like her friends were like, "Hey, there's this rich guy. Yeah. Let's, we, we're gonna get some money out of him." And it's like, maybe like if you're doing that, if you're like, "Yeah, I want to fuck girls that are like right on the limit," it's like check the fucking limit, you know. Let's like, talk about two Republicans who aren't probably pedophiles, um, and uh, and and do get something done, and that's the governors of Texas and Florida because they've been have had some great antics this week. We got Rick Scott over in Texas. And our boy, uh, it starts with an S, the popular guy in Florida. What's his name? Sanders? You're thinking of Ron DeSantis. DeSantis. Yeah, yeah, all right. So so they've been trucking. I, I say trucking as like a just a, a general term. Illegals. I like that word better. Um, <laughs> to, the, to these liberal cities in the north. And up until now, I believe they had sent them to D.C. and to Chicago. Um, and they they've been busing them. You know, it's it's, it's, so stupid. it's fairly cheap to bus a bunch of people. They they've got all these people they rounded up who ca who came in illegally, and they're like, hey, oh, you came here for the American way? Well, we're, we're a little stuffed up here at Texas in this border town, but guess where they love you in the sanctuary city called Chicago? So hop on the bus. It's heading there right now. Here's some sandwiches, and they've been doing that. Well, this week both of them came up with a new idea. It's it's a twist on the old idea. Um, the Santos, I, I may get these mixed up, but the guy from Florida, yeah, flew Guata, not Guatemalans. Where the fuck were they from? Some South American country. He flew some South Americans to Martha's Vineyard, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a bunch of them, like 120 of them or something. It was 12 million dollars worth of flights. <laughs> he flew them the fuck up there and put them out. So and then stupid. and then the guy in Texas, Rick Scott, he got a bunch of them and sent them to um, Kamala Harris, his hometown. <laughs> <laughs> dude you want you want to talk about performative Look or where she lives or something yeah that it is that so was... fucking per and like and the, and the stupid part about it is they're like i'm ron DeSantis. So, you know, i care deeply about our border and so i'm sending these illegals deeper into the country it's like what are you talking uh, about like this is the it is so performative like i love to, it. to do that. i agree I love with the taylor performance. I, I came for the show so, oh, you care me, about immigration, oh, yeah. and yet you're moving people. Let to me Chicago. jump in on like, this. So he feel that what Ron DeSantis said was he spent twelve million dollars flying two hundred people to Martha's Vineyard, and he feels like the people at Martha's Vineyard, Joe Biden and his open borders, don't care about this. Maybe if they felt our pain, they would. That yeah. that's his thing. I think, like Taylor said, it, this is performance art. Yeah, this is bullshit. bullshit. He's not trying to get anything done. He's, what he's trying to do is win votes. He's trying to win votes by pulling stunts. Yep. He's making them look foolish. I think he's making them look foolish. And he, you know, in Martha's Vineyard, Vineyard, they instantly got beds for everyone and gave them food and water and, perfect. and, and yeah, put their perfect. food, their money where their mouth was. Those are like the richest people in perfect. the country. <laughs> Today they did. Yes. Tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the I, next, because that's what it's like on this. How many town, dozens right? of millions of dollars does he have to fly these people? See, to now that's the weird figure. thing. How did it cost twelve? Like, like 
two hundred people. That's a lot of money flying. for a flight. If it costs a thousand each, that's two hundred thousand. Okay, all right. If it costs ten thousand each, we're at two million. What kind of flights were we doing? Hey. Was this some sort of P Diddy World Tour that we did for each Actually, of them I'm in their own private plane? It's a bit weird. <laughs> It was a lot of money. Emerald Lagasse is their private <laughs> chef on the way. <laughs> like, like, Damn, you're a Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have, I got to have, have like, there. A, I did the math. used to the Martha's 60, Vineyard life. 60,000 yeah. per ticket. What the fuck? Why do they call $60,000 a person? But I, were they military flights or something? Like, that would be what? cheaper because they put them in a cargo plane. You know, that thing where they like. Military flights side? are incredibly expensive. It's it's the most expensive but way to fly people. It can't be. Like, like, like there's already planes like moving around, probably. I'm telling it's, you, it is a huge waste of money. You want someone efficient, you go well, to the capitalists, <laughs> not the government. I fly I have I guarantee you can book a flight right now to Martha's Vineyard or wherever the nearest airport is for under three hundred dollars. Not by military I mean, plane. Not on a military plane. I'm talking about fucking I'll get an orbits or whatever the hell and it'll oh, be done you. in five yeah, minutes. Yeah. I don't no, understand you're right. how you're costing thousands of dollars to send these fuckers. I'm pretty there. sure they weren't round trip tickets either. But even if it costs twelve million, it would be worth it. And here's why: it is a huge news story, and it's get and, and and look to his point. There are people in Chicago who are like, "Oh shit, this is what it's like." These people just show up every fucking day, bus load after bus load, like, and we, what are we supposed to do? Like, eventually, like our resources will be tapped. These people are not Chicagoans or whatever, Chicagoans, whatever the fuck. No, that, like, that's not how it's going. I mean, like, the, these border towns have, like, the border, like, has millions of I wish he'd build a like, railway, not, a not railroad. Like, not like mm-hmm. the hundred people at a time I he's trying to do. And add that, like, that. it's ultimate performative bullshit. Because he pretends, the Texas that's guy, to be like... infrastructure and like, immigration. Te- what, what's his name? Rick Scott, Texas, right? He's the one who's, like, barks all loud about, like, gotta protect the border, gotta do this and that. And then it's like, oh, you got all these people. And you're not going to send them back to Mexico. You're going to send. I don't them think he's allowed. Chicago. I don't think he's allowed to send them back. I I think it's a situation where he's. Who would, he's I don't think he's. I don't think he's forcing them onto the bus. I think he's saying, "Hey, all of you people who we had to let go, how'd you like to go to Chicago instead?" And he's like loading them up. That that was my like interpretation. Oh. It's still performative so, bullshit. Like, yes, we I'm, want that. We need to. Get I want to jump in. So and here, first funny, of all, Taylor. it's funny. Tell me, it's not funny, the, Taylor. The twelve million dollars thing is for this program where they it's ship funny. aliens places or you know, illegal aliens. I know. Whatever. I love you. Do um, it. it wasn't just for this flight, so that's why the twelve million didn't make any sense. It, it, okay. Even the government doesn't spend that much. It's establishing um, the 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 other arm thing that will that will distribute <laughs> the aliens. So back on, <laughs> more realistically on this, the. I want well, it's performance. It's not trying to make a difference. My question is, how does the performance pay off? I'm curious about that. Is he going to get more votes? He's trying to get votes. He's not trying mm-hmm. to fix problems. He's trying yeah. to get votes. And my question is, Willie, That's in my news problems. feed, my news feed is Reddit and uh, Google News. Everyone's hating on him. They're they're saying this guy's a scumbag and he's wasting money and this is stupid and Biden's going to cut his f- federal budget by twelve billion to make up for this and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. But that's my newsfeed. Maybe I have a skewed information diet. This this hits that perfect little note that that Trump was always so good at of mm-hmm. saying, "Hey, average Joe American, <clears throat> I don't know how you like it, but uh, as you noticed, there's." Millions of illegals coming over our border every day and just walking in and 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 we're we're having and they're selling the position that they're having to support those people. Well, I thought we'd give some of those people who make the decision to just let them walk on in here, let them see how they like it. They average when I hear that, I'm like, yeah, yeah, let the, so let's see how they like it. That message just sells so well. The, just the so message. Just, it. definitely, just, yeah. the, just it's definitely what, you should, what, he's, like what he's selling is support. let's show them how it feels. He, yeah. He's telling I think that. Like, I think the that people sells. that are already going to vote for him, it's like, fuck yeah, like this is a good thing. People who don't know who he t- is would hear and that then they're alone gonna talk and get fired about it. up. Because yeah. that's well, the now they're going to talk about it to their friends. They're going to be like, hey, you've seen that guy? That's funny as fuck. Now they. Here's the other thing, right? He didn't. He didn't just say he was going to do a thing. He did a thing. Like we're talking about what he did, not what he said. And so often in politics, we talk about what people said. It's like WWE. It's like, oh, the macho man, Mitch McConnell, said that you're fiscally irresponsible. And then we go back and forth about what's my said. We're not you're telling did. me your tax policy leaves <laughs> us dangerously over leveraged in the Middle East. <laughs> it, it used to be the way to win elections was to win the middle, right? The left's going to vote for the left. The right's going to vote for the right. Now we want to win the middle. 
Trump took a new strategy where he said, fuck the left. Middle can suck a dick. We're going to have the right so motivated that I'm going to win this thing. And he won one and he lost one. He beat mm-hmm. Hillary mm-hmm. and he lost to Biden. Is it good or not? I, I don't know. I it's think too the small fact a that like, uh, him I, being the president motivated the left as well, though, because like yeah. once he was actually president, because people like the left was like, it's not going to happen. Like he's fucking, he's not going to end up president. But then when he did end up president and then they all started freaking out because they were like, I hate him so much. Then they're like, okay, now we're motivated. So he motivated the left to vote to get rid of him. And he didn't motivate the right good enough to keep him in. It, yeah. When he was mm-hmm. when he was going again, so it's like it's a double edged sword. We'll like see. He, I can't figure out if Trump is good or bad at running elections. But he I mean, beat Hillary. Hillary. One in the presidency is pretty I, solid. I, I, the, I, 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 at one and oh. the COVID He's, thing is yeah. such a curveball for his presidency. Yeah, and he handled it's it unsustainable. so poorly. Yeah. It, 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 you know, it's, like, it's like, so hard. Like that is just such a unique, un, like unsustainable, like economic situation that no one could possibly know the outcome of that. I hear his narcissism prevented him from handling it well. He mm-hmm. had to go up there every day, deliver these press conferences by himself. He had to tell everyone how genius he was. It was Trump, Trump, Trump all the time. Trump literally pitching solutions like bleed or disinfectant in your blood and the Maybe ultraviolet rays. And, and he was always telling the doctors were so impressed by how quickly I'm picking this up. Maybe I should have been a doctor. I don't know. I went with president. Instead. His narcissism <laughs> just destroyed yeah. his own campaign. Uh, yeah, that's what's up. You know, you know this, this you thing could have united no- people like 9-11 did and, and brought mm. him to the peak of popularity like Bush did. But instead, he took it the other way because he didn't manage it well. I saw an old clip the other day, and it was Barack Obama reading mean tweets, and mm-hmm. uh, it was one from Donald Trump, and it was <laughs> he, he was like, Barack Obama will go down in history as one of the worst presidents ever, and Barack Obama said to the camera, ah, but I will go down to something, I've got something that you'll never go down as, and that is, I was yeah. president of the but United States. But at least States. I will go down. <laughs> that didn't as, age as, well. as, yeah, it was <laughs> something like, and it was like, oh. Oh, Trump really oh. won this one. I kind of oh. wish there was a part two where, yeah, like, yeah. like, where, like, the Trump like is in a little bubble, and then that one expands. He's, he's just like, hey, I want Trump to have a comeback. I wish Trump was like not so petty that he couldn't make peace with the Obamas and have fun with them about this whole thing. Like, like, I like that if, if he weren't, if he could like yuck it up with the Obamas and like make jokes and like take jokes back and forth, he could be Emperor Trump. He really could. That's all it would take, but he's so petty. Like, like, like. Anything. You think Obama wants I, to banter with him? I, I no, of course that. not. Obama uh, would also have to be into it. <laughs> <laughs> Obama hates him clearly, but Obama would banter with him if Trump wasn't such a dick. Like Obama, Obama would banter would with back a little W. At least. Like, like. <laughs> I mean, bantering with W is just like swish over and over. <laughs> like these, <laughs> that guy, that guy has no bants like at all. He I would was get trying absolutely to pick a, a destroyed by any British kid in 2008 on Xbox Live. That's oh. true. <laughs> you don't know what I know. <laughs> any one of them would line, up, line it up yeah. and, and knock him down. Freaking out instantly to be like, your mom and then his controller and just go yeah. straight through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, just God damn trailer. it! <laughs> mom, these, these fellas are making 9-11 jokes. <laughs> 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 All right. We're going to hear from a couple of wonderful sponsors. Well, there's a quick break there. This episode of PKA brought to you by Blue Chew. Spring has finally come, so let's help you do the same. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversation, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it comes time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the five bucks in shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code PKA to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you, Blue Chew. So $5, I think... 
for that $5 promo, I think you either get two or three pills. We've said before, go with the Tadalafil. Tadalafil is the way to go there. That's the one that lasts a little longer and Mm -hmm. uh, does not have any... Party for two days. Party for two days. or seven. I think it says 72 hours. It's longer lasting, the Tadalafil. So check out Blue Chew. This episode of PK also brought to you by Death by Gummy Bears and WonkyWeeds.com. Are you or a loved one sick of mediocre or even bad THC alternatives? I know I am. Well, we've got great news for you. DeathByGummyBears.com and WonkyWeeds.com have you covered. Death by Gummy Bears and Wonky Weeds were founded by a group of passionate professionals who were sick and tired of low-quality Delta 8 and THC alternative products that are spray-coated and very often incorrectly dosed. That's why DeathByGummyBears.com and WonkyWeeds.com had the boys in the lab cook up high-quality, powerful THC alternative products that are accurately dosed and actually taste great. Looking for a super strong 100 milligram Delta 8 gummy that'll put you on your ass? Then Death by Gummy Bears is for you. Looking for a more mellow, relaxing high? Then the cartridges, disposables, pre-rolls, and distillates you'll find at wonkyweeds.com are more your speed. So whether you're trying to get absolutely shithoused or just have a nice, relaxing night at home, we've got the THC alternative product for you. With so many satisfied customers all over the USA, American-based WonkyWeeds.com and DeathByGummyBears.com serves all states where t- or hemp-derived THC is legal. So whether you're a current THC enjoyer or just interested in trying something new, go to WonkyWeeds.com or DeathByGummyBears.com and use code PKA20 for 20% off your order. Once again, that's WonkyWeeds.com or DeathByGummyBears.com, PKA20, 20% off your order. And they, they reached out to me today about these Delta-8 vapes right here these are one gram disposable delta eight vapes and these are on wonky weeds there's a sale running right now while supplies laughed while supplies last delta bars one gram delta eight disposable 50 percent off 50 percent off pka 50 is the code use code pka 50 for 50 percent off of these delta bars at wonkyweeds.com that's where these delta bars are and it's only while supplies last there's we anticipate the they anticipate these will go very quickly so check them out it's it's delta eight and so it's not as intense as delta 10 thco hhc if you're trying to make a nice foray into it one of these is a great way to try that'll be a, a, a gentler way to do it and that's only for these pka 50 is only for these uh, PKA 20 for anything else, wonky weeds and death by gummy bears. So I have been hitting those things that vape that you're holding in your hand. What is it called again? This is a Delta bar. They have banana Kush flavor, <laughs> strawberry Kush and watermelon Kush. I don't even know what flavor I'm taking, but, but here's my feedback on it. I have done, this is like the third stick I've ever done. One was an actual pot one I got in Colorado. The other was a THC one I got at some gas station. And then this, this is the only one that doesn't make me cough stupid. Like I always struggle. Like I either don't get the dose or I'm coughing like painfully and it's Mm -hmm. it's, like ruins the experience. These are not making me cough. It could be that my technique is improved. Or it could just be better product. I don't yeah, know. these these are pretty pretty gentle as far as how they hit. So if you're new yeah. to it, these are a very very good starting point. So if you're gonna do it, use code PKA50 for the Delta bars. And if you are trying to buy the Delta bars and anything else, check out with PKA50 for the Delta bars and then D- PKA20 for anything else. So and these are might, wonky weeds. And the HHC might be as strong as weed. Like HHC just- is super fucking strong. Uh, it's this is so strong <laughs> like, 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 what do you um when you when you vape it like do you use a device like like i have here like mindset yeah on, it's in the other room but i have one like that not you know that what fancy. voltage you use like, like i max it out I, oh i i didn't know you're supposed to max it i use like whatever the lowest is like 3.0 or something i'm using 4.20 which happens to be the as high as it'll go i don't know <laughs> lol but um i, I don't know it's, it's really really strong <laughs> yeah it, they are. If you're looking to get, you know, fucking high off of these things, then go to Wonky Weeds and get the HHC. So yeah. check them out. PK20 for the Delta Bars. PK or PK50 <clears throat> for the Delta Bars on Wonky Weeds. PK20 oh. for everything else. And also, this episode brought to you by Lock and Load, the finest oh. comp pills in existence. Oh. Check them out. <laughs> Excellent deal. Code PKA. Code Jizz. I think they're still uh, they're, they're still reduced price, aren't they? I don't know. I believe so. Unless I'm looking like a real dumbass is. if I didn't. <laughs> I like having big loads. <laughs> it's, it, they're hilariously effective. 
very very effective you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be coming in an unbelievable way it's gonna blow your mind it's gonna blow the mind of your partner you know whoever that is you're gonna love it i have an idea yeah. i have an Your idea boyfriend. we'll have to talk to Derek to see if this is possible Could we do like a golden ticket type thing <laughs> wait I, for, for what where, do i get the tour of the factory where they're <laughs> they why would the you ticket? get to do anything you're a host here you're a, you're a co-owner <laughs> of the company or whatever why would you get anything you're really <laughs> <laughs> what what is the guy what he's buying thousands of bottles like that one guy trying to win the contest. jesus what i'll take you rafting you don't have to keep buying them 50 a pop <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying, like, I maybe like we that. could give something away. We could throw up a couple golden tickets and some bottles. Uh, I, I I like that idea. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm stoned right now, so it just seemed like a good idea to me. If you hate the golden ticket idea, um, you, that's okay. But I I want to. I gotta go. I like ticket. it. Did you Let's sing the song? Did you just think of the song, and that's what made you think of that? Well, I was just thinking <laughs> how happy I'd be if I if I opened something, and you know, like like cereal boxes used to do that, like like. Oh, sometimes there'd be a I toy in there too. and as a kid uh, like that was a big deal it was like oh shit there's a decoder in there a little thing you look through mm -hmm. and they'd have a puzzle on the back that you can only read if you oh, have yeah. one of these and it's like shit keep up with that like, like they don't give you anything anymore i'd like that if, if, if when i bought a bottle of cum pills oh look at that yeah what is glasses in there huh <laughs> a, wow, yeah. it's Woody's real band aid. <laughs> it's, a load, it's a load of Woody's car. Run home, that's Woody. All, Run all. home and don't stop until you get there. <laughs> <It's your laughs> Come pills bottle in a band aid. All right. Well, well you know, you no, know I think let, it's a good idea. Us, we'll think of something. I, 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 you know, I'm a gold it's got to be funny. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be worthwhile. Are you guys ready for a question? Sure. What this is the ten dollar Patreon level. They're, they they oh, ask I questions and we use some of. Them. Okay. If you're fucking, this is, I'll ask a slush to go first. If you're fucking a trans woman as a straight man, would you want their dick to be hard since it's a sign of arousal or soft and maybe worry that you stuck at sex? Absolutely hard. I, I would love the confidence boost. Uh, but, uh, so but a trans woman, like a dude that's become a woman so, that was going towards a woman? Yeah, it's a dude that now identifies as a woman. See, the penis should include you. Oh, wait, wait, that was maybe an insensitive way to phrase it, but it's a former yeah. dude who now identifies as a woman. Is that Okay. Um, hard or soft? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I think hard. I want them to know that I, I, I want to know they're enjoying it. Exactly. I'm with you. Dude, if yeah. that guy's not hard, I'm not doing my job. If that girl's yeah. not hard. If that, if that woman though, doesn't I have a hard dick. That, this is an I easy think question. that if, it's, if a trans woman has had enough hormones then the, then then they stop being able to have erections so and not interested then i well, hear you I, but I you're wanna, you're saying a more masculine prowess. trans woman yeah. who no, still I'll, has i want to be i want to be i want to be fucking them up the ass and up. then reach around and feel like i'm going all the way through it's like it's like that thumb illusion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, That's all. Yeah, I want. Now you're onto something. <laughs> yeah. now, now you're onto something. That, that would make me feel massive. No, I definitely you want see, to be like hard. those uh those like super feminine trans women. Like if you're scrolling Pornhub and then you're like it'll play sure, like sure. those random fucking thingos and then and then you all of a sudden just see like a super feminine woman. That just has like a, a fucking cock that just makes me feel so emasculated. It's like that is like <laughs> the biggest cock I've ever seen. On, like, <laughs> like on a on a a, a woman for but that for all accounts is one of the most feminine women I've ever seen. It's like mm -hmm. how did that happen? Like she's got it all. That's fucking yeah. That you, you win. You win. Yeah, <laughs> we've talked about this before. Yeah. I think we did a show once where we looked at transsexual prostitutes on Craigslist. And Did like we? one of the yeah yeah and we, we went through them and we called one and uh, page. and one of the things uh, we, we we kept finding over and over they all had just huge cocks <laughs> like like, really? like there were so few of them that had like even average to below average they were all like eight nine ten twelve I'm not joking eleven thirteen like uh, crazy but... shit now now <laughs> I, at the time I bought that hook line and sinker now. I want to know, like, I need to see these pictures again and, and look for some forced perspective. I don't think we do, some... do that episode again. I mean, I'd send you some links, I guess. What if later, it's someone, but... what if it's someone who's like <laughs> five is foot gone. two and you is just it? don't know? Back I'm sure gone. there's like, there's like, you could like Google like escort.com and they like, there you go. Cause I remember yeah. just go to prostitute.gov. 
You <laughs> literally can't. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you, like Guide Scott will hook you up. Not dot gov, <laughs> but yeah, you could just Google Escort and you'd find a list of prostitutes in your area. And I'm sure they're not all cops. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? If you Google escort in, with, in some states, like, uh, you could find you could have a prostitute at your house within you know minutes, like like no problem. Yeah, yeah. like a pizza. Is it? But is it like is it like illegal? Like what's it, is it? Um, food? no, she's coming to like hang out with you. The the sex is um incidental. Oh, okay. So you yeah, may it may or may not out. happen. I mean, it's up. That's all up to her. It's it's like one of those things when um I saw a guy. Uh, on the one bite pizza review thing, uh, his name's escaping right now. But anyway, this guy was—I think it was during COVID—and this guy's in his apartment making pizzas, and he's—he lowers it down with like a rope, and uh, he's like, "I'm gonna be honest, it was like an eight. <laughs> it was like an eight. <laughs> oh, I lost my train of thought. Shit. Rewind me a second. It was about escorts and googling and getting them, getting them to your place, escorts. and the, how illegal it was. Oh shit! How did that tie into the one bite pizza review? I'm not sure. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what's going so, now i want you guys to know this death by gummy shit's no joke it's so strong <laughs> um, <laughs> no i don't think we could do that anymore go through the uh the, the hookers but that was a that was a fun episode i remember that what it i remember the most in. is we finally i think we spoke to one who was from thailand and had sort of escaped thailand and when we heard her story it was like a bummer yeah, that was, was that's where i was headed like yeah i it influenced my views permanently on how I treat trans people in general, which is like, be nice. These people are just having a harder time in life than average, right? Yeah, there's suicide a real rough rate. Time of it. Yeah. Their suicide rate is far higher. And, you know, dude, whatever pronoun you want, you got it. I'm your guy. Oh. I, I, name it name it i'll I'll do i'll do my very best um i'm Taylor not here away this is the time to squeeze in mma <laughs> do it oh man it was it Tony was a crazy uh, I, it, the whole the whole we weekend was crazy like oh, a, the whole the whole thing got fucked up kamzat shemaev is now like a fucking heel a villain uh, he's he's, mm -hmm. he's taking shots at khabib and like like just being a being a real because khabib took shots at him I, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, they're both pieces of shit, though. Did you like, like Khabib's shots were those crazy? He's like, I look at him and he doesn't have. If he good Muslims keep good people around, if he has more Muslims around him, you know, you need some Muslims said. around you because when you don't, then you do bad things because you got bad people around. He's like implying that if you're not a Muslim, you're a bad person. And he's really pointing the finger at Del Darren Till. Like, hey, Darren Till, you're not a Muslim. You're not a good person. You're not a good influence influence for Jamaya. That's why he's having these other issues. But there's something. What are to the that. issues that he had? So here, here's what happened. This guy, if you try to make 170 pounds and you come in at 172, 173, you missed weight. It sucks. You did your best. This guy came in at like 180. He missed weight by so much that yeah. like it, it. I don't know. He just fucked up, kind of bad. And uh, Khabib said that he didn't have enough Muslims around him. Now, I interpreted that as, oh, here it is. If you're a Muslim, you should have good people around you. Muslims who can say, hey, don't do this. I recently watched the, the weigh-in of Kazma Chemayev. I followed what was happening with his weight and looked at his team. There are no Muslims around him, and this is very bad. Because if you are a Muslim, you need good, strong people around you that will say, come back, do this. So I took it as... Look, this guy likes discipline. He got too fat. He couldn't make weight, and he missed it by ten pounds, which is a huge. It, well, well, one of the biggest misses I can. He think wasn't of. trying though. Like, like that's the difference. Like, like he stopped trying so early that he would. He just like filled back up with water and and like. Is that what happened? I didn't know that. Of course, like, like once he knew that he wasn't going to do it, which was at you know the night before, he was like, yeah. Now I'm drinking and eating. Like like he he went. So it's it's doubly well, shit. He could have missed by like three pounds and still had the yeah. fight, but it still felt like shit. Like like yeah. so he'd rather so he'd rather just replenish and be. If I'm over, I'm over. I'm gonna be over and feel good. You know what? Yeah, give me that. Give me this. Uh, so so what, the worst part about it was at the press conference when he gets on the scale. Instead of showing up and being like, "I'm way over," I'm gonna let you know I'm way over. We got to talk about this. Like and he he like flips him off and like shrugs and like fuck it I came to fight not fight the scale and all this bullshit. Uh, Rogan let him have it in the post fight interview. He, he's like, yeah, but if you're gonna be a champion, if you're gonna fight, if this was for the belt, then it would no longer have been for the belt. If you miss weight, you can't do that. And he kind of like doubled back and was like, yeah, I guess you're right. And like, uh, you know, but but 
the, the, what you've got is, is somebody who should be fighting at 185, not 170. Uh, mm. And and like that fight, did you did you see um, the guy he beat up in two minutes flat? Uh, uh, Kevin Holland, I think. Mm-hmm. Did you see his eyes from from I get, from from like the double scratch that no. happened in the in that two minutes? Both of his eyes are glowing red and like just scratched all to fuck. Like, wow. like at some point he's like in the guy's eyes playing xbox i guess i don't know what happened <laughs> that so what, is he just he, i hate so he him was so much I, i've always just, hated him i don't like him because he's ugly if i'm being honest i don't like him because he just seems like a piece of shit he's a birth defect yeah that's part of why he's ugly that like, look fix his lip and he's still fucking ugly as shit yeah look at his oh, eyes fuck. wow yeah jesus it you can't really tell how bad the one that's on our right which is his left is mm-hmm. because he's looking in that direction, but it's yeah. just as bad on the other side as the, you know, Damn. Not, the, by the way, the fight lasted two minutes. Is it, it, so, so like it happened in that amount of time, it was a clobbering and Nate Diaz would have been killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. would have been killed. Tell me this. Just, is there anyone you'd rather see Israel on a side in your fight right now than Chimaev? No. I, I want to see that fight. I want to see what? the guy who who has no ground game yet somehow never seems to have any ground problems, Israel, against a guy who's all ground game and seems to be able to make it about the ground game every fight. He, he's more like the fight Paolo Costa because they've already got beef. Paolo wants that thing. Of course, Chemayev will not want that because Paolo's a big boy. Paolo's a real 185er. He has a hard time hitting 185. Yeah. He's a big man. And I got a feeling that Shemayev cannot throw him like a rag doll, like, like Kevin Holland. Um, uh, I think that Costa would stand up to that and start fucking throwing some of those clobbering bombs that he throws. And, and it, it would be interesting. I love Costa for his antics. Uh, I like antics in fighting. They, during the Nate Diaz um, um, Ferguson fight, Ferguson kicked him like three times shin to shin. And Ferguson's own shin was gushing blood. If you've ever seen one of those mm-hmm. cuts where it's like high pressure blood being sprayed, almost vaporizing, it's doing that. It's running down his, and he's still throwing it, by the way. And every time he throws it, it makes a blood splotch. Like, like one of those girls who thinks she's artistic, who does that blot painting in her, in her, <laughs> fucking, like every time he's doing that to the, uh, the opponent with, with his bloody wounded leg. And he hits like, he hits Nate for like the third time solid in the same spot. And Nate goes you, out loud. He goes, ow! <laughs> he did what I do when I'm r- walking through the house t- through the house too quickly, and my pinky cut. toe hangs on a corner, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and you're just like, fuck! Like, and he stopped fighting, stood like a like like a normal human being, like not an athletic stance, kind of bent over, and was just like, ah, oh, fuck! And he starts <laughs> walking it off. And then a fight. An, an, Nate Diaz did that? I didn't see this like you did. Fight. Nate Diaz I walked the fight. away and circling away. The ref is like, I don't remember who it was. I think it was, I don't remember. He's like, come on, work back in there. Nate goes, nah, nah. <laughs> and he takes, like, I, I'm not exaggerating, 10, 12, 15 more steps, kind of shape walking it off. And Tony's over there, <laughs> like, like, spinny shit. And, and finally, after like, I'm going to say he took a 10 second, 15 second break in <laughs> maybe the third round somewhere in there. Uh, and maybe the second, but it was hilarious. Never seen anything like it. At one point, Ferguson's being very evasive. He's getting, he's gotten fucked up. He's got four L's in a, he's in a, in a row coming turning in here. His back to Nate. Cause he doesn't want to get knocked the fuck out. He's, but he, you he's can like, get knocked out while you're not facing your opponent. It's less, weird that it, it was so effective. Like, yeah, he's like he's hiding him. his chin. He, well, <laughs> well, Nate's not going to punch him in the back of the head. He won't. He can punch him. To, he can hook him in the ear. He can, he can but he won't. He won't. He, 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 he didn't. Won't. You're right. He, he's I mean, being nice. Um, okay. but, like, like, like I think he. I think he felt. I, I think he didn't want to tear him apart because Nate didn't ever threw any elbows, and I thought that was weird. Um, mm. it, it was. It was an embarrassing fight for Tony, and it showed that Nate wasn't the Nate of old. Nate, I think, gets smoked by Connor now. Nate, like, like, like think about like, like what I, I think of what Connor, Connor has either. Con- Connor's big. I think big, it, but as is he long as that fighting? leg is not an impediment to him, as long as Connor can eat leg kicks like he used to be able to and return them as he needs to, if he if he can continue to check, his boxing has to be so much better than Nate's now. Nate looked old and slow in a way that I don't think Connor is yet. I don't know. Like what have we seen from Connor? He got. I've seen him training, dude. I've seen him running on on those trip. 
when I see his, that shit on his Instagram, I see him fucking like doing crazy cardio shit. And like, I, of course, everything's form fitting. He looks like Captain America. But mm -hmm. God, he looks big, dude. He looks like a real 170 pounder, like a weird shaped one, too, because he's such a odd framed guy. But like he his shoulders and his neck have gotten so big, broad and powerful. I don't know. I, I agree. I think we both want to fuck Connor. There's no doubt about that. I just don't know that he's better at fighting. I, I do. It, I don't think you can. After that performance, that looked bad. That looked bad. I'm not saying you can't beat Nate. I, I also agree that Nate didn't look great. I just don't know what Connor has anymore. You know who looked real? Kamzat Chemayev. Like, like yeah. I despise the man, yeah, but yeah. he looked like the next generation of UFC fighter out there. Now I know it's one dimensional, but that's what Khabib did too. He looked like a he looked like a ferocious Khabib that want to take wants to take people out instantly. And and Khabib had mercy. Khabib mm -hmm. wanted the belt. Hit Khabib's thing, in my opinion. He he believes that he's like destined. It's like manifest destiny that he is to be champion. And anybody in his way, while he's he was beating the shit out of this guy Michael Johnson. I'm mm -hmm. telling everybody, he's beating him mercilessly. They're against the fence. Dana White, the boss, is right there. I mean, we can all we're we're having a three way conversation right now. As I'm smushing this guy, this trained fighter that you've put me against, sir, I'm going to talk to you about why that was silly. You see <laughs> what I'm doing to him? You see this shit? <laughs> I want your boy. I want the belt. <laughs> I want the belt. <laughs> and then he's telling Michael, "You must give up. You must give up." And Michael like does this like backhanded slap because that's all he can do because he's crumpled up like like a rape victim. And so Michael goes, eh, and like slaps Khabib in the face. And you see Khabib's face change from, you need to give up, man. Come on, come on. To like, oh, it's like that, huh? Wham, <laughs> wham, wham. You see how? Now let's talk He's like, more. you need to you, give up. You know I deserve this. You know it. Yeah. He, he's using his forearm. And uh, and he has this meaty, he's, he's just slamming him. He can hit that. He's just hit him the, in like this area over and over. And he's, like I said, the guy's bunched up. He, he's not going anywhere. That's all he can do. <laughs> and, uh, and and this new guy, though, is just eating people for breakfast and being scary. It's 9-11. It just turned 9-11, like an hour, like 30 minutes ago. And he's like, Allahu Akbar, I'm here to kill everybody. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. shit, dude, wait that an was hour. Insane. At least. An hour. Like, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. That, that was fucking crazy when he did that. I was, I was, I was watching that. And I'm like, I, can't, I cannot believe that he did that like in front of a, an American Well, you got to keep it like, like oh, when crazy. the fight began... He sprinted at the other guy. The other guy goes for a glove touch, and he's like, fuck that shit. And he grabs him, throws him to the ground immediately. They wrestle for two minutes, and it's over. It, it's, it, it was over. He, he's just a real ferocious, scary guy. But I just really despise him. I don't like him on camera and on the mic. I think he's ugly. I don't like looking at him. Uh, I hope someone hurts him, like, like legitimately injures him. I'd love that. Like one of those career enders. I want to see this guy like get Luke Rockholded. I, I want to see him fight Israel Adesanya. That's the uh, matchup I really want to see. What are we going to do when he eats Israel? You think he can eat Israel? Yeah. I mean, Yol Romero couldn't take Israel down, couldn't do anything with him. Yol's 40 fucking years old. But he looks 19. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this, guy's act, this guy's actually like 23 or something. Like, like this guy's a killer. I want to see the fight. I want to see I want the to see fight. It too. I hope they no do. one has I, ever taken no one has ever taken advantage of Israel on the ground. I, I think he's gonna clobber Israel. I I, I just I he looks so strong. Be smaller, he he looks like a bigger Khabib, um, and and I mm. hate him for it. And I uh, what I'm looking forward is to to Nate Diaz. Hopefully the UFC doesn't shit on him. It's the end of his contract, but the way these UFC contracts work, he can't even discuss um, doing anything for thirty. I think it's like thirty days. It might be ninety days where he mm. can't say a word about Logan Paul or Jake Paul or any of that or anything that he wants to do fight promoter wise. Or he's in big trouble because of his contract, because the UFC like has that time to make their first bid or something, and he can't be out there shopping. And then I think they can wait like another year on top of that. So like if they want to, they can tie him up legally. And so it's waiting game. Because on the way out, and Nate Diaz is like last minutes on the mic, he's like, "Oh yeah, thanks Dana White. Y'all gave me the platform to do everything I did. UFC. Hopefully, maybe I come back here win a belt someday." Did you <laughs> see Nate Diaz talk about his shoes? Oh, I saw Nate Diaz talk about the shoes. So the UFC, <laughs> the UFC is is first of all, I buy these fucking pay per views. I didn't buy this one. <clears throat> I have watched it though. Uh, but, but usually I buy them. And you have plunked down like eighty dollars after your subscriptions factored in for each one, maybe more. 
and it's full of ads. It's like, all right, now the fucking time clock brought to you by Michelob. Oh, and and here's the ring girl's pussy brought to you by Toyota. <laughs> and here's Joe <laughs> Rogan's head brought to you by Geico. And like everything's Windex. brought to you by a different fucking company. <laughs> and you paid for this shit. It, 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 it's yeah. so, jam they're, they're killing it. And then they've gone through the audacity of partnering with The Rock and Under Armour. And The Rock has his own shoe now. It's you can look it up, see what, see what you think of it. But UFC fighters have to wear it. They have to pimp it. They don't get a dime. <laughs> and <laughs> so like, there's this montage. There's this montage of all these fighters. Yeah, it's aerodynamic and advanced. Oh, when I'm wearing my rock shoes, I'm ready to whoop some ass. Or what you know, they're paying these, <laughs> these guys are just doing what they're told. And mm -hmm. then they get to Nate <laughs> Diaz, and this footage is like from his Instagram because they cut it. And he's like, Look at these fucking shoes. These fucking ugly ass shoes. They made me wear them. They made ugly ass shoes. He's like, they, he said they fucking suck. <laughs> He's fucking That's suck. funny as fuck. Dude, Good for fuck. him. It reminds me of now when, you can um, trust his future reviews. Uh, yeah. What's what? What was the gigantic WWE guy? Brock Lesnar. Brock. Le um, I, I think Budweiser was a sponsor of the UFC mm -hmm. or Bud Light, whichever way you want to look at it. At that time but they wouldn't pay Brock Lesnar in particular. And so like in his huge fight, he's fight. He's, he just won the belt heavyweight championship. And he's like, I'm going to go home, drink me a Coors Light. That's Coors Light. Because <laughs> Budweiser don't want to pay me nothing. Hell, I might even get on top of my wife. And, the mic. and it was like, damn, y'all probably should have paid Brock. Because <laughs> if Brock Lesnar drinks Coors Light, I think I might need one, too. Like, oh, I could be cool like Brock oh, with, so the, with the Coors Light. I kind of look forward. Anderson Silva's fighting Jake Paul, I think, yeah. if I have it yeah. right. That'll yeah. be neat. I, I, I've dude. given up. I, look, I'm not going to bet against them until... I'm, I'm just going to stop betting against the Paul brothers. Or, you can't be a YouTuber. Has a YouTuber ever lost a professional fight? Uh -huh. <laughs> to another YouTuber. Uh, and, and to another Anderson YouTuber, yeah. Fit, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like Jedi or something. <laughs> yeah. Is that is Anderson Silva fit now? Or yeah, he looked good to me. Yeah, he looked like ages. he always did. He's he, old. He, he, he he's been doing move. professional boxing and winning. Oh, Anderson he has? Silva. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I watched him KO some guy um, wearing some white gloves maybe a while back. I don't know. It, that stuck okay. in my head, I think. Is um, it boxing it or are they doing UFC? Professional boxing, the way I remember it, but it was a highlight I saw on Reddit. But Jake Paul's no, he player. looks good. Um, Jake is very big. Like, like this is uh, this throws you off right here. Like, like, like to look at this, mm -hmm. Jake looks like his little brother or some shit. I don't know how, why they even agree. Who got final copy on this? Because <laughs> Jake is bigger and taller. Jake's head is just bigger. You know, you ever see a dog's head and you're like, holy shit. That's yeah. what it's yeah. like. That's what Jake Paul's head's like. <laughs> have you met Jake Paul? I know you've met Logan. I have not met Jake, but I know Logan's the bigger one, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think he's bigger too. Logan's got a big fucking head. Look at too, that. Bro. Jake. I, I, I don't feel wrong. like Jake's right, got size I, on him. I was wrong. Either. All right. And when I saw them next to each other, it didn't look like this. I'll say that. I, didn't like I feel like all. if their heads were level, their heights would be more. Maybe, I, like, maybe I'm thinking I feel like Anderson wizard. Silver's better at being taller. <laughs> 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 Do you see it too? If yeah. they look straight ahead, to the, yeah. I don't know. Well, why, uh, well, why did I, I fly again? Called Tyron Woodley because I think that's what I I watched a whole video mm. today called "Why Everyone Hates Tyron Woodley." It was 48 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> 48 minutes. Long. I watched they every them, second of it, and I was like, "Yep, yep, yep." Piece of shit. Hmm. Oh God, I hate that guy. Well, what's wrong with him? Ah, scumbag. It's much of like Missouri it would take 48 native. minutes to explain. He's my guy. It takes 48 minutes to explain to you <laughs> what a piece of shit he is. Uh, we don't. We don't I, I didn't like his time. victim complex. That was that was my biggest. Oh yeah, race baiting was a big part of the video. Yeah. yeah. Scumbag. No, I think that uh, I, I man, it's hard to bet against Anderson Silva though. Yes, but that's what I thought about Ben Askren, and that's what I thought about Tyrone Woodley, and you know then what? that's what my dumbass thought about Tyrone Jake, Woodley again. I'm gonna say Jake Paul knocks him out. I'm gonna say Jake Paul knocks him out because uh, maybe he he, the, he gets knocked out the same way um, when he was styling that time against what's his name, and uh, and got fucking caught. Anderson did. Uh, you're thinking of Chris Weidman. Yeah. The thing is, uh, it's really hard to knock out Anderson Silva. Chris Weidman can do it. Jake Paul can do it. He's stronger. Jake Paul's fucking scary big. What's uh? What, I'm, what I'm done betting against. Him. At? I don't know. Maybe two or five. The, so Chael Sonnen was like the arbiter of their like um, press conference, and 
that was the best part of it. You know, Chael said this thing years ago. They were opponents, him and uh, Anderson Silva. And he said, you know what? I'm going to go down there to Brazil. I'm going to walk into that little hut Anderson Silva lives in. I'm going to go up to his wife and I'm going to pat her on the ass. And I'm going to say, I'll be in here, honey. Bring me my steak just how I like it, medium rare. And uh, so now here they are many years later. <laughs> and he has that in his memory. And he's like, Anderson's, Anderson's like, why did you never come to my house when I invited you to the barbecue? He's like, I'll be honest, I didn't think it was a real invite. I, I thought that you hated me, and I thought, <laughs> especially your wife, you know, those things <laughs> I said. And it was such a <laughs> genuine chill on stage being like, I'll be honest, I, I thought maybe you're going to, like, fuck me up over to your house. <laughs> there, there was one, he's like, your house here in, in Brazil? He's like, oh, no, no, here in America. They'd kill you in Brazil. They hate you in Brazil. Because he said he said the most diabolical shit about the country of Brazil back in what the day. What do you say? Oh, I don't know. Stuff like they're they don't know how to read and they're illiterate. Like like he would talk about like how these these Brazilians came and they thought a bus was a horse and they tried to feed a yeah. carrot. And they're like, and, and would the, say American kids are learning computers and technology and they're launching rockets and the Brazilian children are playing in the mud. And then <laughs> when they're like, how could you say that? He's like, in my defense, listen, I had no idea Brazil had the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just mean shit. And, uh, <laughs> and but but he would sell a fight, right? Like he was never yeah. the best. He was well he, he wasn't even well-rounded really, but mm. he would talk some diabolical shit and he would rhyme like Muhammad Ali uh used to a little bit. You know who Mom Muhammad Ali got that whole thing from? The rhyming and the I'm the greatest, I'm mm -hmm. the best. That's gorgeous George. It's gorgeous George who was a oh, professional is that where wrestler. You took from? Got, Zach, will you will you pull up a picture of gorgeous George? He's um, not gorgeous. <laughs> oh, he's a good looking fella. Isn't that All guy right. in Snatch? I, there might be a character Gorgeous called Gorgeous George. George in that movie. There is, and and yeah, 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 there is. But uh, but this is the old timey wrestler, uh, long blonde hair, capes, boas, shit like that. Anyway, that, that, that's where all that bag came from. I have a PKA Patreon question. I'm going to ask Kyle as a subject matter expert. Oh no! Check out the Patreon, everyone. Link is below. Helen Kel Oh, sorry. Is Helen Keller immune to flashbangs? <laughs> she's immune to the flash <laughs> and the and the auditory part of it in a, con that's in a, kind of in the a confined of space like like there can be some pressure wave stuff that's weird and uh maybe if her mouth was closed and it was too close to her like, right, like better mouth was never fucking closed uh, <laughs> always moaning oh that's a good point um you know if you're if, if you're ever in a you know, a terrorist bombing or something. Are you, are you, know, you get, still get down, uh, open your mouth, cover your ears, close your eyes? I remember you not being convinced by my my conspiracy yeah, back I, in the I, day. I think you still you're a truther still. I, <laughs> like you truly think she wasn't retarded. Here's the part that sells it to me the most that that, that makes me kind of agree with you and and like I'm I'm kind of on the on, on the edge. It was that she became so political. Mm -hmm. if if she learned to speak and then like just wanted to like like tell me what blue tastes like and they're like oh, oh let's go back to the drawing boards i don't think she's quite got this one yet we'll, mm -hmm. we'll get the concepts of colors and flavors down you know we're working on it you know we'll <laughs> jam some blueberries in her mouth though and that blew her mind <laughs> now she can't, now can't get that one straight uh but 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 instead she's like long-winded um eloquently like a, an friendly. out and out communist who shared yeah. all her views just happenstance well, with the I woman know, who claimed to interpret oh, for her. So that part that is that is what what makes it so um so interesting to me. Um and and so likely that as you say she was a mouthpiece willing or not maybe here, here's here's what you should have said that she just liked being tickled and that's why she was there. <laughs> like, like, like she is tickling her hand that is all it is. <laughs> She's always just been a little goofy. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, that could have that could have sold me. So yeah, I'm kind of, I'm closer to your side now than I once yes. was, just because of the the how political she was. What do you? May I He's ask what you're can. doing? I, I see a tool. Oh, okay. I thought it was a wrench of some like a fancy wrench. Having I was like, what kind problem. of intricate work are so, you doing? Fixing part so of his bike. Time is money. That she was like, <laughs> she was like one of those uh, one of those people that got like locked up when they were a kid and then just like masturbates on doorknobs and shit like oh, that. Shit. And then except yeah. It, 
and and yeah, and then they Don't just do that. they just rolled her around and and uh, spewed shit and said she was saying it. Is that is that your kind of uh, where you stand I, on it? Yes, yes. It's I mean a little uh, it's a little crude, um, but <laughs> yeah, she was she was a retard. It's a hundred percent verified, confirmed, <laughs> multiple videos of me proving it that she <laughs> she was not fucking reading it. That shit does not fly. My whole point, like you can go back and watch the highlight video on YouTube, but. Multiple teachers tried to get her to talk before that. Very qualified teachers couldn't do it. Then the teacher comes along, hard and out and out communist. This communication style they develop is singular between the two of them. Can't be explained outside of that, really. It's like it's it's silly. It's wait, like, it's one like of those things. They, they, wait, wait, are you, are you no. telling me there's not no, no, a no. book that I could read and like learn how to talk? Deaf. No. Uh, oh, no. No. Right. Like she, yeah? she like made, she like made up to whole cloth lies. The whole thing made up. Like, there's none of these people around in 2022. Why? Because we have phones that can record well, the bullshit. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm close. I'm, I'm close to being sold on it. Uh, much I, at first, I thought it was a joke. Um, and I know we we I'm, share that I'm with one another. Joking. You were, you were like at first. I thought, come on, Kyle, the Holocaust happened. But, but then, like, I, I got you on board eventually. And then once I took you to the meetings, <laughs> once, once we started showing up to the meetings, and, and you could talk to the doctor in in person, I, I think that that everybody. He's not uh, a doctor. He's a wizard. Yes. <laughs> he has, look, 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 all right, you want to disparage the man? He's a fucking professional. <laughs> he is a doctor, and that's how he likes to be referred to. Like, like, like yeah. we all, I, like, we're gonna start naming all the man's titles. We would, we don't call you a dance <laughs> champion. Like, like, yeah, you are one, but I don't lead with that. <laughs> Jesus, leave, yeah. his, leave his wizardry alone. That's a, that, that's a, di- that's a different. It's more of a hobby. David than Duke, that's a really hobby. nice guy. Yeah, he just wizards on the side. I have a question. Okay. I. Uh, <laughs> Same thing, the Patreon question. <laughs> For Taylor, why are you taking shit on Rings of Power when you haven't seen a single episode? Yes, I pronounced all that right. It's spelled like... Damn, couldn't <laughs> take the time to like say talking shit on it? <laughs> nope. There's no as, it, as, as he missed like the many times I've addressed this, I, I've said from the beginning, before the show even came out, the second <laughs> I found out the Silmarillion and the real true Tolkien-esque lore was not going to be involved, I lost interest. I, I was like, I'm not interested in this. I don't really care what the Amazon writers are doing in the Lego world of their characters in, in Middle Earth. I would want to see like a true to, true to lore one. So not interested. Not going to watch it. Gave the Game of Thrones show a shot. Very meh, very fine. It, fine is how I would describe the Game of Thrones show. It sure it's is TV. Fine. It's not, like, <laughs> it sure is TV. Yeah, it sure what is TV. That, like in the Rotten Tomatoes quote? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Now this, my you. friends, is television, and, like, <laughs> yeah. that, and that's your review. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not good. It's just kind of the magic's not there. And it, you you can you can sit there and try to to put the magic back in it, but I don't know. Maybe it was a different time in my life. Maybe I mean the the Game of Thrones initially the show like exploded on the scene so much because it was mind blowing. Like there was like yeah. you got excited for it. There was a magic to it, and it's just not there with the new series. Yeah, I, I'm giving I'm giving Lord of the Rings a uh, a try, and I've enjoyed it mm-hmm. so far. But it mm-hmm. is like it's not. It, yeah, none of it is it's not I Tolkien. Mean, it's, there's there's lore that it's like mm-hmm. sort of based on i don't know there's so many people whinging about it they're like oh there's not this and this and this and it's like none of the books wrote about this time period and they're just sort of leading <clears> off the edge of like like the end of a lot of stuff that happened in the silmarillion and then just like like filling in a gap with their own story and i'm like mm-hmm. eh, look i'm gonna watch it i'm not gonna be like wow tolkien did a did a great job of this but at the same time like tolkien was not the best author like he's a great world builder but his actual storytelling sucked balls so it's like if they can get a good storyteller using the world that he created then i'm fine with that and i'm they like yeah i'll just Peter take it Jackson at face make the fucking it's show why has nobody said that like, like, yeah, like why yeah, they, Jack, yeah. and, and instead of park with instead of like 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 you guys all forgot about the hobbit that's true that was awful and he well, i know uh, no, but they they fucked that they though because they had someone like else that either no, the they problem. had someone else directing that, and then they had heaps of trouble. I think it was like uh, they wanted Guillermo del Toro to uh, to direct it, and then they fucking blew budget on some other cunt, and then uh, then they brought in Peter Jackson to save it. And he's like, "I'll do my best, but this is gonna suck." Yeah. So. What else has Peter Jackson done that that's really good? King Kong. Uh, he did um, District Nine, right? No. Nope. Yeah, District Nine. Was it? That's uh, that's that Blancamp guy, Neil Blancamp. 
They yeah. shall not grow old. I feel like I've seen that, but I can't remember it. That was like his first video, one. wasn't it? Oh, that was the one where um they took the old footage of World War One and made a movie out of it. I mm. saw that. It was bad, but it it was also really it's it's not indicative of his talent. Yeah, you, you, you I, grab I don't me know. Sc- I, scrap footage. I, I, I'm just not interested. I, I'm not drawn to it. You know what? I, I'm way behind the ball, but I finally finished um, the boys last night. I watched the last two episodes. Oh, okay. I hadn't I hadn't done that yet for whatever reason. I think I just didn't want it to be over. Um, mm-hmm. and, and I was worried that some characters might die. I, I did. I do that with shows. Sometimes I'm like, I'm not ready to be done with this season. <laughs> hold on to it a little longer. But I watched both episodes last night. They were tremendous. And uh, spoilers uh, for The Boys season three uh, fi- finale. Um, that was so hilarious. They they basically fully shift and they make it clear that the main villain of the show, Taylor, is a Donald Trump stand in. And he's amongst his like red hat hat wearing, like most devoted people. And he has a tender moment. He's like, this is my son. And th- he's introducing his son to the world, you know, cameras everywhere. And like a blue shirt wearing like lefty fucking screams something and throws like, I don't know, a beer bottle hits the kid. Now, the kid has superpowers. So like you couldn't hurt this kid with a shot. Rude. Yeah. But the kid reacted out of fear. Like, ah. And the dad is like, holy shit, you just hit my kid with a bottle. And he lasers the top of his head off in front of everyone and you see he's having this moment he's like this is his biggest fear because he'd had these thoughts in his head before of going crazy and just nuking the people who who, Mm -hmm. who offend him but he wants to be loved and he's so he's like i've done it and they all and someone goes yeah (laughs) (laughs) and everybody goes fuck yeah laser that piece of shit (laughs) and he's just and they've made a meme of it now but it's him going (laughs) Yeah. yeah, I did laser that piece of shit. You guys are cool with it? I had no idea that I could outright laser motherfuckers. And you got, it was like when Donald Trump. Well, he's going to have to be carrying his son around, absorbing a lot of blows to get the <laughs> free brain. Oh my God, this super villain just shot my son. <laughs> they were just down with like a public killing though. Like, like, like it's what he, it's what he found out. And like, yeah, like, so he's I'm like so I could have been lasering people all this time. You know, I've been trying to pretend yeah. that I'm a Superman with a heart of gold. Now he's got a tool in the truck. Tr- it was it was a great episode. Like like he's such a piece of shit. He goes and kills one of this guy in the other room. He kills him with his bare hands. In other words, superheroes. And then he comes back in the room with that guy's like cowl or whatever. I don't know his helmet. And he sits it down there. All it's clear. Everybody's like looks at it. They know that guy's dead now. And then he attacks one of the people sitting there for killing a fellow superhero. He's like. You piece of shit. You <laughs> killed a fellow superhero. And that guy literally looks down at the helmet of his dead teammate and just <laughs> looks back up and knows better than to say a goddamn thing. Because it's fate. <laughs> he would love for you to bring up the helmet of his of your dead teammate. Because he'd love to add your fucking gills to it or whatever. He's, <laughs> he's a, uh, your fucking head off too. He's so he's, he's so a fucking crazy. bright actor. He's the like, best. He's Australian, he right? He's not of, acting. Uh, He's not acting. He, he, he reminds me of Joffrey. He, like everyone fucking hated Joffrey and mm-hmm. like would, like literally hated the yeah, real Joffrey life. Joffrey wasn't person. going around like, being a piece of shit in the real world. This guy's like the real yeah, deal. That's why guy, I like him. Method acting. Yeah. He's Australian, oh, right? Or a Kiwi? Which is <laughs> it? Know. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. He's I fucking like love that. him though. It's so. just the looks Down on his face and shit. Like where he just looks fully fucking deranged. Uh, he's a meme it. of a man like like, like I, I saw a yeah. thing the other day and it was like his yeah. 12 facial expressions all playing simultaneously in a gif very cool stuff i love his facial expressions he's yeah. great the he's like jim great. helpert but he melts people's faces off for fun <laughs> yeah and he rate and he he outright like, like by the way taylor that son of his is a rape baby it's his rape ah. baby <laughs> Yeah, well, he raped a woman and had that, that kid. Yeah. Oh, the kid yeah, knows. New, oh, 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 everyone, actor, everyone yeah. knows. The kid knows, but he took everyone his dad, the rapist. The father side. of the one, the, the the husband of the man, the husband of the woman he raped to make the baby is another. Is also a main character. He's upset about it. <laughs> is he a lower cast? Like he's like a lower tier. He's hero. not a superhero at all. He's just a guy. So, but but it's his goal in life to kill the superhero. So he's going through anything and everything to like. What yeah, are, how how do you kill? How do you kill Homelander? Like you stab him in the eye? Or something? Uh, they stabbed mm, him in the ear the other day. That didn't, that didn't go so well. He's like Superman. So, but there's no kryptonite yeah. in this world. That's well, like the deal. decapitation. 
Is no, they find a how? Uh, they find you hit him with a nuclear scenario. weapon, and he would just be like, "Ah, oh, that hurts so much. I'm gonna kill you. Good." Yeah, I they think find they that other nuclear. guy that can like neutralize his powers. Don't they? Can't, like, well, yes, I mean, they're... spoilers, but he handled that pretty well too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I can tell what happened now. But <laughs> yeah. damn it, yeah. the show I wasn't gonna watch. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's a great fucking show. Uh, it, I I really enjoy it. Um, I. I, I don't usually like when things are politicized. Like the, the creator doesn't have to like, come out and be like, "Yeah, it's Donald Trump." You see what I did? But uh, but I don't care if it's Donald Trump or it's not. A little ham handed. Like, it's it's like okay, in your world, Donald Trump is an omnipotent being who does whatever the <laughs> fuck he wants yeah. and like rape, like gets laid and has a son now and is happy. Like that lasers. All right, I think Donald Trump's down with this. You you can get him in here to voice some if you want. If like, I would watch. Yeah. Donald Trump would love that. If, Twenty minutes. <laughs> if, oh, if, yeah. Donald, if Donald Trump got approached and someone said, "You are Homelander," he'd be like, "That's amazing. Oh, I that's love wonderful. it. Wonderful, like, wonderful." Yeah, he would. He, he would. He that, would assume that, that was awesome the biggest compliment off of me. If he was smart, he would. He'd, he'd be like, "Yeah, say what you want about that Homelander. Yeah, he, he gets his hands dirty. But who was the guy who saved the day at the end?" And, and the truth is, it was the woman. <laughs> so it's perfect. <laughs> it's a perfect lie for him to tell. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I watch haven't the watched show. the show, but he looks like <laughs> a great guy. Looks like a great there's, guy. There's a lot That's of good people like on either younger. side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it a lot. That show, um, The Expanse, and um, For All Mankind have been my my three like knocking it out of the park shows recently. Um, my next show is Succession. I think that's yeah. Um. Uh. Everybody just raves about that, so I got to start it. I guess I'm sure it's good. Have you uh Have you gotten through any more Nathan for you? I'll be honest, man. That's not my style. Oh. I, I can't. It, he's I too. Know. He's weird. He's just too weird. I, I. It doesn't make me laugh. It makes me chuckle with like, haha. That's that's really? a good one. Like I'm. I'm like these are smart jokes, but they don't tickle me. Like I'm not laughing. I'm just kind of sitting. Oh, there like, how droll, sir. Well exactly. done. I, I, I think it's it, it gets me like out loud laughing almost every episode. Like when when he does the 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 claw, f- fucking hilarious. You know, trying to not become a sexual predator. It's great, Nathan. For you, highly recommend. I'm just I, I'm sad you don't like it that much. I I always feel like that's such a good like ringer show to recommend to people because it makes me laugh so hard. I can't do it. I don't know. I, I just don't like his face either. <laughs> you know, like, his face is funny. Yeah, so his whole American. thing is he it's a uh, yeah, he's an American or no, he's a Canadian guy, but you know, it's like an HBO show and he'll go and help struggling businesses to improve their business, but it's all like joke bad ideas. Like stupid ideas that he like put pours huge amounts of money into. I don't want to go too far into it and spoil it. Oh, is that one, that, uh, the one with like the the $1 TVs? Maybe. The, I I haven't seen that one if so, but like he'll, he did the, yeah. he did, he did, he did dumb Starbucks. Ice cream. Yeah, shit flavored ice cream. Yeah, a uh, couple of funny things. But dumb Starbucks was the big one that was like got the most attention, and mm-hmm. then so everything he did after that is kind of derivative of that in one way or another. Yeah, well, I mean that is the show. Like, yeah, that was the, the the bit before. But I think it's funny. Do you not watch any like you don't? The only show you like rewatch comedy. I feel like is The Office regularly, right? I watch it. Yeah, um, can't beat The I, Office. I, I've I'll seen just the office. Rewatching it again. I haven't watched it in years. Number of times. I, I think I would do fairly well at a trivia uh, contest, but but when you if you look at what actual office trivia is, it's a little bit like Scrabble, where you need to memorize like yeah. a bunch of those silly one letter and two letter words before you start. Because I can't remember Jim's brother's names, but I need to get that one down. It's like like who the fuck does? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know he had brothers. <laughs> yeah, he's got two. Um, but uh, but you know there there's. I think I would do fairly well at like the ABCs of that of that show as, as far as the trivia goes because I've seen it a tremendous amount of times. Yeah, um, that was the that was the before. reason I got Netflix on DVD like the DVD deliveries. Yeah. That's how I watched the the early episodes or the earliest seasons of that show. It was like three discs at a time, which doesn't cover a season, by the way. So goddamn yeah. annoying. You're like, all that right, I'm annoying. three quarters of the way through season three. <laughs> Mail these bitches back. <laughs> okay. My wife and I have The Office on repeat and then Seinfeld. Uh, yeah. So we pretty much just watch all of The Office and then watch all of Seinfeld. And we had a uh, like a Seinfeld trivia night uh, a while back. And uh, my my wife and I just utterly fucking destroyed everyone. We didn't get a single question wrong. Would, would you <laughs> ask Taylor and I a question? Like I, I don't want to make a whole game of it, but 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 like that'd be kind of fun because we both love this. Yeah, show. we love Seinfeld, but I, 
It seems like you love Seinfeld. Uh, but yeah, it was like um, it, any it wasn't questions you super hard, but it was just like uh, like what does uh, what is like Jerry's dad sell? What did Jerry's dad sell? And uh, coats, raincoats, like men's raincoats. Yeah, yep. yeah, and it was like it, it wasn't it wasn't super hard. Well, it wasn't hard for us. What did it was? Here's one for Taylor. What did he call the raincoat that? Well, I, I, I'll make it easier. Oh, so you, don't ha- you don't have to remember the name of the, the 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 special raincoat he invented, although I know it. You have <laughs> to know what was different about Jerry's father's raincoats. Fuck! Didn't it have something on? No, it was it was a very inconvenient no. feature that got wasn't that very belt. helpful. Got rid of that belt. Didn't need that anymore. And I think he called it the executive, but I'm probably wrong about that last part. But it, there was the beltless trench coat. No, I've, yeah. I've watched a tremendous amount of time, and I, I do like paying attention to the minutiae, but like I don't know what Kramer's mom's job was. I, I think someone yeah. called her a prostitute, but I don't remember what Babs, that's her name, what her, what her uh, actual occupation was. Like Little things like that, like I know I've got holes mm-hmm. uh, like that in my game, mm-hmm. but I, I know like the ABCs of every episode, like everything yeah. that happened, and I know about the fucking cookie, bu- uh, the, uh, the candy bar lineup. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Like, oh yeah, like uh, the plot of an episode. I know all of them. The little yeah. intricacies. I've got like some trivia questions, yeah. boys. Let's see. On Seinfeld, what did Elaine buy for Adam Lipman's bar mitzvah? Bar mitzvah. What did Elaine oh. buy for Adam Lipman's bar mitzvah? It was something that made him think that she was into him. I remember that because yeah. he was like. It's the Sheik's Day episode. That that wasn't yeah. the re-gifted yeah. label maker, was it? Uh uh uh. Nah. No, 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 no. This is a young man. Um, fuck. Was it alcohol? It was Boggle. Boggle. <laughs> what yeah, video game is fun. George a master of? Frogger. Frogger. You're oh, right. Frogger, yeah. Frogger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying. See, to I need my wife to plug the gaps for me. <laughs> now Why did Elaine break up with baseball player Keith Hernandez? Uh, he picked his nose. Smoking. He's a smoker. Dude, dude, oh, smoking. smoking. Shit. You're dude, right. Smoking. Uh, what did Kramer name his rooster? Oh, Pep. Is it Pepe? Mm-hmm. Mm, um, oh. Little, little, little Jerry. Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> and Carl was a smashed house. <laughs> but this seems we were just playing against shit cunts that had no idea. <laughs> just playing against ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were just playing against people that had no idea. <laughs> Man. What is the name George would call himself if he became a porn star? Oh, um Buck Naked. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is more fun than I thought. Buck what is naked. the name of the video store the Seinfeld gang rents movies from? Oh, uh, I don't know that one. Shit. You want it? Slush, do you know? Um Oh, that's the one with the uh the gene picks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not it's not like the it's not like the video barn, is it? It's champagne video. By the way, I am oh. cherry picking the hardest ones. Like <laughs> here's <laughs> another. Yeah. In what city does Seinfeld take place? <laughs> Ooh. What? Too <Ooh>, long. <laughs> Chicago. Like, <laughs> uh, okay. I mean that's the level of questions we were getting, and that's how why about we this? destroyed. How about people? what borough does George's uh, parents live in? Queens. Queens. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All now right, I'm gonna have to watch this <laughs> and well. then take notes of the minutia. <laughs> okay, I've got a, another Patreon question while we're doing them. Thank you, sir. If you could build your own palace, castle, giant mansion, etc., what would be the room to have, in your opinion? A, the the most over the top gym, full of like. Like those expensive, heavy, super nice, like Nautilus machines. Juji from back in the day. style machines. Yes, yeah. exactly like what Juji has. Like high quality, cool. I also I love using machines. Him. I like seeing I'll tell the you why. move. Like if you, if I had now we're going baller, 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 mm-hmm. right? If I have a movie theater that is so fucking awesome that me and my twenty four closest friends could all enjoy a film, I don't think I actually like it more, dude. Uh, a bed with a screen is fine for me. I, I don't actually have 24 friends to watch movies with. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> it I'm doesn't get a, me uh, anywhere. I have a pool I'd want table a garage, room. I, the, the I, I want Thrones a garage room. that's like has storage, not like not like a but one I'm, that's like like you're rich. Like so neat. It has every tool. And they're all stored properly. You can knock in like that out drawers. for like ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that yeah. is nice. The garage it's with like storage. Perfect. 
like that, that's the a greatest good... garage. So I have some nice rooms in my house, and I find that like it doesn't really add much. But I feel like if I if the gym was better, it would be better. You know, I don't I need a bigger Gates, living room. I always, as a kid, anyway, heard Bill Gates had a trampoline room where when you you went in, Ooh. it was just trampoline wall to wall. That's so weird. I heard the same like little kid too. rumor as well. Because yeah. in your so, head, when you're like six, that's the peak of luxury. I remember thinking it was dumb because I maybe I'm the only one. Like, like I think some kids are like dumb always. I stopped being like retarded when I was like seven because I remember my dad one time we were on a steep hill and he was like, "See if you can run down there," like kidding around, and I just like he says to do it, and I like <laughs> ran down. A, I like tumbled down the steep ass hill. Like at some point, I learned like not to do that. Oh God damn it! I have a quote on this. I fact checked it. Gates replied, "I have a nice house. It includes a trampoline room, which seems kind of over the top. But my kids love using it to work off their excess energy. I'm not sure how guilty I should feel about being in a great house." <laughs> have you ever seen that uh, video of them asking Bill Gates like the price of like common yes. items, like how much is a gallon oh. of milk and stuff? It's yeah. fucking hilarious. He's like, oh, yeah. ninety dollars." <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what do you so think fucking... a loaf of bread costs? And this is like 2005 <laughs> or whatever. And he's like. 850 and it's like <laughs> like, like god damn dude like you, he doesn't like why would you know what anything costs yeah like you, yeah. he hasn't walked in a regular store in how long like, you, so, got, you got people for all that taylor and i came up with jim slush puffy i love your idea of like a garage with great storage kyle what room would you do up big <sighs> i mean I'd theater's like kind a... of like cliche right like like, like you would Im- ideally you would have your own legitimate imax theater with like a 70 millimeter uh, film projector as well as whatever the up to date 8K whatever mm-hmm. the fuck IMAX shit is I don't even know um, you'd have both with like I don't need seating for a hundred or even twenty I don't care if it's just one fucking throne that I sit on but <laughs> that would be kind of nice but that's that that's pretty the cliche jeweled. I was thinking like it's not even my thing but that also wouldn't be that you know when you go to like water parks and they have that like it's not a wave pool. They have that thing that blasts the water at you, and you can get on like the the board and like oh, have that in, like, yeah, like yes, boarding yes. or whatever. Yeah. Like that would be pretty sick to have at your house. Like like I know that 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 guy out in Texas who does oh, have cool. a quarter billion dollars, and he, I've seen what someone like he has guys around him who are like know what you can buy with money. And they're like, hey man, I'll tell you what, like it's your money, but you can get tanks. He's like, what do you mean you can get tanks? And so now he's got tanks. You know, you can get artillery pieces if you want. And now he's got artillery pieces. You know, you'd have any machine gun, night vision. Exp- so now he's got all that. Like, they, they just get him the licenses. Like, they buy it all. So now, like, you go to his place, and it's like, it's like a dreamland for, like, sportsmen and, like, gun people. Like, like, like no. he's got... Neverland like, for adults. It's, yeah, well, well, I don't... I was thinking of the Michael. What was the Michael Jackson one? What was that? Neverland. Uh, Neverland. Yeah, I don't yeah. want. I don't yeah. want to draw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except you can take your kids there, and they will not that. <laughs> get addicted to hard drugs. You can go there and sleep in the bed. Like, like, and and, and he, he's got a lake there with with like jet skis, and, sp- and he made the lake right, so it's like really nice. And but it's it's got all of these inflatable um, buoys out there to like use as uh, for your jet jet ski races. And he's got uh, all sorts of like ramps out there so that when they're skiing, they can like jump off of ramps. And it's crazy. Like anything you can imagine that's like a toy that forget cost, you know, and he's got it. It's it's it. But but I don't know. I think one of the something like that, I I don't see anybody having that like like that, that thing they have at water parks that lets you like surf forever. I don't even I've never tried that, but I'd want one in my house. It's like I'd love to do it when no one can watch. I've never I've never been like, oh, yeah. Let me go up there with zero real world experience and, oh, and do so like funny. the simulated yeah, version. Tumbled. That'll pan out well. <laughs> and you're in yeah. line, and so everybody in line's watching you make an absolute asshole of yourself falling. And if you fall poorly, it, like like that's sometimes your leg, their legs come out from under them, and, and they get end over end so quickly that you can actually eat shit. Usually, you can get your hands up, but this like t- topples yeah. you over. Sometimes I've seen women in particular go down in such a way that they just like. Eat shit, just face to fucking the, ground. The thing is, like, because uh, it's endless surfing, it's also endless falling as well. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so they like they're hitting shit like continuously for like yeah. a minute. 
my favorite internet videos now are old people falling down escalators or old people being confused by escalators like it's their first ride on Good one God. and so oh, they like they time you know, you know how if you hold on to like the side railing for like and like don't let go it'll like get out of whack and it'll start pulling mm -hmm. They get they hold on and they don't let go and it starts dragging them and then they let go and now they're lying down sometimes upside down going up an escalator and they tumble and they keep tumbling until they get to the bottom but it keeps picking them up and tumbling them again so this this like old person is just fall is just rolling and I, being rolled at the bottom of an escalator this, this literally happened to me <laughs> two weekends ago i i i went to dreamhack in melbourne and I, I, we went to this place called fortress and it was like it, it's this massive like uh gaming bar place in melbourne and it has like fucking heaps of stairs so we're going down into the bar and i am fucked like I, i'm so mm -hmm. drunk i don't even understand english anymore and so i don't remember this at all but uh i'm walking behind pestilly and uh i come to like go down this escalator and i i end up falling down the escalator and i end up like like this motherfucker on screen right here <laughs> getting over turned yet, over like a, a turtle and i'm like fucking <laughs> oh. spinning on the bottom no, like on my one. back i'm just there's getting like up... fucking tumbled over and over again if did it hurt were you embarrassed video, there's at least two maybe i don't remember three old people <laughs> tangled together <laughs> at the no. bottom yeah being yep. like tumbled into one another. You, you ever you ever have one of those rock tumblers when you're a kid? You load it yeah. up. Yeah. No, that's was cool. what it does to those old people. Yeah. yeah. We tried to You get were cool. Food. You didn't have a rock tumbler? <laughs> Hell no. I wasn't I wasn't that lame. I got rock it for Christmas tumbler? when I was six. I and I I went down to the creek and I got all of the already partially polished quartz that I could find in the the creek bed. And then I polished them for weeks and it makes them kind of translucent and beautiful. It was really fun. Yeah, and, then, and then and then and then like a family member stole them from me because <laughs> they stole rocks from you. So they stole those yeah. diamonds. Did, like, like I don't want to like say which one, but but it was like I always had like nice stuff. Like when I was five, I got the fucking Play-Doh factory. Okay, I didn't get a jar of Play-Doh. I didn't get ten <laughs> jars of Play-Doh. I got the Play-Doh factory, motherfucker. This thing is a case <laughs> of yep. shit. You have so many jars of Play-Doh that you'll be you're like ah. It's like when you get the crazy box of crayons with 168 yeah. colors. That's how much Play-Doh I got. And you've got the factory. I can squeeze this shit out in all kinds of crazy. It was expensive. Oh, yeah. It was it was like a 1990 toy. It was probably a $50 toy or something like that. We move. My family does. And so all of our things that we're, aren't like going into the place we're staying temporarily while the new house is built, go into storage. Mm-hmm. They got into my Play-Doh factory, left all the jars open, and Ugh. they all solidified. And then, like, mm. the Play-Doh was the colors were mixed together. So, like, you it's open so brown up, and there's fucking yellow in there and stuff. You open the green up, and it's like it's all mushed up, and they've made a rainbow. Yeah. They're all brown now. It was despicable. <laughs> I never forgot. I, it was like it was like that's my favorite part of the Hobbit is the very beginning. It was like, and he never forgave, and he never forgot. <laughs> and I'm like, there's so many times when some shit will happen to me, and I'll be like, not forgetting that one. <laughs> and I'll be like, <laughs> getting that noted. Yeah. Was noted. that one of You're those still setups? Thinking about where, like, now. Uh, was that one of the setups where it even came with like a little toy truck that you could like pull the lever and like pretend you were shipping a star shaped tube of Play Doh? I remember I'm gonna commercials. Be honest, I don't that. remember exactly, of it, but I remember that a lot of my toys got. I had some nice toys that, that I had um, the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe full set, all the action figures with Castle Grayskull. Um, it was a lot more than this. It was a big fucking case of stuff. Because I remember the box that it came in was like big. It was like That was because you were five, though. You probably I was five. <laughs> <laughs> I was five. <laughs> like you I thought was it was five. a legitimate actual wow. factory. Show me, do this for these, me, these tubes were the thousand. size of my four. Zach, Zach, will you please, <laughs> please show me the He-Man and the Master, the He-Man sword from like 1990, 91. Like, like oh, my this brother was, had one of those. This is and, my uh, favorite I, toy of my childhood right here. I, I, my older brother had one of those and I uh, I remember he, he like was fucking around and just like beating me and my twin brother with it. And so one day he went to school and obviously we weren't in school yet. We threw it over the back fence. <laughs> so we're like, fuck you. <laughs> so, oh, go to hell. So, yeah. And there was a school over the back fence. So like anything you throw over there just gets immediately stolen. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, some, some kid had a yeah. great day. <laughs> Where yeah, he picked yeah. up an awesome yeah. sword. 
We did um, it to his skateboard as well. We're like, fuck you, threw his skateboard over the back fence. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Like e man is this problem. weird uh is this weird kind of product uh, i call it a product because they made the toys before they made the show yeah and and, and so, so, so they made these toys mattel did i think and then the, and then they had this the 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 cartoon made after the and they're like here are the toys you you make the cartoon mm-hmm. now and they did that and then dolph lundgren makes the movie in like 86 roughly he man and the masters of the universe, which like butchers the whole story and makes it fucking weird. It's an awful movie, but it's one that I, it existed at my home for whatever reason. And little me watched that movie over and over Dolph Lundgren, Skeletor, the whole bit. Mm-hmm. And I wanted that sword. I don't even know if it was still big back then, but it must've been big enough that the swords existed at the store. Cause I had one. I yeah. loved it. What were your guys go to? Like if you were dressing up playing pretend that, as a kid, oh, always I, that. Oh, I didn't do that. You didn't dress, or I guess you didn't have uh, a brother or anyone to be like messing around, like playing. I games would take, like here's what I would do that's similar to what you're talking about. I would take all of my video game systems and like electronics of any kind that were mine. I would sit on the bed and I would like surround myself with them like a control panel. And I'd pretend like it was like uh-huh. a spaceship or something. And that those were all buttons and knobs and levers. So like there was like a Sega system and like uh, my dad would like, give me like these um the big batteries like like the ones that are like mm. the size of a juice can i can't i don't know what those are and like wiring and like little electric motors and light bulbs and stuff and i would like play with that shit so i'd be i'd like fucking hook up the little light bulb get it turned on fucking plug in the sega genesis cartridge <laughs> like put put the pistol the the nintendo blaster in my waistband and I, you know i'd start turning all the knobs get my game genie plugged into and you know i'd go to space or wherever i was imagining i was going <laughs> that sounds like fun we, just we imagining read, yourself a whole childhood we always yep. ended up just like building ridiculous shit like we'd uh we'd be like let's build like a billy cart and then it'd be like all right let's see how far we can push this billy cart to its limits taking it down like steeper and more treacherous mm. bullshit until one of us gets hurt and then there was a lot like, of outside time yeah, yeah. we break the billy cart and then we'd just like next day it'd be like mm. okay let's build another one <laughs> yeah we we would have like big ideas for like what we were gonna do like we always went in the woods after school when we were kids and like played and like it always devolved into like building forts and like trying to build like a cool one a good fort none of them were good yeah. they were all garbage but it was so much fun did you, like we that would, was all uh, we did just played in the woods we, all day. i would do little projects um we would we would put rope swings in there was a couple of big trees on the property one of them was over a creek so we, we would put rope swings in and uh like we would dam the creek up we had a couple of creeks yeah we did uh, our- yeah we did that that was awesome and and i was like super into it um getting these big rocks and like putting sticks in vertically and then sticks horizontally and then stacking the mud in and i was legitimately damming the creek up pretty good it was fun yeah um and that and man that brings back so many memories go in there there's a lot of clay here um it mm-hmm. kind of smells bad even it's this it looks blue um and uh and we would like make stuff out of clay and then like forge it and not forge um whatever it's called kiln it i don't know yeah. to try to like make clay pottery most of the summers were spent doing stupid shit like that in the creek but we always had golf carts and four wheelers and that was what kids like rode around the farm um, yeah. we would uh, we would beat the shit out of those golf carts and the four wheelers for that matter but the golf Man, carts we always have motorbikes well. uh we were talking about this the other day because my granddad like built boats and he'd always like in his spare time would build like little dinghies and stuff and uh just have them at our shack and so we'd have like a a dinghy and then like a little outboard motor on it and then our motorbikes and we'd we'd end up Mm -hmm. just like ride to the boat take the boat out or put the motorbikes on the boat and then just try and find a weird place to go to and so you'd like go out and find like a tiny little fucking weird island and then ride the motorbikes around on it and it's like has anyone actually ever been here before? Like, there's no houses or anything on it. No one owns it. You just try and like find random shit. And just, Sounds like fun. We yeah, mostly stayed fun. like on the farm there because a lot of the stuff yeah. we were doing would have got, you know, we'd blow stuff up sometimes. Like, like we'd make yeah. little, I, I wouldn't call them bombs, but we were making firecrackers. Like, like when I think of a bomb, I think of like a fucking alarm yeah. clock stuck to some sticks of dynamite or something. But we were making yeah. big firecrackers and, uh, and, and we just, set those off back there or um you know lots of shooting obviously you know all the time and it wouldn't we would just walk around and shoot things like like i see people 
most people learn at a target range and they never do any like what's fun is when you just walk around and wander with a gun and anytime you see something that needs to be shot you just shoot it <laughs> like yeah. it's not like look at that rock there it needs a good shooting and you're like i bet i could hit it i bet i could hit that rock and then make it ricochet into that other one watch this and like, like they just walk <laughs> that was we always had the, did, the most. did you always have the ruger 1022s we always had never, those never had yeah. one oh, um oh, fucking I, amazing I had uh, a Remington Speedmaster. It's a semi-automatic um, 22. I had a, uh, a lever action, um, maybe a Marlin or something. It was it was heavy, and when you yeah. you know it had it had the hammer in the back and a scope mm-hmm. on it. Um, and then um, I got a cheap little pump action 22 one year, and I would use those three for like different styles of shooting. So I could, with the Ruger with the Speedmaster, I would throw things in the air and shoot it with the because I took all the sights off, so it was just a round barrel. So we would just shoot gravel out of the air with that at close range with a 22. But then lots of like speed shooting with the pump action. That's really fun to do like little targets. And then I hunted a lot with the um, the uh, the Marlin, like the the lever action. I shot a buzzard mm-hmm. out of the air flying one time with that thing. I mean, in, mine- <laughs> in Minecraft, because I think those are probably protected <laughs> in the real world. So you got to go to Minecraft. <laughs> That's where buzzards aren't protected by anything. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely didn't like one tap that bitch and have it <laughs> fold up and like hit the ground like a yeah. missile. I, I think you just in it inadvertently just opened a cold case file. <laughs> 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 Fuck that buzzard. Um yeah, yeah, it would uh I, I saw a guy we were we were we were hunting doves and a guy shot a hawk by accident. And like <laughs> that's a big deal. It's it how it, they don't look the same. He didn't not only did that look the same, but like it's a crime. And and yeah. and everybody's like, get it, fucking hide it, dude, before the game warden comes and sees what you've done. And he's like, I didn't do it. And it's like, we all saw you do it, like, there's, <laughs> dude. There's six witnesses out here that watched you blow that hawk away. Fuck it. <laughs> and like one guy steps up and is like, y'all bunch of pussies gonna argue about it. Give me this motherfucker. And he like grabs this. De- it's very dead already, and yeah. and, and hides it, like, throws it in the woods or buries it. You know, it, it's, it gets it out of the area. The game warden shows up. 10 minutes later at the most and starts mm-hmm. going person to person seeing if people are drinking if they had their licenses shit like that but um he was a pretty good game warden i, I remember that's the only i grew up with this really scary game warden who would stalk us like every day he would check our license he knew where Jeez. we were and it, this Just this is when i was a took kid it too seriously no yeah way. i remember his, uh, i remember his name like he was, he was he was crazed the guy that like showed up on the day of the hawk shoot my buddy was drunk and he's like dude you're you're holding a beer. <laughs> like, like go, go up there and sit down. He's like, you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> when you when you're right, you're right. <laughs> and he went, he, he went and sat fucking down. He was he was pretty cool about it. He could have locked him up probably or find the shit out of him or something like that. But this other game warden as a kid, like I would my dad and I would hunt separately. Um I don't know, I was maybe 13 or something like that, and he'd be down the road a 1,000 yards, 2,000 yards away somewhere. But we're completely out of contact. What's the point mm-hmm. of a radio? It's going to... And everything's going to hear it. Like it does. It just, this is before text messaging. And uh, every time I would cap a deer, this fucking guy would be like somewhere within earshot on like the, 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 the greater property there that we were on, and he would drive to me and be like, you get one? I'm like, yeah... Well, let's walk down to it and make sure you did it right, and then we'll check your license and this and that Jesus. and the other. Like, every, he stalked us for weeks. It was so weird. There, he, did there he was have a, nobody else in his territory? Just you guys? There was a dead, um, like 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 uh, we were, we always used the farm truck when we went hunting, and so there was like the crusted up remains of a dead baby chick back there, which is not an uncommon thing to happen on the farm. Mm-hmm. They die by the thousands, but it had like turned to like just a little skeleton with some feathers stuck to it. <laughs> And and the and and he I remember that game warden looking in the back of our truck and being like, "What's this pheasant?" <laughs> and it's <laughs> like, this pheasant? <laughs> "Are you out of your goddamn mind? It's a dead fucking chicken, <laughs> you asshole! We're gonna we fucking run some DNA." Like like, you, God, you're such a piece of shit, dude. Why are you stalking us? Who do you think we are? <laughs> we're deer hunters. We are deer hunters. <laughs> <laughs> like, deer. At worst, we're trying to kill one and hide that we killed it and not mark it. Right? You just, at the time, no, you but you've got two bucks a year. It was like hawk Jesus. flower in your in your truck bed. Apparently, that, that yeah. guy was such a piece of shit. That I was homeschooled that year, so like I hunted every morning and, and every evening. So I'd see this guy 
I'd see this law enforcement guy like on a weekly basis at least. It was crazy. He stalked us so much. Never did kill the deer there. It was like a giant that's deer. Neat. That that's how deer hunting goes sometimes when like a bunch of people hunt in the similar area, they'll be mm-hmm. the tail of the big one. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Jimmy seen it down there. He was on a combine. He looked down there and big and t- maybe 10, 12 points, 18, 20 inches wide. I'm telling you, I say, seen it, Jimmy seen it. And then it's like, fuck, I've been down here every day for a month and a half and I haven't seen the big one. And then like, <laughs> like we're, everybody's calling bullshit. And then sure enough, this cocksucker who was riding a combine, the deers get used to farm equipment. They don't even think of it. It's like background noise. Mm-hmm. And, He's on his combine farming, but he keeps his rifle in there with him. He sees the deer, hops out, turns it off, and he's the one who kills the big one. And it really was. It was it was kind of a once in a lifetime kind of deer. The deer don't bigger get bigger than any deer kill. you've gotten. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. The the biggest deer I've ever killed was like uh eleven or twelve points, and I think only like seventeen inches um wide. That's the how wide the mm-hmm. interior measurement between the um, you know, the antlers are. It's kind of a rough way of telling somebody how big something is. They have a whole scoring system that's pretty silly where they measure, I think it's how many total inches of antler there is, and then there's some sort of a, uh, maybe they factor in how symmetrical they are too. Uh, that There are these things, these buckarama contests, where all these people put <laughs> money in, and the idea is we're going to see who kills the biggest deer this year. And we're not talking about 10 buddies. We're talking about 10,000 guys who, who go to Bass Pro Shop this year. And... Uh, they make you do a lie detector test once you turn in your fucking like like did you kill this deer in a lawful and judicious manner during the the act of hunting and the you know I do so swear you have to <laughs> because you went in like a boat or a truck or something like that and in Minecraft this guy raised a deer for years until it was enormous <laughs> and it was this specimen and then he got his license. He put his camouflage on. He put his uh, vest on. He got his legal weapon. He climbed a tree right next to the deer pen, and he shot that son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 so they were like, "Did you kill this deer during the lawful action of hunting?" And goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> to your <laughs> knowledge, that is out. correct. Yeah. yeah the, only, <laughs> the only law he brought broke was like, "You're not allowed to own a deer." You can't own a deer. It's you know wildlife or whatever. But yeah, they, they had those crazy it was a big, wildlife uh, sanctuary. They had those big contests, and like the guy who shoots the biggest deer that year is going to like it's pickup trucks and bass boats. You know, it's it's a lot of money involved. Damn, there's Go a lot buck-a-rama. of huge bucks these people have killed. Yeah, good. That what a great idea from that guy though. It's a damn shame he didn't get away with it. I think. Um, I know my dad is a uh, before I was born. I'm told had a pet skunk that had been descented or whatever they, they they call it. Like they just remove those glands, and mm-hmm. uh, I think they kept it in a pen, you know, out back. It was not an inside skunk, I guess. <laughs> but I was like, what the fuck? I, like I come along and we get rid of the cool pets. Like like, like I would have loved to have grown up with some kooky pets, but but I guess not. One of my, one of my friends' moms has a uh, a possum and a cat, and they just like roam around together eating all the mice and stuff. Fucking possum? Yeah. Well, the possums are sort of different down here, though. They're like, oh, that's uh, right. they look more like raccoons. But yeah, that that thing just yeah, hangs out. Like it'll, it'll sometimes come inside. Like you're sitting there by the fire at night, and it's and you've got the door open, and the cat comes in. Sometimes the possum will follow it in, try and get a little bit of food off you and stuff. I, oh, these I are. I just looked it up. Food. These are way cuter than our possums. Our possums. Oh, they're hella cute. Oh, Zach, yeah. show me an Australian yeah. possum. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a, a brush tail possum. T- brush tail possum. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, they're, just they're five point cool. three pounds, just a little fella. Yeah. Oh, I've got oh. massive claws though. Like if they fight cats, yeah, they just for hanging fuck on, cats up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> cats are no joke. Yeah, oh, they'll beat a cat easy. Yeah, they got they're fucking vicious. When they're nice though, they're they're pretty funny. Oh, that's a much cooler animal, dude. Your possum is so cute. Our possum yeah. looks like a grizzled police vet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's been on yeah, the, the claws on him for too I, long. I shot a possum one time. I felt so bad afterwards. I didn't know what I was shooting at. It was just eyes in the dark. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It went dead immediately. Or so you thought. It was just laying there. <laughs> <sweet down. laughs> <Upon me. laughs> Our ones are real savage. Like if you hit them, if you don't hit them in the head with a 22, they'll just walk away. They're, they're like they're really strong. Weird. Jesus. It's got... I mean, I wouldn't any... have it as a pet. 
I would. I bet you would like that, Taylor. If you ever did any varmint hunting, like when you go and shoot coyotes or foxes, because that's like so huh. the major complaints from hunting can be solved. Like, like hunting is is mostly uh, ambushing, and so you got to mm-hmm. wait and wait and wait hours and hours, hundreds of hours. I've done this, thousands probably, just sitting in trees and sitting on stools, doing absolutely nothing, and trying not to fall asleep. It's very boring. Mm-hmm. But you can do hunting in ways that are fun. Like, like with uh, varmint hunting, you use a collar. It plays a tape of like a ki- uh, a, a fox b- getting its shit pushed in, basically, and the fox is mm-hmm. like, "Oh shit, that sounds great!" And he runs up and put a one guy puts a flashlight on him, and the other guy shoots between the eyes, and now you've got a fox, and you get a, you get a bunch of those pelts made into cool uh, furniture. I saw. A, I don't see that to, would be fun because you want an active kind of hunting, like the kind where you that's have how to we hunt in Australia. Like, yeah, if you just have to, like, like we, I've we deer hunted before, lot. but every time I do a kind of hunting where I'm sitting still all day, I get like even just just bird Anything hunting. Anything that you can spotlight, around, doing that's shit. the kind of hunting you want to do. We we were in Texas yeah. once, and I was like, wait a minute, is there anything here we can't spotlight? And they're like, absolutely, well, just the deer. Like, so yeah. everything else. It's like, yeah. So we get on top of the cage that's on the pickup truck and we're just lights on going through the texas wilderness like something there is it a deer <laughs> nope that's how we hunt military uh, hardware so it's just like, da, 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 yeah. that's how we hunt in australia hunt? so we we just stand on the back of the truck and just drive yeah. around spotlight everything not the deer obviously but all the like kangaroos yeah, the and deer. rabbits and stuff but yeah it's great the, the kangaroos like if you're far enough out like if you're in uh like wilderness like my, my friend has like a lot of property that's like in the middle of fucking nowhere i don't even know what's happening like you can drive up and like fully it's like a fucking gangland style execution like you could drive up in the driver's seat put a gun out the window almost touching their head and just kill them all right well that's a little Jesus fucking Christ. So, they are so they fucking run dumb. From us. <laughs> no they don't they don't run they they kangaroos that they don't even kangaroos. hop away they're just suicidal yeah. just there they, a, a lot hunter. of they will they will hop away if you get close enough but sometimes Dude. they sometimes if you get the light on them they'll just fucking have freeze. you ever met a domesticated recu- uh, um kangaroo I've oh hell yeah. pleasure yeah it's oh. see like at, how can you meet one and then shoot them though because when i met delicious. one i was immediately like oh shit i could never kill one of you guys y'all have personality and little I had these. I had like well, a bag well, of mini cows carrots. Have, cows. cows have. I, I'm cows getting these mini carrots out. Yeah, but hear me out. I'm getting these mini carrots out. I got a whole bag of them, and this kangaroo fucking boom, 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 hops up to me, kind of looks at me, like sticks his head up, sniffing at me. I'm like, yeah, buddy, I got a whole whole bag of these. And he's like, he reaches out, palm up, and I went, "You serious?" And he's like, uh-huh. like a monkey. And I handed him the yeah. fucking thing, and he like snatched it away at first, and he didn't know about. It. He'd like bounced back a little, and he didn't know who I was. Yeah, I don't know about you. And like after a while, he's like right next to me, like taking them from me real gently, and just eating them and just chilling while I scratch his head. It, it was like a. Yeah. It wasn't a wild kangaroo by any means. This is like the local like pet. It, it, you can kangaroo. It lives in the pretty world. much do that with some wild, wild ones as well. Like if you have food, How you can just shoot them like, then. I, I I just the way we went camp Aww. we went hunting about probably like three four weekends ago and I walked up to one and I I I could have if I had if I held out my gun I could have probably poked it in the head with the gun I didn't actually I didn't shoot that one because I felt so bad for it I was like yeah this one's dumb as fuck yeah so. they're friends not food <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But this, I, 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 I was like, nah. It's this one is this one's like right near the shack, like right near the lake house. It's like this one. The kids will probably look at and be like, oh, look at kangaroo. I'm like, I feel bad killing this one. So There's been lots bad. of stories um, that I would hear, and it was it was almost always like an older lady who would take in a um, a fawn, a baby deer that that was motherless, and uh, and raise it as a pet. And then when they would release them, they always do the same thing. They'll put like a big orange like scarf type thing on the deer. And uh, yeah. to like you know try to save his life, try to keep somebody from be- shooting him out there if he's running around. I wouldn't shoot one that had a scar for sure. I'd be like, "Fuck, just uh, <laughs> got accessories." You feel, I don't know if a scarf would stay on it though. Like where you eat it? Like it wasn't was like it, color? it was like a deer scarf. She had a thing on it. She had, it was it was it was secured. Yeah, that's but, weird. You know, like uh, if I saw that, I'd be like, "That's someone's pet." Yeah. Yeah, that's strange. You want a question? You got one? What's up, fellas? I just got out of college and landed a pretty nice job. My only problem is I need to gain more in-real-life friends to hang out with. 
How would a 22 year old male go about making friends that are his age in a new area? I have my idea. Um, Taylor, we had a uh, Patreon question. Dude's 22 year old male out of college moved to a new area. How does he make friends? What does he enjoy doing? If you, you go and do what you enjoy doing and make friends doing that. Like, yeah, if you enjoy going those, out and getting uh, drunk, go out and get drunk. We call those magic the gathering parties you guys have. Friday night yeah. magic. You can there go, you go to go. Friday night magic if you're if you're cool enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, <laughs> but like, re- really, like, what are the odds like, that he's that cool? <laughs> low. It's a it's a high bar. I mean, I wouldn't take any of you free with me. <laughs> I have a reputation. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you would have like as an adult. Like you're just not going to be put in situations anymore where it's like, oh, you and this group are going to be together, you know, by the state's volition in a class. It's like you have to go to a club, to an outing. You have to do something centered around an interest, whether that's as silly as Magic the Gathering or you're into paintball or, you know, whatever what you're ha- interested in. Yeah, whatever you're interested in. Like, that's Here's my idea. It's it different so than cliche, yours. That's what Tell you me to- if it's worth a damn. Bumble BFF. Right. Have you guys heard of this? Right. Bumble uh-huh. is a dating app and they've taken that uh, technology and made it a find a friend app. And it sounds gay. Anyone but... that anyone that you find. No, on they have that setting the on. Annoying they had the that world. setting on like it may have been Bumble. I saw it on, but maybe Hinge, too. And it's okay. like, what are you looking for? And it's usually like, fr- at, you know, there's a friends tab. And I always thought, like, who the f- fuck <laughs> i just thought that was so like 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 if i was looking for a friend that is not where i would look i just feel like that who is that guy who i don't know here, like, here's where i heard sure about do it. Need I, a friend right now brother uh, i want to put this out there anybody on the internet want to be my friend <laughs> it's like the kid from south park right with zero friends on facebook it's that guy yeah. who's oh, that, that, that episode makes me so yeah. sad yeah you want to go no pal around way that i would hang out with anyone no. on that yeah, I, I, I tell you, I was before I was watching a podcast. Dish. Just, dish. <laughs> I need. I was watching a podcast, and uh, the dude was a bro. He was a wrestler, right? So he was in an environment where he was like forced to be friends. And and if, if you've ever been in an environment like this where you just suffer and it sucks, it's bonding, right? You mm-hmm. know. So so he's like, man, I've been a wrestler all my life. Now I'm out of school, and there just isn't an opportunity for me to make bro friends like I used to. Yeah, like how do adults have that kind of Oh, this is a completely no. Guy. He was a collegiate wrestler, and um, um, anyway, so he went to Bumble BFF and made new friends and shit like that. That's where I heard about it. And I was like, oh, that would work. I bet, right? The same technology that you find girls could let you find yeah, guy it, friends. It, it could. Yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about it. I just think like initially, like just find like whatever hobby you enjoy the most. Go to some meetup about that. And like, hopefully you'll find someone you vibe with that that enjoys the same thing strongly. And like immediately, like you go to those meetups to make friends because like you then have that point of connection. There's that locus point of, of I Mm. like this, you like this. It doesn't like all the other similarities are a bit ancillary. Like you're, you're not like doing a fake friendship until you get close. You do have this one thing to, to, yeah. The first question would be, what do you want these friends for? Do you just want, and you might say like, I just want some, some people like a network with, you know, that'd be, that's pretty nice to have. Like they don't have anybody even help me move. But like, if if your reason was like, ah, I really wish I had somebody to go ride jet skis with. That's I really like doing that. Fucking go get a jet ski and go to the lake. I bet there's some mm. dudes over there riding jet skis. <laughs> like, like, yeah. like, like, go hang out with them. Like, like, get two. Most <laughs> 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 popular guy in the world. That's where my dad was brilliant as a kid. When Christmas would come around, I I remember I I was wanting that paintball gun so bad when I was twelve or whatever. And uh, he was mm-hmm. like, he finally was like, all right, get the paintball gun and the CO2 and the paintballs and the hopper. And we're like, look, getting all the shit. And he's like, wait a minute. Why the fuck would we only get one paintball gun? Get two of everything. And it was like, yeah, dad, yep. you're so smart. Because otherwise I'd have been shooting rocks outside and never wanted to play <laughs> paintball. <laughs> yeah. Now we can play paintball. Yeah. Yeah, he- I, got, I got a friend like that. He's like loaded and he uh, he'd be, he's like, I want to get paintball guns. And so instead of buying one, he brought 10. And he's like, all right, guys, come and play paintball. And we're like, well, I guess we've got to now. You've spent thousands of dollars on all these paintballs. That's a good friend I, to have. That I mean, yeah, that's how I made good. sure that like, that, like like paintball was what I kind of did with like friends around that like early teen age. Like that was what kind of made sure that we were all going somewhere on the same weekend. And what we did, because all of us had like all of our dads had a little bit of property at least. We all built our own paintball fields 
and it was kind of a competition, yeah. right? Like, like ah, that's your dad's idea. gonna help, of course, and we're all gonna build our own little paintball fields. I had the best paintball field because I had, <laughs> I, I put it right there where FPS Russia shot his videos. It's a nice little flat piece of land, and it was just like I had square hay bales and I had all sorts of like plywood structures. It was great, and we'd go to each other's houses and play paintball, and that that's how I had like a little friend group like during those years when I was homeschooled and in and out of school and stuff. But as a like 22 the, year old guy, it's a weird question, right? Like, I don't know. I like, I don't value mm -hmm. like dude friends in real life that like I go out and hang out with too much. It's never been a thing that I really value very much. Like, I like you guys and I've got like tons of like close friends online. But like, as far as like a dude here that I'm like pal around with, like, I don't really do that. I, I'm like, still I'm close like with like a bunch friends, of my uh, guy friends from high buddies. school that are still in St. Louis. Like, I, I see those. Well, now that everybody's getting older, like, we don't. And, People are having kids. We don't see them anymore. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> passing away. <laughs> like flies. My no, best I, yeah. friend from high school died this week. Oh, what are I'm you sorry to hear that. Oh shit. Yeah, it, it's been it's, a rough week for you. I'm going through some shit right now. <laughs> what he, you, um, what he's on the that. ketamine? He's he's lost a dear friend, <laughs> and then he's got the cancer. Goodness, but buddy, yeah, it, uh, broken you legs, loved and, and, and we I've, and we just think about you all the time. Thank you. I mentioned it, this guy uh, a couple times before. He's the one that had cystic fibrosis. Oh, God damn. And um, so he, like, as teenagers, the life expectancy for him was like 30. And he's like 50, almost 50. So, um, you know, he, he's just really on top of his medicine. You, some of you guys are going to remember some of these stories. Like, he played tennis a lot. And with cystic fibrosis, his lungs didn't work like other people's did. So he just put fucking oxygen tanks in a backpack and he'd play tennis with his oxygen tanks, and, you know, hauling them around. Awesome. Yeah. He's uh, like, he's like, you know, in lieu of donation or in lieu of gifts or whatever, donate to the United States Tennis Federation or something. It was like a big part of his thing. Wow. And uh, uh, he had cancer, which sucks. And then he got COVID on top of that. Um, he had gotten a double lung transplant call it 10 years ago so i'm suspecting that the immunosuppression drugs that go along with um uh, mm -hmm. a lung transplant just made it hard to stay healthy and avoid covid and all that fun stuff <clears throat> and uh yeah he um i'm sorry he died this week so that that sucks well rest in peace said it sounds like he got a huge amount out of his life for having he did cystic fibrosis and something that debilitating. Yeah, he had a long marriage, he leaves behind twin boys. So uh, I I follow him. They both got into college recently, so things it's good family. Yeah. Well. Hopefully. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, that's really sad, man. Wah, wah. <laughs> anybody, it out. anybody got any happy news? Really good uh, give, give me a voice or something. <laughs> dude, I was watching the, the Queen's funeral procession, and oh, yeah. some dude, some uh, fucking legend, screams at Prince Andrew, You're disgusting! <laughs> Andrew! You're disgusting! Because you know, he's file. <laughs> And, the disgusting uh, old man, Andrew. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the people aren't having it because the queen's dead. Like, maybe this isn't the time or the place. And so he's, he's getting a few shoves from the crowd. He gets he gets pushed out of the line. They didn't beat him up or anything. But, uh, nah, it's um, not a Trump rally. Yeah, not a Trump rally. I mean, rally. he was, he British, was insulting the, you know, <laughs> pedophile. Prince Andrew, the pedo, yeah, the pedophile. Not, the, not the queen. No, but he, Prince Andrew was walking like right there. Like, he yelled it at him. Good. And I mean, I mean, up I, I, Charles and I don't understand how this stuff works, but Charles announced like, yeah, yeah, when I'm out of town or can't be king, he is. Yeah, like, yeah, he's like backup king or something. Yeah, that shouldn't he be kind of ousted? He should have been know? ousted for sure, but but you know, the queen was so old. She's like, oh, there's been so many pedos in the family. We're gonna stop at this one. <laughs> yeah. What's one more? <laughs> I think they're still like den he's still like denying it. Like they've never, uh, like never got him to admit it. Yeah, there's no like hard hard evidence. Like there's no like DNA evidence. I mean, it's obvious, <laughs> but I mean, all the DNA is on that yeah. island. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That guy is definitely a fucking creep. Oh, I wanted oh, to say I forgot about this. Um, uh, my all my friends were asking, like, hey, what did? What did Larry Lawton say that y'all had to remove from the show? What did, what did he say? 
And uh, I was like, oh, Larry, the world famous jewel thief and famous felon who did 11 years in federal prison chose to threaten a public figure <laughs> randomly <laughs> for some reason with <laughs> physical violence. Now, I know he's doing it in a joking way, but all of us thought that wasn't too chill. <laughs> and so as soon thought, as the show ended, I was like, you got to get rid of this. <laughs> you cannot have that and so for, for, for Larry's Christ. sake and for, you know, our sake, I suppose, well, yeah. I don't be attached to, to any nonsense. Like Jesus, keep no. it, bro. Um, uh, I just, you know, it was, it was borderline anyway. It was, it, he didn't go crazy or anything. I've heard some people say crazy, crazy stuff from the left that's scary that you would think would be a crime it wasn't near that but it was like ah, i'd like to blah 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 yada 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 to old judy judy ja, ja, ja. and it was like whoa we can't say that that's not yeah that he was all. he was kind of fantasizing about murdering a public figure that you've heard of <laughs> okay <laughs> Thank you guys. but we just can't yeah. get down like that too woke <laughs> 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 we're, too, we're too woke. Too dude, people, dude, yeah, get that all the time. Yeah, we're down with those I assassinations. Got, <laughs> dude, I got everybody in my Ugh. DMs telling me I'm woke now. That I'm blue pilled because I never got on the Andrew Tate train. Oh, Larry, um, <laughs> like, like oh, if shit. Larry was my idea, so if you liked him, you're welcome. And if you hated him, like like most of my friends did, I'm sorry. Um, oh, uh, your it friends was, didn't it, like him? I thought it was no. A, great a bunch show. of people told me they didn't like him. Um, oh, but uh, a, lot, a lot of people liked the episode. I thought it, it, we got like good, good stories I, out of him and stuff. Good, because I, I I don't know. My my, my friends d didn't like Larry. I'll Larry. take a peek and see if it was highly rated or poorly rated compared yeah. to our other shows. He's just yeah. uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's a guy that you got to keep on the rails because he I, likes to he likes to tell ancillary like uh, rabbit trail stories while he's going. God, I was getting so frustrated. I, I felt like you guys were judging me. Like Kyle brought this guy on who can't even keep his fucking wits about him long enough to tell us what a jewel thief does. <laughs> I, I wanted, because I, I, I was like, Larry, tell him what it's like. God damn it, I said you were good. I've been telling him. Dude, it's so <laughs> funny thing. from that perspective. It's like that, that Looney Tune thing when you, when the, you want the frog to dance. But but every time you show him the frog, it lays there dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they turn their back. He's like, "Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. I'm like, Do the dance, goddammit. it, dude! I love that having him on. One, I thought the show was great. I, yeah, I, I, I looked at time. the ratings; it was pretty typical for our, for our last like five or ten. And we'd be right in the middle. Um, I brought on the second worst guest PKA has ever had. That Who's surfer that? dude from New Jersey. Do you remember him? I may have blanked him out. I'm I'm sorry, dude. He was just. Like almost an obstinately bad guest. There was a dude in the background who was more entertaining than oh, he was. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. And ben who, Gravy. Who's the worst ben Gravy. Who, who was the worst? The worst guest? I wasn't there for that episode, but I'm told Boss Nasty was the worst guest PK. I don't know who had. that is. He was a professional I no gamer. Idea. I think you were on that episode, but I wasn't there for some reason. It was one I of the few I missed. The week before last. Yeah. Touche. I wanna watch, so, I wanna watch it. I wanna I wanna know how low the bar goes. Dude, Ben Gravy, he, like we'd ask him questions and he like didn't want to be associated with oh, it. Oh, he, he didn't want to like get down and who was in a cab? Who was in a cab on a fucking cell phone? Who was that? Oh, that was a 60 days in guy, right? The Nate that, fuck that guy. No, that wasn't <laughs> Nate. That's, that guy. That's my that, so, the, the better question is the ones who made us the maddest. And like, 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 I'll get, I get, mm. I, he won't say anything, but, but I, sometimes they've been so shitty before this. If you ever see me kind of being hot with somebody like right out of the gate, it's because <laughs> we've been talking to this guy for 30, 45 minutes and he's already like gotten under my collar and I've already decided you're, a piece of shit. you're not a good idea for a guest. And if I were the fucking king of the world, I would have said, Hey, wait a goddamn minute. Hey, you get the fuck out of here and hung up on you. And we'd have just went without you. <laughs> Is like, that how you felt that about way. the bagel dude? Oh no, I liked having him, him there to fuck with. I liked with. him too. Like yeah. I yeah. wanted to fuck with him because he needed it because he was just a piece of shit midget bully. Like, R.I.P. Uh the guy was Nate's did he, friend. Did the stroke finally take in. his little heart? Oh yeah, he's six inches under. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he is uh, dead though. Oh Good. You, Zach says cat gun was bad. I thought that was a fun episode. I thought yeah, that we I, got like some fun jokes about the if I recall, like making fun of her for her stupid purchase with the RC thing, 
Yeah. Yes. Let's, yeah. Because let's, she, let's, she framed it initially as though it was like a track for like uh, it's not a bad guess. It's a bad like real four wheelers and stuff, if I remember it. And then when we find out it was RC, it's like, wait, what? You just ruined your yard? Like for nothing? <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought that was stupid. I don't know. It, but but look, yeah. look, it, it, there's frivolous spending and there's frivolous spending, right? If you spent fifteen thousand mm-hmm. dollars on this thing, who fucking cares? Yeah, if right? that's what she like, likes. Like, let her like, have at it. But but if what? you spent like one point five million dollars on it, I'm going to be asking like, oh, so, so when did the when does the when do the crowds arrive? Because this is a <laughs> business here now, right? Dude. So the question I framed it a little more artfully than this, but it was something to the effect of. Hey, you're like a 32 year old titty streamer. What are you doing for the future? <laughs> right? Because <laughs> this was before I, titty streamers were millionaires. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, what she was like a baseball like, player in relaxing. the 60s. Like, <laughs> like, well, I have a skid steer and I put a RC a remote controlled track in my backyard. And it was like, this is the worst investment ever. Yeah. <laughs> that, I, that like, was... like I, I, there was the one part where Larry was talking about. Again, trying to get him to do the jewel thief story. Like, like mm. tell me about the break it down. And he got caught on this like side trail. It was like in Fallout when you're trying to get the main quest done, and some guy comes up, wants you to get some green paint. And you're like, I guess it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> but he was he was like, he was like, I was talking, I was talking to these kids, and I told them, you know, kids today they're smarter than we are <laughs> in a different kind of way. My granddaughter, I tell you, she can take a cell phone right out of the box and just program it right <laughs> like and, I, and i'm like she can program us like j- keep in mind she's not jailbreaking her fucking galaxy and like right. like, like, like putting, nah, she, making it run literally like, like apple crime. software or some or hardware or something like that <laughs> she's literally putting his contacts in a goddamn cell phone <laughs> and connecting to the wi-fi that's what he's bragging about his tech techno uh. daughter and what i want to say is like i don't care Back to the rubies. Because <laughs> emeralds, I hear emeralds are the more valuable than diamonds. Why didn't you get the emeralds? What is it? God damn it. It was an Apple cell phone. It was, and they say they're intuitive, but I'm going to tell you six hours with that thing. <laughs> no idea what I did to it. My daughter, though, he? fixed it right away. Pro- we programmed it. Something. She hacked it. Sixties, like, oh god! I was just like, God damn it! Tell me what it's like to rob a jewelry store. Do you smack him in the face? You ever fucking kneecap one? Do you punch him with your left or you hit him with the gun? But like, like, tell me that. Tell me about Prickly Pete and like, 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 like the mm-hmm. fence that that like did you wrong yeah. and prison you, stories. Tell me a goddamn story. Have, you ever heard that uh, that saying? <laughs> like, if you're not writing about the most, uh, is this the most exciting part of your character's life? Like when you're writing a book, and it's uh, and and if you say no, then why aren't you writing about that? Yeah, and this dude's just like, I'm gonna tell you about how I brought. Let me tell you about Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I <No. had> reads. <laughs> I'm kind of a news junkie, so it was interesting to me that he testified in front of Congress, and I tried to get him to tell me how he testified in front of Congress and what that experience was like. And then he tells me how his friend's kid needed to be scared straight and we never got to Congress. Let me tell like, you, like, like, and he's so bad at that. That's such a cool, I'd have been like, oh, let me tell you, Woody. I'm not the kind of guy that likes showing up those big marble buildings, first of all. So when they called me, I was, I was a little hesitant. I go in there and there he, I, this place is huge. <laughs> and there's Mitch McConnell and there's this guy and that guy. And I'm down here looking at him and these guys want to hear from me. And I think, Larry, you've climbed out of the gutter somehow and you've made it. And like, like, that's what I want. Tell me a fucking story. Yeah. Tell me <laughs> what they asked you and how and what that. <laughs> Tell me what, a... I want you to say something. I want you to make up some. I'll tell you what, I've been scared in prison. Nothing scarier than looking at that beady eyed senator who wants to know what's what. Mm. <laughs> say that. I'll, yeah. I'll fucking nod along and yeah. smile and I won't talk shit about you the next week. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are just terrible <laughs> at telling a narrative, though. Like, some people are just born storytellers, and some people are just useless. I, true, I've seen I'm, him tell stories on his on his show, and I think what he's what he's got is maybe his book in front of him, and I bet, you know, yeah. he had a ghostwriter who drug those stories out of him, put them in the right order, f- made them right, and then it's almost like sure. he's, like, reading his life story from his biography sometimes, I guess. But, God damn, I wish he'd brought a book that night. Hmm. 
<laughs> Time to well, maybe we'll get the book. And I hope he doesn't come it. at me with the iron, right? Yeah, it's gonna make you wrinkle <laughs> no, free. <laughs> that was my joke. Y'all gave it to him. <laughs> Did I give it to him? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. My no, I, oh, is it time to quit? Free. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> uh. Well, check out all the sponsors, everyone, and be sure to go over to Slush Buppy's channels. Check him out. Say hello. Mm-hmm. And uh, remember, PKA50 for the Delta Bars at Wonky Weeds, PKA20 for everything else, and code PKA and jizz for anything like over at Derek's. Start coming all like right. a man. And that's it. All right, end the show. It's over.